we can get started on this finally. And then let me let me catch up with you guys too. I have not forgotten all of you. Don't worry. I'm going to hell, guys. Forget it. I'm going to hell. What? Somebody took the name Pizza. Taco. All right. Man, stealing up my game names. All right. So, uh, chat. This is the part where I catch up and I welcome some people and I, you know, read and all that good stuff. All right. Well, some of you were here ahead of me. You beat me to it. Um, so, Frost, welcome back. Lurder, welcome back. Nicro, Soyez. Uh, why didn't that show up? Uh, hang on. There we go. Okay. Sing. I always have trouble with his name. Sin Kiatium95. Welcome back as well, and that guy Dawson, welcome back. Gotta welcome you guys, I gotta do it. I, just, I gotta do it, otherwise I, I don't feel complete. You know, I feel like something's missing in my life. And so, welcome back to all of you, and I hope you guys had a very good Saturday. Alright. Hmm. Oh, you are in, uh, okay, in Diablo there, alright. Desync is a lot worse in the Onslaught League because the mobs are faster. Oh, you're gonna give up on Poe for a while? Oh, I'm sorry, man. That stinks, though. That um, it desyncs like that so badly. I'm. I would have expected it to desync badly because of um, um, lots of players and stuff, but not because of um, just the mobs doing it. You know, let's throw let's throw a little win amp on. Let's get some video game music going for us. Um, yeah, let's let's do that. A little little background music here. Start off start us off here. Yeah. What game is that? No. Anyway, a little, little something in the background. All right. Panani Wizard, welcome back. As far as I oh, as far as I get, welcome back. All right, so uh, catching up on chat here. You also need to change your title. Did that. Thank you, Frost. Uh, hi back at you, Dawson. Did you get any birthday, any gifts on your birthday? I did. I did. I got a couple birthday cards and I got some uh, colored pencils. It was like more of a novelty gift. Um, actually, you know what? I'll show you guys. Let me go grab them. I'll be right back. Alright, I thought this was pretty funny. Um, I never saw anything quite like this, and it was kind of like a joke gift, but at the same time, like, you know, hey, actually check this out. Um, and I'm not sure how they made it, I'm sure you can probably find out online, but um, it's colored pencils, I don't know if you can see that too well, but it's made out of, like, somehow they took a real tree branch, like real, actual tree, and then insert inside of the center, different colors so you've got like uh this is a brown you've got an orange and it's like all bent and stuff because it really is tree branches and like if you take your finger and rub it against it like you will have tree bark falling off so i don't want to like touch it too much because um it's kind of like messy but it's it was funny and um you can actually draw with it though and i don't know it was just like something silly that um a friend of mine saw and uh so it's like oh that's cool Anyway, though, uh, let me catch up with you guys, just to uh, see the rest here. But yeah, I got a few nice cards from people, too, so that was really nice. If you have a longer name than Dawson, you're banned. <laughs> Actually, fortunately, if you do have a longer name than Dawson, it'll push it over into, like, it'll just merge everything over. Um, so it's it's not too bad. Like, Paranoid Andy, that takes up a lot of space, too. Mine is almost as bad as his, or... Actually, I think mine is worse. Like, uh, I don't know, let me see here. Uh, oh, no, he's... 
No, Dawson's got me. He's got me by, like, a T. Just by a T. Anyway, though, um, yeah, if somebody comes in with a super long name, it'll just push their chat over. It's the rules of the overlay. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Don't mess with the rules. Now it's Monday for you? Oh, okay. Well, then, uh, I hope you had a good weekend. End day. End day. Just by a T. That's right. That's right. That's right. Where's my drink? Hold on. I do with that. Oh, okay. All right. Anyway, anyway, um, yeah, it wasn't too bad. I um, it was my birthday was a combination of a good day, and kind of a bit of a bad day ish kind of thing. Which um, I'll tell you guys that story a little later. A little later. It's interesting, but uh, we'll get into that a little later. For now, I think it's time to catch up on Diablo. Um, I was going to come on yesterday, but again, like I said, um, something happened. Something definitely happened. And then something happened today as well. I, I've had a very interesting weekend. Not necessarily what I... Oh, wow. All resistance is 30. What was my old one? Like 27? Where is that one? I didn't get rid of it, did I? Oh, maybe I banked it? Or am I still wearing it? Oh, I'm still wearing it, okay. Um, but yeah, it was a very interesting weekend. Uh, a lot of stuff happened. Um, like I said, some good, some not so good. Um, when I came home, though, earlier today, because uh, I had to go out, and I, as I was driving down the driveway, um, I was, like, looking ahead of me. I was sitting in the car looking ahead of me, and I see... A bunch of little tiny bugs buzzing around, maybe about like 15 feet in front of the car, and I'm like, "Are those, are those bees?" And then I'm like, I'm kind of like squinting. Shalom, welcome back, Mazel Tov, um, and Mental Vortex, welcome back to you as well. Uh, so I'm like looking in front of me, and I'm like, you know, I'm trying to figure out what these little bugs are, and I'm looking, and I'm like, you know, I think those are bees, and so I, I'm you know, still sitting in the car, it's running, and I had stopped in the driveway by now, and I'm just like, you know, looking at it, and I, I decide to inch forward, like, a little bit more in the car, because I'm, as, as I'm looking more and more, as I'm coming down the driveway, I'm like, dude, there's not like, you know, 10 or 15 of these things buzzing around, there's probably about 200 to 300 of them, it was just a swarm of these bugs, and then, um, finally, one of them kind of came up zipping around the car, and it was actually a bee and I was like oh my god it's like a little honey bee but there's like hundreds of them just buzzing around and um, I just was like well you know what the hell's going on why are they um, buzzing oh, that's a lot of mana and just a little ring there um, oh, I forgot to save it again I don't care it's not a big deal but um, yeah so it turns out that a um, a bunch of bees started building a nest in our front yard and it's not like it's just some little tiny you know nest like that it's it's like big and it's like hanging there right in the tree like a piece of fruit almost it, it looks like a piece of fruit hanging there and i was like good god and this thing was just swarming and swarming with bees and so we got to get rid of that um normally we had a beehive that's kind of like in the distance in our yard a little bit and that one was fine because they're just they're over there they're not bothering anybody and it's kind of like they do their own thing and we do ours and you know everything is good but the the nest that they are building now is like right in our front yard like if you step outside they're in the driveway area and stuff and it's really bad so it's like you can't even go in our front yard right now it's like kind of dangerous um so that was interesting so i'm i'm going to be spending my day tomorrow um attempting to you know call up some kind of service hopefully of some kind to deal with that um, I'm sure that there is some kind of like local service that provides um, assistance with that I don't I don't know what it would be uh, like animal control or something so um, that is that is on Andy's agenda for tomorrow Chris HH hi to you Ying Fang hello as well 
How was your birthday? My birthday, um, it was good. And then there was kind of a moment that was not so good. It was it was like a yin and yang kind of birthday. Yeah. It's end times Andy with the bees. Uh, yeah. Summon or... Pro oh, uh, Chris, I am a summoner. Definitely a summoner. All the way. Um, I'm not I'm not really much for the boner mancer, except for the name. I think that's really funny. But otherwise, um, didn't feel like making a boner. Well, not in Diablo, anyway. Oh, oh, I made a joke. Uh, let's just stick these in here for now, since I only have one of each that I can actually convert. I accidentally sold the other one. And then we'll drop these. Okay. Alright, um... I don't even remember where I was. I think I got to Act 3, right? Can't... Wait. Oh, no! Oh, wait, I think it's still complete, though, so I think I can just go talk to Guy. Yep, alright, so... Hopefully, um, I can just talk to him. My level? I am 70. So, coming along. And I, I was supposed to go JSP shopping. I, I know I told you guys that I was gonna go shopping on, uh, JSP. Um... For my goodies. Is random off? Oh, it is. No wonder. I was gonna say, these are all sounding the same. Um... But, um, I, since I was just so busy with other stuff today, I just, I didn't have time. So maybe, maybe we'll do a little JSP action tomorrow, if the bees don't consume all of my day. <laughs> Those are damn bees, man! Freaking bees, always, you know? It's like, you, you're just trying to live life, trying to take on this world that is just always trying to hold you down, and, and then you got bee problems, you know? It's not cool, man. Every day with me, it's like something else. I just don't get it. What's happening? It just never ends. <sighs> so, how is everybody doing? Um, I don't know if you guys heard me ask, but I was I was legitimately asking um, how you guys are doing. Want to know how was your weekend? How was everything? Ooh, I like this song. Let's turn it up a little. Because I, I know you guys have been saying that the, the music has not been very loud. Um, this is kind of a quieter song, too. So I'm going to try turning up the volume of the music a little bit more um, today. So, um, so you guys can actually hear it. I just, I didn't want to blast you guys out either. Like, I didn't want it to be loud enough to where you're like, Man, can't hear you, Andy. What are you, what are you saying? So it's, it's got to be like a nice, subtle background music. Hey, Winnie, welcome back. How late am I streaming? Um, Dawson, I really don't know. Um, I'm sorry, I can't answer that. I just, um, I, I usually never know because I just, I stop streaming when I'm like, you know what, I'm tired and I don't really feel like it anymore. And so it could be in two or three hours, or it could be, uh, in five to eight. I, I just don't know. I, I feel pretty good at the moment. I, I got a decent amount of sleep last night, so, uh, that was good. But then, uh, like I said, you know, messing with those bees and everything, that was, that was a job. That was a job today and, and everything else, uh, that I had to take care of. So I was, I was busy today as well. So we'll see. I'm doing great beating up Marvel heroes with my younglings. Oh, nice, nice. Well, that sounds fun. I'm doing good, all right. Uh, hi back at you, Winnie. I gotta go now, be back around an hour. Oh, Dawson, I should definitely be on for another hour at least, yeah. Definitely an hour. Um, but I'll, I'll see you later, Dawson. Uh, oh, did I pick it up? Oh, I didn't even mean to like click it, I was just going up here to click it, but that works. That is good. Oh god, that song? Uh, oh, you know, uh, Fable 1. Fable 1, but, um, yeah, you got it. It's Fable. Nicely done. I, I'm actually, uh, I didn't think anybody was gonna get that one, um. I mean, I, it's not like it's a really difficult one. I just didn't really see anybody jumping out, um, at that one. Nicely done, no lurder. Alright, Dawson, yeah, I'll see you later. Uh, we'll, we'll turn in that statue in a bit. Let's see, that one's loud. I gotta turn that down, though. There we go. 
Uh, I, Winnie, I'm doing pretty good. I had a busy day today, and, um, very interesting day yesterday. Um, I spent it with the, uh, you see, that's loud. Turn that one down a little. Uh, spent it with the family. And, uh, some friends. So that was nice, and, um, we hung out, and then, uh, I have an interesting story that also happened yesterday, which I have not told yet, because I was waiting for a few more people to get online, and then I was going to tell what exactly happened. But I will let you know, because it was, uh, something I think you all would like to know about. Uh, I go to sleep very late here. Oh, alright, well, Chris, um, you have a good night. We'll see you later. Where is that guy? He always runs away. Just all the time. I don't understand this guy. Alright, uh, oh yeah, I'm supposed to be... Arachnid Lair. Right, right. Okay, we gotta find that. All right. Now I actually have an objective. I was literally just wandering around, not really paying attention to anything, and then I realized, oh yeah, I'm just... You know, I'm playing a game here, and I'm actually supposed to be, like, you know, accomplishing goals. And now I just remember that. So that's good, you know? That's good. Hey, Blomsky, welcome back. How's it going? There was a little guy there. Turn that up, like, a notch. Try that. Does it sound just a little quiet? Let's see. Are you doing good? Glad to hear it, man. Glad to hear it. Yes, I am. Yeah, moving along. Um, normally, I would have been like stuck in Act 2 for probably a little bit longer. But um, Rage came along on his character, on his paladin. And we were just working together to push through um, the uh, Maggot Lair. And then... Um, we ended up just um, moving through Act 2 pretty quick, but yeah, um, haven't really had any slowdown as of yet. I mean, I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm level 70 now, so it's, progress has been good, very happy about that. Um, nothing, no, no real problems. I'm looking forward to um, taking on um, Mephi. I mean, I mean, my resistances are, I, I need a little bit more... Um, on the resistances for uh, like on something else so that I can change out my amulet back to the plus to skills but um, not a big deal it's not like it's holding me down but I was gonna um, got all your endgame gear yet no mental I did not um, there is a reason to that um, and that is part of the story that I will be telling later part of the big story but um, yes I, I have not gotten any of that gear yet I just I was not able to, and it was very disappointing, but uh, maybe maybe tomorrow I will work on that. We will see. We will see. Dude, this guy doesn't want to die. There we go. Oh, that's, um, that's, uh, what is that sword? It's crappy as hell. It's very crappy. Is that the Atlantine, or is that... I can't remember. Why is this, uh... Oh, okay. Um... I forget what that is. Deaths? Um... Maybe. Uh, Wizard, I'm not sure what that song was from. Um... It didn't say... It only said... Here, let me go back to it. Uh, it just says... M-U-S 11-B action. So, um... I'm not sure. That might be from, um... I'm not sure. Yeah, I... Because I, I know it's a game I played. Oh, I got an Io. Hey, wait a minute. I think Io is on my list of runes I actually need. Where's my... Ah. Yes! And I only needed one. That's perfect. Um... Let's see here. But yeah, Wizard, I'm not really sure. 
that is I'm gonna say that that is not Eisenhart's because if I remember correctly, Eisenhart's looks more like more like the sword I'm holding. Not not exactly like it's just it's tilted more like to the side, I think. And Eisenhart's, if I remember correctly, takes up six slots. Um, at least I, I think it does. So I feel like it's I feel like yeah, it's probably deaths or or I just don't know. So I it's probably deaths. Yeah, there you go. All right. Well, who who was it that called it wizard, or was it uh, wait? Uh, Vortex, Vortex, got it. Nicely done, Vortex. Well, too bad it's junk. So yeah, but that's cool. We got we got a first screen of the day right off the bat. That was quick. War Camel, hello and welcome to you. Cam Bay, one hundred one, hello and welcome to you. Or wait, actually, Cam Bay's been here. Welcome back, Cam Bay. At least I'm pretty sure Cam Bay has. Yeah, Kambay's been here. Yeah, I was going to say, for a second there, I was brain fart. But yeah. Oh, and hi back at you, Kambay. Medal of Honor Allied Assault. Maybe? Maybe? Um, I grabbed quite a few extra songs um, just to throw in there. Um, but actually, I think... Let me check here. Oh, I'm not even on my normal list. No wonder. I was like, why are all these songs so weird? Like, and not normally on the list, it's because I was working on going through other songs, because I don't take every single song from a game. I take certain ones, like, I just kind of grab them up, but I wasn't even on the right, um, playlist. No wonder. That's why, alright, alright, so, uh, we'll just, uh, throw up, um, I don't know, we'll start with the Ocarina of Time, I guess. Should we do Market? Yeah. There we go. I was gonna say, why is that playlist so weird? Yeah, I have to go through that other one I had open still. That's what happened. Totally forgot there. Childhood games OP. I love childhood games. What was that? Right. Actually, um... I was sitting there eyeballing my games um, yesterday and really thinking about, you know, what, what do I want to play next? Because I've, I've kind of had, like, a um, a desire to play something old. Like, just some old-school game, like... Well, I guess this is old, too, but for some reason I guess I didn't really think of it as old because I always pick this up every few years rather than some of the Super Nintendo RPGs I have. Those will sit, like, um, for many, many years before I, I play them again just so that I kind of, like... Um, I get a fresh feeling when I play them because I like those games so much that I don't want to actually overplay them. I want it to be that next time I play them, I get that same or at least a similar feeling when I was a kid of like, wow, you know, I forgot about that and that's so cool and um, so I just, I wait on a lot of this like um, Final Fantasy 3, I beat that game probably um, Yeah, 15 years ago. Something like that. But, um... Alright, come on, guys. Just walk over here. Just kill him. Come on. Come on. There you go. See, it's not so hard. Um, but, yeah. I, uh, I probably beat it about 15 years ago. Something. And then, um... I haven't actually played it since. I have not played Final Fantasy 3 in many, many years. And I just thought, you know what? Um, I was really thinking about playing it again recently. That in Final Fantasy VII, or like I said, um, Grand Theft Auto. I haven't played uh, Vice City or San Andreas in a while, too. And I could actually stream those, so that would be cool. Aldrigen, welcome back. Kill, welcome back as well. Dear Lord, this song. I Are you referring to the, uh, the, um, the Zelda song, Winnie? I would assume. Because this is a, um, if you're saying dear lord to this song I, I can agree with that in terms of just like oh god some of those dungeons are just nasty oh okay yeah zelda had some pretty tough dungeons but for me my my like oh god more so comes from um zelda 2 like zelda 1 is tough don't get me wrong but i just i feel like i had more trouble in zelda 2 than i did one um but only with um what's his name vulcan or Bird, something bird, Thunderbird, Thunderbird. I had trouble with Thunderbird. He's tough. He's nasty. 
Making me all feelsy. <laughs> and you're welcome, Kill. How do you access Ubers? Um, Ubers are accessed by... Well, depending on the Ubers you're talking about, too. If you're talking about the Uber bosses that you first get uh, to get the keys, then that would be... Um, yeah, how do you access them? You, um... Oh, crap. You do something. You... Oh, yeah, yeah. You, f you farm um, different bosses in the game. Uh, yes, Kill is right. The Countess has a chance to drop a item of some kind. I think it's like a... Like, it's actually like a body part or something. You get the body part or something. You kill the farmer, guy, uh, the summoner guy in uh, Act Two, um, and then yeah, Nilithek or whatever, however you say his name. You kill him, and they each have a chance of dropping these things. And then um, you need to farm them at, to get three of those drops. Because what happens is um, I'm probably explaining this a little weird, so let me just clarify. There are three bosses you need to kill. And each of those three bosses needs to drop a key or a part. I think it's a body part or something, like Diablo's horn and Diablo... Like, yeah, I think anyway. Um, and you need to get three of each of those. So that means you need to farm out those guys enough times to where you get three drops from three different guys. So nine pieces total. And the reason why you want to do that is because you're going to make three different portals to kill three different Ubers. If you do it one at a time, which you don't want to do, like, make sure you're paying attention when I say this, do not open one portal at a time and then leave the game and rejoin, because I've been told that if you open a portal in the game and it takes you to, let's say, um, Area 1, um, and you get the key, you then need to go to Area 2 and 3. But if you leave that game and use the same pieces and open another portal in a different game, it'll take you back to possibly, I think it's random, possibly area one again and that's not what you need you need to go to all three different areas so the best thing to do is when you're ready to fight the ubers you make all three portals in the same game to get all three different keys otherwise you're going to be farming like a, a, the same key and you don't want that you want three different keys because once you get the three different keys then you can go to uber tristram and then have the final fight i believe i explained that properly i believe that's how it all works i'm pretty sure it is coops welcome back Full Epic? Full Epic. I don't think Full Epic's been here. Uh, hello and welcome to you, Full Epic. Or maybe... Maybe you have been. Somebody had the name Epic and, like, lots of Epics or something like that. I'm level 70, by the way. Um, once... Okay, I, I was thinking, I feel like... Yeah, that's right, because your name is even purple on my screen. So I was like, oh yeah, he's even got an Epic colored name. Uh, let's see, where'd I leave off? I'm exhausted and a little bit tipsy, so I'm feelsy in general. Okay, what's... <laughs> I don't know what the definition of feelsy means. That sounds like you're you're just kind of like sensitive or something. Like you're just kind of like, ooh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling kind of like, hey, kind of mellow or something. I don't know. I'm not even sure what that means. You're going to have to clarify. Oh, you guys know this. Well, I bet a lot of you know this song. We gotta turn up a little bit. This is a good song. This is really good. Yes, that is right, though. Uh, three of each key, random portal, um, three portals in one game to get... Yeah, Soyez, he said exactly what I was trying to, to uh, say. Um, can I see your talent tree? My talents? I don't think there's any talent tree. I see a skill tree. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you can see it. Um, one, this is all one point in here. This is also just one point in each of these. Um, and then down here... Um, wow, dude, I, like, I got the joke right away about the wow thing. Yeah, I, I've i called them talent points too, so I'm, I'm guilty as well. I can't help it. Bow Sniffle, hello and welcome to you. And Sir Don, welcome as well. Uh, so as you can see, I went really heavy into Ray Skeleton and Mage, and then finally Mastery, and now I'm working on my Revive. So, um, yeah. Wow, it's really dark out here, man. It's kind of creepy. Did you do Hell Countess? Did she drop anything decent? I missed your Hell act. Uh, no, kill! Excuse me, I did not. Um, 
I need to go back and do that. I just, um... I figured I would go back when I was a little bit higher level. Um, it's not like it's it, it's gonna make that big of a difference, but I figured, um... I gotta go through the rest of the game anyway, um... So that I can just, you know, finish it off. And I figured I'll go back when I'm a little bit higher level, because I'll have a little bit more life, and possibly a little bit better gear. For the sake of my survival, because I'm sure as many of you Diablo 2 players know, going to the Countess can be dangerous, because every time you go down to the next floor, um, right at the doorway, and I'm talking like, you know, this is the doorway, and here's tons of mobs, like just right there, so as soon as you come through the doorway, you can potentially get nailed, very badly, um, and so I figured, eh, I'll just wait on that until, um, a little later. There, it's, you know, it's it's optional anyway. It's not like there's anything that's going to drop that is immediately needed. Um, so we can go back and deal with her later. I'm a very happy, excited drunk, so everything makes me excited and happy. Oh, fair enough. Okay, fair enough. I'm, I'm a very... I'd have to say I'm a very loud well not i'm not like very loud i guess i'm kind of a loudish drunk i raise my voice when i'm talking for some reason when i'm drunk like i i just i feel like i just i have to talk louder i don't know why and so i tend to talk a little bit louder i don't yell i'm just like hey guys you know it's maybe not even that bad i just i know that i elevate my voice and people are like chill and i'll be like oh sorry and then uh but also, I'm a very, very loving kind of drunk. I'm just like, hey, man, I love you. You know what? I, I feel the love. You know, when I'm drunk, I definitely feel the love. So, like, um, you know, I, I got to just, you know, let everybody know that, you know, hey, you're, you know, I see you over there. What's going on? You know, that kind of stuff. And occasionally I might feel the urge to give somebody a hug. I can't help it. It's That's probably why I don't drink very often because, you know, it's like, you know, some people don't want to be hugged. You know, why is this this man telling me that he loves me and giving me a hug, you know? And, uh, you know. But fortunately, I don't take it much further than that. I'm just like, hey, man, I love you, you know? But I don't take it to the point where I, I love you so much. I don't, no, I don't take it that far. Just, you know, enough to where it's kind of like, hey, he's drunk. But he's not causing any real problems. It's just like, and he's drunk, and that's cool, you know? I, I think it's, it, it's the good kind of drunk, you know, where it's like, oh, that's funny. I don't play, I only watch. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't play WoW anymore either. I used to play WoW. I used to play WoW a lot. In fact, I think World of Warcraft is probably the most um, played game I have on my entire list of games. I mean, I, um, I've played a lot of games, and I've played, you know, I've put in a lot of hours to games, like Diablo 2 as well, but um, I don't I don't think uh, I, anything can beat um, World of Warcraft. I really don't. Hey, Karanak, welcome back, man. Can Countess drop the godly runes? Because I never found any. Um, I think she can drop any runes, to be honest. I think Countess can go all the way up to Zod. I think. Please feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's a very low chance, but I think she can. Um, because I know a lot of people rune farm on her, and I know a lot of bots do it too, but I just... I, um... I, I don't know if it's... Uh, did I just pick up... Oh, I did. Um... But I don't know if it goes all the way up to Zod for sure. Arachnid Glare, yes. Goes up to Ist? Oh! Oh, okay. <laughs> the door has screwed me over so many times. That's one of the only things I remember from this game. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, that doorway, I, I'm i assuming you're talking about when I was talking about the doorway and the Countess. Um, from this... Oh, yeah, this game. Uh, yes, that doorway is really bad. Um... That is, that is definitely a kill point in this game. I mean, there's two places that I can think of where if you go into a doorway or down a staircase that you have a very good chance of getting your ass kicked. And that would be the Countess and the Ruined Temple here in Act 3. When you go into the Ruined Temple or any of the temples um, in the Kurast Bazaar, I believe it is, or just in anywhere in Upper Kurast, those temples, um, there's a very... Well, I wouldn't say good chance, but there is a chance of having enemies, again, right there at the doorway. And the problem is, um, 
at least with the Countess enemies, most of the ones in the Countess areas are, I'd say, moderately dangerous by comparison to other enemies in the game. Whereas the ones in the, um, the temples up there, I would consider more dangerous than the Countess area. Like, um, because you, you get those chicks, um, those, those girls with the very large bosoms that, um, with the pokey forks, and they, they just, like, oh man, they will destroy you so fast. So, those are pretty scary. Um, but fortunately, they don't seem to spawn on the doorway too often. You're that guy? I am that guy, uh. Only, like, this one time at Bible Camp? No. <laughs> no, no, usually, uh, my stories, um, are a little more, um, uh, I don't know, I guess I probably do give the impression that, oh, Andy's such a good guy, and he must have been, like, a great kid when he was young, but no, it was actually quite the opposite. I was kind of a, a bit of a hellraiser when I was a little kid. I was, I was a lot of trouble. I was a handful, and I'm surprised that my parents didn't, like, disown me at certain times, but, um, I'm very lucky like that. I have good parents, so they were pretty cool. Um, <laughs> but now I've mellowed out, yeah. Everyone becomes my best friend whether they like it or not. Thankfully, I've only had a small enough amount to drink. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's kind of how it is for me, too. Yeah, everybody's instantly my friend when I drink. I'm just like, hey, I don't know you. But that's okay, man. That's okay. Because you're cool in my book. Unless you, like, try to stab me or something, then I'm going to be a little upset. Because that's, that's not so cool anymore. You're ruining my my uh, bu my buzz, man. Hi, back at you, Kiernak. L to ist on hell. Oh, okay. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Uh, oh, I think I missed. Oh, I just okay. Uh, okay. I've never gotten great runes from here. Highest I ever got was two ums on a run. Yeah, I I actually. Oh, what? He died? Dude, Merc died. They killed him. I wasn't even paying attention, and he just well cares about him, though. That guy's a loser, and you all know it. One day we'll get Emilio back, and life will be good. Poor guy. We'll just... We'll consider that Emilio... Emilio! He's on vacation. That's all. He's just enjoying the, uh... The, the beaches of... Tristram? Northern Tristram, perhaps? You know, somewhere around there. There we go. Yeah, see, this guy's a loser. So disappointing. I once grabbed an ohm from a bot running hell bale. Um, but I... Ah, that's funny. Kill? That's actually how I, um... I got my, um... Runes as well. Uh, I would go into the bot games and just, you know, because they're sitting there farming over and over and just getting the XP. Uh, and, and, you know, the bot games are almost always, um... At least pretty much all the ones I've seen, it's always the same thing. It's a hammered in, and then everybody else is just kind of following the hammered in. And I... Why is he dying? Man, stuff is just... A not oh, it must be his poison. I guess that poison is just really taking him down. Right, well, let's go heal him up. Jeez. So bad. See, Emilio, he wouldn't have put up with that. Emilio would just be like, oh, I guess I'll just have to one-shot it. Or he'll just, like, man-mode the poison. He'll just be like, Argh! And the poison will just, like, pop out of his body, and he'll be okay then. Sacred Slash, hello and welcome to you. Alright, we gotta show Mashif the figurine, and I forget. I forget. Oh, well, there's what I need. At least I believe this is what I need. I just found a 20 to life small charm. Nice, fine, nice, fine. Highest rune I ever found was Jaw from Pindle. I think the highest rune I ever found, ever, was, um... Sir, I think? Man, don't die. I feel like it was Sir. You know, honestly, I, I don't know. Oh, crap. I went in the wrong place? What? Arachnid Lair. What's the other ones? Spider Cavern. Ah, I was in the wrong one the whole time. Son of a biscuit. Well, whatever. It's experience. 
Bible camp to get the hell out of you. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay. Took me a second there. I was like, what? But I got it. I'd help you with this game, but honestly, I don't remember much of anything from it. Ah, no problem. No problem. I don't either. Um, I'm pretty much in the same boat. There's like... I, I mean, I remember a lot, but at the same time, there's a lot that I have forgotten too. You know, it's it's been a while. Why is everything so tough right now? I feel like... Oh, you guys are just doing, like, no damage. Alright, well, let's get out of here. This place sucks. It's dark and nasty, and I don't like it anyway. You're playing on this ladder fix? Are you on hardcore? I'm not sure what you mean by ladder fix, but, um, yes, I am on hardcore. That is the only way I play this game, or pretty much any game like this. Um, I just, I, I can't play games like this on softcore anymore. That's why, um, in Path of Exile, I played the game on softcore for, until level four, so that I could get a feel for the controls to make sure there was nothing, like, I, I didn't you know, drastically understand, and then I just went straight to hardcore, because, um, well, hardcore is awesome. It's the way to play. I just enjoy watching? Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. I just enjoy playing. So that's, that's good, it works out, you know? Everybody's happy then. I died on you- Oh, you died! Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We've had a, we've had a few casualties, people. It's pretty nasty out there in the world of Diablo. Well, actually, I guess this isn't really the world of Diablo. Actually, now that I think about it, does anybody actually know what the world that this game takes place in is called? I almost, almost called it Azeroth, and then I was like, you know... That's just not right. That's just not right. Sanctuary or Sanctuario? Really? I did not know that. Sanctuary. Oh, Sanctuary. Okay. So the world is called Sanctuary. Like, we are in the world of Sanctuary. That is that is what I'm in here. Alright. Well, I, um... I'm kind of surprised. I, I thought I would know, but apparently I didn't. Um, Great Marsh. Maybe it's maybe it's in the Great Marsh. It must be in the Great Marsh. Yeah. Well, my bad. Pivuz J. Pivuz J. Hello and welcome to you. I'm not sure if I said your name right. Maybe what I'm looking for is down here. Emilio is enjoying a run out on someone's farm. Probably, yeah, he's, he's at least taking a break. You know, Emilio deserved it, though. He earned a vacation. This Zanari guy is just... I'd fire him so fast if, uh... If I didn't have to sit there and, you know, hire, um... Another dude and level him up. But I can only get him in Nightmare, and I'm, I'm assuming that if I go back to Nightmare now, they're all gonna be, like, level 40-something, and I just don't want to deal with that. So instead, I'd rather just, you know, yell at this guy and call him a piece of dirt and just live with it. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I have revive. I should be, like, reviving stuff left and right, and I'm, like, totally not. Let's do that. I was talking to Flex. Oh, oh, okay. Oops. Andy, you should definitely read the Book of Cain. Really? There's there's a Diablo book? I mean, I guess I shouldn't be surprised at that, but I didn't even know that. I had no idea. Alright, I bet nobody can guess what this song is from. No way. This is an old game, and it's on PC. I'll give you guys that much. If anybody guesses what this is from, I will be so shocked. Spider Cavern in Spider Forest. Oh. Okay, well then we gotta turn around. Let's, uh... Let's do that. Oh, we got a towel. Dr. Smile! Welcome back! How's it going? 
Sorry for not being here in a while. Just wanted to stop by and say happy birthday. Uh, oh, well, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And that's all right, man. That is okay. I, uh... I understand if you got stuff you gotta do in real life, but uh, thanks for dropping in and saying that. I appreciate it, man. I really do. Birthday? Yes. Um, yesterday was my birthday. That was yesterday. I oh, you have a birthday! <laughs> yeah, internet people, we, we have birthdays. Yes, we do. We do. Um, that, I know that is unusual for a person on the internet to have a birthday. Um, but fortunately, I do. Yes, I do. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm very happy about that. And thank you, everybody. Thank you for the, uh, the happy birthday. Thank you. You're doing good. Glad to hear it, Doctor. Oh, oh, nice. Ooh, happy birthday to you. Oh, yeah. That's nice. I like it. I like it. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling the love now, guys. I appreciate it. You know, it's, uh, it's very thoughtful of you all. It's so nice. Hey, 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 hey. Don't poison me. That's not right. You know what? I bet it might be down there. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's see. Mine is in two weeks. June 23rd. Oh, all right. Well, cool. Um, That sounds good. Make sure you drop in on your birthday so everybody can wish you a happy birthday, man. Did you get a mustache comb? <laughs> I did not, but now I, I, I kind of would like one to be honest. Um, I'm, I'm a little disappointed. I, I didn't get a, oh, a shako, but it's white. I would like a mustache comb. I'll be honest. If I had a mustache comb, then I could comb my mustache and really style it up. You know, I, I could maybe do the handlebar one day, or I could do the, the Mario by bushing it out. You know, I could, you kind of, you know. Um, yeah, I didn't really think of that at all. Um, and I could probably, like, keep it in my pocket, you know? So anytime I'm feeling, like, a little disorderly, I just pop that bad boy out and give it a little, little, little management there. Um, I'm gonna have to do that one day, yeah. Ooh, a monarch. I could either socket it myself. Oh, no, wait, never mind. Here I am thinking I still need a four-socket Monarch, but that's, like, that ended as soon as I got the, the hum da, 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 da thing there. Yeah, so I'm good. Globus, hello and welcome to you. 100% Grape Juice, welcome back. Metal Gods, welcome back. May I ask how old you just turned? Yes, you may. I turned the big 3-0, man. I'm freaking 30. 30 years old. Three decades, man getting old and and yes people did call me grandpa okay the the grandpa andy joke was played on andy and it was not funny it was not fun well it was funny to everybody else but not really to andy yeah so gra grandpa andy kiwi welcome back I feel you need one. Oh, you're an old two. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm up there. I am. It's true. What? I never do that. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Uh huh. How's it going, Kiwi? All right, we got uh, another revive. Yeah. All right. Yeah, see, now, now, uh, I'm not gonna be able to stream for, uh, much longer, guys. Um, so I better enjoy it while I can, because I think, um, you know, when you're in your 20s and you stream, it's like, okay, you know, that's cool. But then once you're in your 30s and you start streaming, you know, and then, like, you get upper 30s, you know, then that's when it starts gradually becoming creepier and creepier the closer you get to, like, 40. So, um, I gotta enjoy it while I can, you know? Because once I get to creepy, um, it's just not gonna work anymore, you know? I think it's going to be just a little too awkward. What's that old guy doing there? What's up, Grandpa? Ah, yes! There we go. All right, That's the one I want, right? I think so. I was going to say, make sure I didn't actually come in the same one that I just was in, but then I like came in the back way or something, but I did not. That's good. See, all my guys are stuck. I need my Enigma. There we go. 
Come on. I'm gonna probably lose my revives. I wouldn't doubt it. See, they're, they're just not following, are they? Uh, well, maybe I'll get lucky. Come on, guys. You know what? Let's just uh, make a fake enigma. Wait, am I down to three already? Oh, wow. I need more. I'm TPing like crazy. I thought I was topped off. Uh, I'm just gonna chuck these. I really don't need that many. I've already got a few. We might as well turn in the uh, statue as well. Gino! Gino, Gino, welcome back. Always reminds me of Super Mario RPG. Definitely. I'm almost old enough to say back in... Oh, wait. Uh, this whole area was fields. Almost, Frost. Yes, uh, I thought you were saying that you were, but no, me. Yeah, you're right. You're a turd, Frost. You're a turd sometimes. You know that? Almost. Yeah, getting there. 1076. Nice. Right, that's good. You don't even seem 30? Um... No, I, I don't... Yeah, I, I can I can definitely, um... You know, obviously it's the same thing that everybody says. I don't feel 30, and no, I, I don't. Um, but I've also been told, fortunately, it's a, it's a really good thing. I don't really look 30, apparently. Um, and if I shave, if I just completely shave my, uh, my facial hair, uh, I've been told that I still look like I'm, like, 21-ish. Um, so I'm pretty lucky in that way, yeah. Or maybe I've just been lied to this whole time and I actually am just younger than I have been told. Could be that too. Perhaps, perhaps. Nycro, welcome back. Mackie13, Mackie. I think you've been here before, Mackie, so welcome back to you. And if you haven't, well then I'm going crazy. But that's what happened. See, now I can start blaming things on old age, people. Yeah, I can start just being like, you know, oh, Grandpa's brain is just not working the same it's going on me. That's right. Last night I was in this guy's stream and he was like in his 40s. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Hey, Andy. My graduation went awesome and the party did as well. Awesome. Very awesome. I got a lot of cash and my girlfriend got me a new pillow. <laughs> cash and a pillow. I'm jealous, man. Very nice. Very nice. But it is... Your graduation, so you earned it, so good job, man. Congrats to you on that. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, man, my golem. Come on, golem. What are you doing? What are you doing? Right, come on, guys. Down here. <laughs> You're not drunk and you still love me. You're stuck with it. Um, yeah, he's right. He's right. I'm not even going to bother arguing with that. He's right. I can't help it. I would have guessed you were 24. Um, yeah, I'd say that's probably what other people probably would have guessed too, yeah. Yeah, I think I just... Um, probably come off as a younger person, I guess, just the way I talk and whatnot, but I don't know. It is what it is. Moberon CM. Hello, welcome to you. Welcome back, Mental Vortex. Where's my golem? Down again. This is terrible. Come on, man. These guys are, like, not dying. Like, none of them. I can't even pop one. There's no bodies to pop yet. Video games keeping you young? That's right, man. That's right. I think you're right. Can't... Man, they are just, like, not going down. just get one kill, I can start chaining them off each other. Uh, yeah, Vortex, you're right, man. These, um... They're just... Oh, Stone Skin. Okay. So they're really shrugging it off. Immune to fire as well. I'm sure that's... Ah, finally! Boom! That'll take a nice piece out. Okay, that... Got another one. There it goes. That's better. Finally. Bo Ooh, that's going to sell for a pretty fair amount. That's definitely going to sell. So that's good. Take that. Hey, we got the eye. We've officially started working on stupid Kaleem's flail. Jerk bag Kaleem. Never liked that guy. WDPIR32K3. Hello and welcome to you. In particular, this one. Oh, did not know that. Okay. 
Yeah, he, um... He didn't seem too bad in terms of, like, um... You know, my army just fighting him. It just... He must have had a lot of life or something. I mean, good God. He just didn't want to go down. Damn right. Oh, yeah. I was waiting for somebody to say that. I was like, man, somebody's got to say something about this song. This is a good one. It's just such a, like, good song for that area. You know, I have something that I, I would like to admit to everybody. And I'm not happy about admitting this, but uh, I feel that it's important that you guys know this. And, um, yeah, so I'd like to share this with you all. I have never actually beaten Super Mario Bros. 1. I got really close when I was a little kid. But I got so frustrated with that game, I was like four or five years old, and I tried to beat it over and over, and I would always get to area eight, and I would get like to the Hammer Brother area, and then I would get past that, and then I finally made it to the dungeon with Bowser, and I never could beat it. It just, I always got my butt kicked in the castle, and um, I have not played that game in terms of actually trying to beat it. Like, I, I fooled around once, um, you know, just real quick to be like, oh, Mario, yeah, you know, okay, that's funny. Um, I did, you know, fool around once with it, um, a few years ago, but otherwise, I have not actually attempted to beat that game since I was a little kid. Yeah, it's been that long, and, um, uh, I feel that maybe, maybe I should go for round two. You know, I'm older now, um, I've got a lot more practice in those kind of games, and, um, I feel like I should go for it, damn it. I feel like uh, it's it's been long enough. So maybe maybe we'll make an attempt at that. Maybe even tonight, possibly. But that's that's a big possible. Um, the Nintendo is hooked up. I got a copy of Mario. Um, so, I mean, we, we could get it on tonight, people. We could. We could get it on with the Mario, but... Uh, gotta think about that. That's a possibility. I don't think I've ever beaten it either. It's tough. The original Mario is a tough game. Now, I have. Fortunately, I've beaten number two and number three. I've definitely, um... Um, I'm very proud to say, yeah, I beat two and three. Um, you know, those those were tough, too. But I was a little older, you know. They, they came out a little later because... Um, when I was four, year old, four years old... Um, I think the NES had only been out for, like, a year or something like that. So I was just a little tiny kid. And then um, when Mario 2 came out, I think it was like a year or two later. I don't even remember the timeline exactly because, you know, you don't, you don't remember all that stuff too well. It's kind of foggy. But um, uh, I did manage to get through it. It took a while and it took a lot of uh, attempts. Like that game was definitely tough, but I finally got it. I was just like, yes, because that was, that was a pretty tough one as a kid. Um, and I used... I, I'm sure everybody else probably did it too. Well, I don't know. Maybe not. But I used the princess because, in my opinion, princess is freaking OP as hell in Super Mario Bros. 2. Like, she gets the job done. I'd say after princess, Luigi was my next favorite because Luigi was kind of like a broken version of the princess. Man, we got a lot of NES music going here. Um, so I would say, you know, princess was just OP because she would jump and then just, you know... She, she just always pulled off those really tough jumps um, and she would save your ass a lot so she was just really good to use whereas I felt like Luigi was kind of like a distant cousin of hers or something because he also had major airtime that you could control but not as well and not for the duration like he would kind of like help you land those tough jumps but he, he, he couldn't get that distance so I felt like you know, if you didn't want to play Princess, uh, or if, if somebody was for some reason like, you know, oh, don't play Princess because, you know, everybody plays her and she's overpowered, my next choice would definitely be uh, Luigi. And then, um, I feel like, if I remember correctly, it's been a while, Toad was only good for picking up items quickly. I feel like he, he pulled stuff up out of the ground very fast. And then I, I think Mario, if I, if I recall, I think Mario didn't have any thing really too great about him wasn't he just kind of like just mario and he didn't do anything special or did he have a higher jump i really don't remember maybe somebody can 
Tell me. Get that shit done? <laughs> um, oh, and I need to re redeem myself. Yeah, um, maybe, maybe. Um, I don't know if I have a copy on my desk or if it's in the, the box over there. I'll have to check in a second. Lair bin, welcome back. Oh, it looks like he left now. Nah, maybe he's refreshing. Can confirm princess is the only way she... Uh, yeah, okay. So, yeah, I... I figured that everybody else was going to have the same opinion about that. Um, because, you know, the first thing that I did when I played Super Mario 2 was... Um, I, don't, I don't remember what character I picked, but the fact that they allowed you to, I was like, oh, that's that's cool. Well, let me let me try this out. And so, I, you know, I'm, I'm looking at one of them, and I remember thinking, well, what do the others do? You know, I mean, are they, are they different? And then... Um, you, when you do select another one, and you're like, whoa, you know, especially like Luigi, when you jump with Luigi, and you're like, whoa, this guy's like, you know, crazy. He's, he's kicking his legs a mile a minute, and it actually is doing something. And then you just go through all the characters, and that's what I did. And then, you know, after you go through the four characters, you know, anybody, you know, even if they're like three years old, is like, dude, princess is for the win. You have to use the princess, because she's just, she's that good. Oh, crap. Oh, maybe I have to go down. Oh, right, okay, I have to go down there, and then over. At least I can get down here. Okay. Fox Link, welcome back. It's her gas-powered skirt. Nice. Or wait, maybe that's not so nice. Do you mean gas is in like you know, you know, or do you mean like gas is in? It's like propelled by a combustible fuel, and she has a rocket engine under her skirt. See now, now I'm not really sure what you meant. Really. Who the hell keeps doing that? Who is doing that? I'm, I'm like... I'm at, like, a crossroads now. And I'm not sure what I want to do. Because... I know I'm being trolled now. I'm, I'm totally being trolled. But... It is kind of like my mission statement to welcome people to my channel. I mean, obviously I don't welcome people with, like, you know, racist names and stuff, but that's not racist, that's just trolling, and I... I'm not happy about it. I'm not. I'm gonna have to think about this for a moment. See... This could go one of two ways. Really? Wait. Hold on. Look at this. Look at- I think I'm stuck here. Or, wait, can I go around? Okay. Alright, so this could go one of two ways. I could potentially not read the account that came in, and I could just be like, okay, I just ignore it, and, you know, um, I'm happy because I didn't read it, and then I don't feel so trolled by it. But, then, if I don't read it, and then somebody points it out, there could be a backlash in the community of, hey, Andy, you did not welcome that person that joined. And it could cause a community outrage. Oh, 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 oh. They left. They left. Apparently, apparently they, uh, they did not feel that it was um, necessary to maintain. So if once they leave, I don't always have to welcome them. That that pretty much solved that problem right there. So that's good. You, what what are you doing, Frost? You just you, now you got to spread the. Uh, hmm. And I thought you were on my side. I thought I knew you, Frost. I thought I knew. You. Yeah. See, once people, some people come and go, and they go very quickly. So it's like, oh, no problem. You know, they they left. Someone asked what- oh, fine. Fine! Fine. Yes, Blumsky did ask. Us IRC pros. <laughs> it's like, what is happening? What is going on here? Alright, um... I'm assuming this leads to the Flayer Jungle. I'm pretty sure it will. Yeah, it's got to. We'll just continue on our... A little way here. Very manry. Very manry. That's right. I, I, um... 
I have a few people on my side, and it is a very small few. I could probably count it on one hand, but at least, you know, it feels good to have those select few. Yes. So I, I'm happy about that. Whoa, oh, lightning guys, those are dangerous. Um, that I have to be careful with. See, look at that. I only got hit, like, I think once, maybe twice. Um, I, think, I think it was just the one. Took a pretty good chunk, and I have 75 lightning resistance, so you can imagine if I didn't have any lightning resistance, um, that'd be pretty bad. Ouch. Yeah, I don't like those things at all. Let's get a bunch of revives here. Where am I at? 12? Okay. Just top off my health, keep it going. I want to make a new video for YouTube. But every time I think about going to make it, I'm either tired um, or I'm just kind of like not in the mood. And I got to be in the mood. You can't just make a YouTube video when you're not in the mood. It doesn't work that way. And I have so many ideas and so much crap, like so many bad videos that I can like poison the internet with to add to the like already existing tire fire that is bad videos on YouTube. But... Um, yeah, I just haven't, uh, haven't quite gotten to that point yet. Soon, though, hopefully. So I would like to make another one. It has been a while, too. I think I'm, like, I think the last video I put up was, like, a couple months ago. Or, no, no, or, I mean, a couple weeks ago. A few weeks. Not once. We few, we happy few. We band of brothers. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Uh, ooh, I gotta be careful again. See, these guys... It's mostly because that lightning pierces. That's the problem. It's very bad. I don't like that. Oh, what was that game? There is a game that came out on Steam. I saw it. And it's the fourth episode of that game. And it's it's some indie game. And it looks like old-school Nintendo graphics. Uh, Super Nintendo graphics, I should say. In fact, it actually looks a lot like Final Fantasy... Ow, 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 ow! Alright, that sucked. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but it looked interesting. It looks to be an RPG, I think anyway. And um, I was really thinking about checking it out. But I'm just not sure yet um, if it's something I want to play. I just need to look into it more, but I, I stopped looking at it earlier because... Um, I was trying to set up the uh, the stream and everything and so I could actually come on. Um, I think it's already out, Frost, and it's number four. But if you go to Steam um, and you look at the little banner that they always have, just you know, showing new releases and stuff, it's on there right now. It's on that that banner for the for the main page. But I can't remember. It's some weird name. Like it, it's it's a long name too, and it's weird. It's like something. I think the word rain is in it. But it's, it's like, I think, nine words long, or something like that? I, I cannot remember that name. But I was seriously thinking about trying it out. It just, it looked very interesting. Oh, we got a wand there, that'll probably sell for a decent amount. Z Horton, 14, hello to you. Penny Arcade's on the... Yes, that is it. Frost got it. Yep, that is absolutely it. Yeah, I knew it was some weird name. I don't even know what the heck that means, but... Um, I just... I saw it. I was looking at the video, and I thought, Hey, that actually looks kind of cool. And I thought, You know what? I might like to try... Oh, you own number three? Did you actually play it? Doesn't spell anything? Oh, yeah. Winnie. Uh, I didn't think to even try that. ABRX, welcome back. Hi back at you, Zorton. Oh, there's nothing down here. I think this stops right here. It does, yeah. Ah, oops. Uh, keep going up to the north. Uh, oh, you haven't played it. I... When I watched the gameplay video, I at least was very intrigued because the graphics, I mean, they're like exactly what I love in a game. I just, I love those old... Um, 
16, you know, bit graphics, and I was just like, oh man, that's that's pretty cool. So, uh, um, when I watched the video, it did look, I think, RPG-ish. You know, it did. I don't know if it has an actual experience system, but the fighting system definitely looked a lot like Final Fantasy III. So, um, dude, we got the Batman Stage 2. I love Stage 2. Well, the music, anyway. Dude, hell yeah, Batman! This is a good song. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, well anyway, um, I'm seriously thinking about trying that game out. I would really like to look into it, but... Because there are four of them, I, you know, you gotta start with the first one. I can't just jump into number four, like I saw there. But at least, um, I have something else on the table that I'm interested in, so that's good. J. G. Grizzy Mala? I'm gonna call it, like, I'm gonna say J. Grizzy Mala, and then feel free to correct me if I said it wrong, but hello and welcome to you, Grizzy Mala. Batman is a really tough game. I never actually beat that game. Um, I would like to try to beat that game just because it's a good game. It's fun, but it's tough. Um, the farthest I actually made it was, I think, stage... Four? I want to say. It's the one where... Um, I think you're in the sewers, I think. It's just, that game is hard. That's a really tough game. Um, so I, I do kind of feel like I owe it to myself one day to try to beat that game. Um, but but Mario, Mario should definitely come first. The fact that I have not finished Mario, definitely, uh, that has to come first. I mean, you, you can't, like... That was the first game I ever owned. So, maybe we'll have to start doing some Mario runs. Try to redeem myself as a gamer. Uh, let's see. Ah, I really, I, I don't even have max poison resistance, but I just don't care. Poison resistance is just not um, something that is just, you know, that important. It's, it's good to have, but it's more like a luxury by comparison to any other elemental damage that you take in this game. And so I, that's why I'm just like, eh, I don't feel like even wasting inventory space with that charm. Unless it had, like, a lot more. If it had a much bigger chunk, then I'd be, like, fine with it. But that's that was only a small percent, anyway. Sadly, Andy, I wish you had mentioned that game a week or two ago. I had a spare code for it, but it's gone now. Oh, Frost! Well, I appreciate... Um, wait. Why did that get moved over? It's probably been cut off now. How did that happen? That's weird. I don't even know how that got moved. Let me check the stream real quick, make sure that's still looking alright. Uh... Gone now. What the heck? Why did that resize? Yeah, my my thing resized. And now it's not going back. What the hell? As far as it goes, for some reason, it's totally flaking out on me. Um, that must be why it's getting cut off. Maybe that it, it readjusts and it screws it up. I'm gonna have to just move everybody's name over, like, slightly. Hang on, guys, sorry. This is just, um... Oh, we got the Diablo 1 music playing in the background. That kind of fits. Yeah, I don't know what, uh, what happened there. That's... I think that's what's... Yeah, see? The frickin' window shrank. Or something. Um... Let me try one thing before I go messing with it too much more. I can't adjust anything. It's like the chat just totally screwed up. And the window, like, broke on me. There, there, there. I think that's gonna get it. Hold on. Hang on. Go on. Ah, I think I got it. I think I got it. Right there. Right there. Okay. Now we're good. Alright. Sorry about that, people. Snake541, welcome back. Um, oh, Frost. About the, uh, the spare game there. Thank you, um, because I, I know you would have generously, uh, throwing that my way, and I do appreciate that, but, um, nah, no big deal. That's fine. Oh, Shadow. Final Fantasy 3, and this is Shadow's theme. I love this song. We gotta listen to this. This is good. Oh, 
man, making me want to play Final Fantasy 3 now. Whoa, Infinity Andy! Infin... Infinandy. Infinandy. That actually kind of makes sense um, in a weird way. Yeah, Infinandy. That is kind of weird when it does it. You're right, though. Now that I think about it, Batman was definitely up there in difficulty. Yes. Yeah, that was a very tough game. Um, hence why I never was able to beat it. Um, the last time I played it, though, I was still pretty young. I feel like I have a chance of beating that game now. I mean, I'm... Uh, I'm older now, I've played a lot more video games, I'm, I'm much more versatile in my uh, abilities. Like, um, for example, I played Blaster Master when I was a kid quite a few times, and I wanted to beat that game so badly. I just, I tried so hard, and I, I even made it to Area 8 and the final boss. Um, and then I even finally got to um, the first tier of the final boss, and then I just, I couldn't... Um, like, well, after I killed it, which I was, like, in barely, you know, alive after that, and then, uh, the second form came out, and he just kicked my ass. He just, he beat me down bad. And by that time, I, I ran out of my continues and everything, and every time I got there, I just, I couldn't do it. But finally, I came back, and about, I don't know, um, maybe eight months ago or something, um, I streamed for the very first time. I was playing, um... With a fella named... Oh, come... See? Lazy schmuck! What the hell's your problem, man? You were making me burn my money up. I'm just gonna pee on his grave one day. I'm just not even gonna res him. I'm gonna leave him there and let him just think about what he did. Damn it, man. What is he burning me for? 30k? Almost 40k. What a loser. This guy, like, chose the wrong freaking job. He is no hero of the world. Anyway, um... So yeah, about maybe eight months ago or something like that, I started streaming uh, extremely casually, and um, I was playing Blaster Master at the same time with a fellow named Jim, and um, he's a good guy. He's he's the one that actually created uh, OBS, and um, so we're just sitting there and we're playing through it, and um. I decided that, you know, I, I really want to try to beat this game, and then I believe that was the first time I beat it was on stream, actually, I, th I think. Or maybe... Maybe I beat it before that, like a... I can't remember now. Frost, I don't, I don't know if Frost remembers if that was the first time I actually finally finished the game or not. Because Frost was there the very first time I started streaming. He was there since day one. He hopped in and saw me and Jim playing at the same time, and it was like, what are these guys doing? And, uh... And then, um, maybe I did. Maybe, maybe I did beat it a little bit before that, but it wasn't, I know if it was before that, it wasn't much longer. Because, um, I did beat it in the past, like, maybe six years ago on an emulator. But, you know, emulator, you can cheat and use save states, which I did because I just wanted to see the ending. But then after I beat it, I was like, dude, that was the most hollow victory I have ever experienced at all. And I was just like, that, that doesn't count. You cannot actually call that beating the game. That's just like, you know, I, I cheated my way through the game. And so I was not happy with that. And then, you know, years later, I finally was like, you know what? I got to do this legitimately. I got to, you know, actually beat this game. And when I did, it was just like, yes, finally. You know, that game's been haunting me for years. And now I kind of feel the same way about Mario and a little bit about Batman. So, um, fortunately, I do have a copy of Mario. Um, so I'm going to give that a go. I think um, I think we need to do that. So I'll tell you what, maybe maybe after the end of Act Three or something like that, maybe we'll give Mario a go. Contra? Hell yeah, dude! I beat the freaking crap out of Contra. I couldn't put that game down. That was actually the first um, game that I ever played that had guys with guns. And you went around shooting other guys and aliens and stuff, and I was like, my god, you know, this is, like, completely different than any other game I've ever seen. Because all the other games I saw at the time, I think, were um, Mario Brothers with Duck Hunt, and then um, Donkey Kong. 
and some other game that's just made for like little kids. R really, not like a kitty game. What was that? I had Mario, Donkey Kong, and something else. Man, I was I was just a little kid. Um, I don't remember the other one, but it was nothing like amazing. It was just kind of like, oh, okay, you know, video games or you know, whatever. But then when I saw Contra, um, a neighbor friend of mine brought it over and was like, dude, Andy, you gotta check out this game. Or, well, now, let's see. We gotta do it, people. We gotta do it. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah. Yeah. This game. Right there. It's got something written on the side of it. I, don't know. I bought it used because my original copy. Well, I never actually had an original copy. Um, it was the neighbor kids, and I played it with him. And my God, that game just changed me forever. I was like, "Wow, this is freaking awesome!" I'm going around, you know, blowing away aliens and all kinds of other creepy stuff. And it was tough. It was really tough. And I, uh, I will admit, when I first played through it, um, I died a lot. And then, fortunately, my neighbor buddy was like, "Dude." That's okay that we died. Let me show you something pretty cool. And he takes the first player controller and he does... Yes, that's right. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B-A... B-A... Select start. Because there's, you know, two player. Yeah, two B-A's. Pretty sure, anyway. It's been a while. Um, either way, you guys know what I'm talking about. And so he did that, and we had our 30 lives, and I was like, oh, that's awesome. And then we were, then we beat the game, you know, and then it was like, okay, now you're able to do it. But then uh, I played it enough to where I was able to go through the game without the code. And, man, just that is definitely one of my, uh, one of my more favorite Nintendo games. It's not my top favorite Nintendo game, but it's up there. Actually, if I had to make a top three Nintendo games... Then I'd say it's probably on my top three. It would be um, Blaster Master, Metroid, and Contra, probably. Make sure I'm not forgetting anything, but yeah, I, I think it's probably those three. Karunen? Welcome back, I believe. I think you've been here before. Contra is hard as hell. You see, I... um. I didn't really think that Contra was, uh... Oh, you have... Okay, I was gonna say, I think you've been here. Okay, welcome back, then, to you, uh... Karunin. Sorry, your, your name's just a little bit of a... Tricky one for... I have to, like, read it carefully. But it doesn't slide off the tongue easily for me yet. I gotta get used to it. Um... Hellmarch? Yes! This is Hellmarch! Oh, Kirunen. Kirunen. Thank you for, um, specifying how to say it. Um... Kirunen. Kirunen. I gotta try to remember that. Uh, yes, so, uh, Soyuz is right. This is freaking Hell March. We got some Command and Conquer here. I have a lot of video game music on this list. This is my favorite song. Yeah, it's a good song, Soyuz, definitely. We had all the Castlevanias, but I never played them. Wish I did. Um, I have only played, like, all the way through. Like, I've beaten Castlevania 2, um, but I've never beaten Castlevania 3 or 1. But, uh, if you guys, if you guys are really like, hey, can you play Castlevania 1 or 3 or 2, I got all three. I got them all. So, um, that's pretty awesome if we, if we really had to do that. Or just Kiru. Oh, okay, Kiru or Kiru Nen. All right. I like Kiru. Kiru sounds, um, easier, but I also just like the sound of Kiru. Kiru sounds good. That almost sounds Japanese to me. Yeah. Yeah, Kiru definitely, uh, sounds more Japanese. But I guess that would be, like, Kilulen. Kilunen. If it was Japanese. Um. Oh. Okay. But Hellmarch? Uh, I'm not sure what you meant, uh, Kiru, about Hellmarch. Like, you said, but Hellmarch, question mark. I'm not sure what you mean. Everyone needs a little Hellmarch in their lives. <laughs> That's right. I think they do. Yeah, definitely. It's... 
I gotta say, the song fits the game perfectly. It really does. Oh, oh, Kiru. Hellmarch is the name of the song that is currently playing. It is from a game called Command and Conquer Red Alert, I believe. I don't think it was in the original... I, actually, I don't know if it was in the original Command and Conquer. Because by the time I found out about the existence of Command and Conquer, Red Alert was already out. And I was just like, oh my god, this game is awesome. And then um, I started playing through the campaign... And then as soon as uh, Hellmarch kicked in, I was like, wow, it just, it fits it so well. And the better thing about um, Command & Conquer was that if you go to the options, you can actually select which songs you want to hear. So I used to um, constantly play Hellmarch and um, something called like Work. It's on the list here, let me see. Uh, oh, it doesn't say the name, but it's right there, here, it's... This one, right here. I used to play this song, and then, wait, this might be another one, too. Oh, this one's the ending. This is when you got the victory. This is a good little, uh, rock out with the guitar there. Um. I think this is... What is this? Oh, this is, this is Command & Conquer, but I think this was in, like, an expansion of Red Alert. Anyway, though, this is the other one here. Um, that I used to play a lot. I can't remember what this is called, though. It's it's like something work, or something. Anyway, we'll go back to the other one there. Uh, actually, pretty much third. Yeah, there we go. On to the next song. But yeah, I have quite a few Red, uh, red Alert songs. The Last Question, welcome back. And Decker's Mate, welcome back. CC music was great, especially in the original ones. Yeah, see, I... I don't know how much they carried over from the original, um, if any at all. I don't know. But I did enjoy a lot of uh, Red Alert, at least. And then the expansions for Red Alert 2 were pretty good. Like, um... I can't remember what they're called. Andy, you should get Grinder from Red Alert 2. Oh! Uh, well, guys, I do take requests on video game music. I'm totally okay with that. The other day, um... I was asked to play some Ocarina of Time, Gerudo Valley, which I, I didn't actually have any music from Ocarina of Time, but now, fortunately, we have like eight songs from it. I grabbed quite a few, so, um, including Gerudo Valley. Where's my pen? Where's my pen? Who stole my pen? No, seriously, where's my pen? Ah, oh, there it is, okay. Let's see. Uh, let me just put that on my list, and I will get that at some point. I can't guarantee I will get it soon, but uh, I will get it at some point. Oh, and I actually I did say I was going to add music from Diddy Kong Racing, but I did not do that yet. But that is on the list, just so you guys know. All right, so Red, what is it? Red Alert 2, and it's called Grinder. Okay. All right, sounds good. Cool. Thank you. Hey, Dark, welcome back. I am doing good, how are you? And actually, you can tell me how you're doing, uh, and I will read it when I get back, because I'm going to empty out my inventory, and I also, uh, I gotta... Well, you, you guys know what I gotta do now. It's about that time. It's been a little while, so yeah, I'll be back.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have returned. I am back. Now let's see, uh, Dark didn't answer me. Maybe he didn't hear me. I was asking how you're doing, Dark, and I'm doing good. Maybe he did not know. What did you say... Wait. Okay, what did you say was in the name? I have the track list up. Um... Oh, uh, work, I think? I think it has the name, the word work in it. Oh, I forgot, to, I, I gotta sell stuff. Or... Yeah, what is it? I, I just, I... Workmen, yes, workmen, that's it. Yep, that's it, thank you, Winnie, you got it. I feel better now. Oh, 66. He might actually be able to wear that now, but I don't know if I want to... Oh, his resistances, though. He still needs those. He's... i got to be a little higher level before I can give him that life leech. Um, I am starting to run out of room again. I'm going to have to mule stuff over at some point. Um, and I need to sell these things. So, yeah. That's fine. Hey, Proto-Soldier. Welcome back. Dark, did you go AFK or something? Are you there, Dark? Are you there? Are you with me? Oh, see, there we go. Ocarina of Time. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Oh, we got a little little Zora going on here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Dark, I was just... Uh, I don't think you heard me. I, I, you, uh, you asked how I was doing, and I said I'm doing well. And I was asking how you're doing. Yeah, I just... Uh, I didn't want you to think I missed, uh, I missed you there, man. And I welcomed you back, too. I didn't forget you. I did not. Alright, uh, right, that's full. So, we cannot smash any of these down, can we? Ah, that's okay. Ooh. Lights just flickered. At least I think they did. What about me? Well, some guy. I did not look over yet and see, uh, your name quite yet, because, um, it has to pop up on the side there, but now it did. So, once it pops up, which is, it, I... I'm guessing it takes like 30 seconds or so for people's name to pop up in chat. I don't know how long it takes, but it's definitely not instant. But, welcome back to you, some guy, and how you doing as well. Uh, oh, Chuckster, right. You haven't been here in a little while. See, if you came back a little bit sooner, I would have remembered. Oh, yeah, Chuckster. That's right. Okay, so Chuck. All right. I'm sorry, I forgot. See, I told you I was going to forget. I totally, uh... Hey, wait, where's the Gid bin? Oh, there. Okay. Uh, yeah, I did forget. Sorry about that, Chuck. And that's fine. That's totally fine. I just, um, I forget sometimes things like that. Especially when you don't actually have a name, you know, that you, you're, you're wanting to be called there. But yes. Takes time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I just gotta get it. And Proto Soldier, I was asking how you're doing. Or at least I believe I asked you how you're doing. Um, and I did welcome you back as well, Proto. Ah! Hey! And, uh, oh, uh, Chuck, don't worry about being busy. It's fine, man. Um, you know, I, I, uh, I'm just glad that you can come back at all. You know, I, I know people have their real lives, and they gotta do stuff, and you can't sit here watching me all night, you know? It's, I don't expect that of any of you. I just enjoy when you show up and hang out. That's cool. Curious if the track you wanted was in the OST? Wait, did you get the- Oh, oh, Frost! I did not get that yet. And part of that, part of the reason why I did not get that yet is because of the story that I have to tell you all, which, um, you know what, I think, uh, once I get through this dungeon, or maybe I get, like, kind of to a safe spot, I will tell you all the story that I, I promised you. So, um, we can, we can then go with that, yes. No, no! Oh, man, he almost died, I didn't even realize it, that was close. Gotta keep tabs on that jerk. Epically failing. Ow. Getting shocked. He's got AoE uh, shock damage. Dawson, welcome back. Verox, welcome back as well. And my golem went down. Damn. I wish, though, I like funny people. <laughs> you underestimate my power. That's no good. Can't have any of that. Oh, 
Did I just... Oh. Thought the... Uh, my guy died there for a second. I was going to say, what? You're one of my favorite casters. I try to watch you whenever you're on or whenever my internet allows. Well, thank you, Winnie. I appreciate the compliment. I really do. Um, yeah, thank you. Hi back at you, Verox. How many points did you put into energy, Andy? Zero. Um, absolutely zero. Because um, since I'm in hardcore mode, it's just all vitality. 100% vitality, and with my final build, I won't need any energy anyway. Um, not a single point. Even though it says 67, that's, um, that's entirely from just items. What level? I am 72 now. Oh, wow, 72. I was 70 when I started today, so I'm actually uh, moving along pretty good. Yeah, come along well. So what's this story? Oh, the story, the story. Well, um, okay. Um, this this is um, let's go back to town because this is a story. This is definitely a story. Um, I have to warn you all though. Um, this is um. Uh, Kind of, kind of a, a scary story, if you will. Um, so anybody, you know, if, if you're, if you're not, if you don't really like scary stories and, and like scary events and you know real life, because this is a real story. I didn't make this up. This really happened. Um, you know, you might want to tune out for the next couple minutes here. But um, all right. So this, this is true story. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> Flex King left. <laughs> Fuck that. I'm leaving, dude. I, I'm afraid of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't staying for that. I'll just come back. Okay. So, this is what happened yesterday. Alright. Um, now, you guys asked. You said, hey. Um, you know, how was your birthday? And I said, you know, honestly, my birthday was good, but a little bit of bad, too. Something did happen on my birthday of all days. And, um, yeah. So, um... It's my birthday, and it's raining out, and it's it's raining mildly, but it's it's just raining. It won't stop raining, and I'm, you know, I'm just kind of waking up, and um, I get something to eat, and then uh, a little later on, um, you know, um, I um, watch a little TV, and I'm like, I'm enjoying myself, you know. I'm like, hey, this is uh, this is uh. You know, gonna be a good day, hopefully. You know, it is my birthday after all. Gotta enjoy it, take it in. So I'm, you know, I'm thinking, I'm mentally bracing myself to be lazy. You know, because on your birthday, you're allowed to do two things. You're allowed to be demanding and lazy. And so I'm, I'm mentally bracing myself. Oh, you're right. The music does fit. We should keep this going. This is a long song too, actually. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because it is a scary story. It's eight minutes long, so that's perfect. All right. So anyway, um, I uh. I, I noticed that the weather starts getting a little bit more rough outside, and I'm like, okay, you know, it's raining a little bit more, and then it starts really coming down. But fortunately, you know, there's there's no thunder; it's just raining, and it gets it's raining so hard and it's so overcast that you know when it goes to that point where even though you know normally be a bright sunny day, it's kind of like an overcast day and it's very dark and dreary. And I'm like, man, on well, my birthday, it's 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 like raining down. But I was like, that's okay. I like the rain. Actually, I find the rain to be really enjoyable. Um, so I was like, that's cool. You know, it's it's raining. That's all right. Um, but it, it was just coming down more. But again, it was it was just nice, quiet rain. Nothing bad. So I was like, that's cool. I'll uh, I'll hop on my computer and I'm watching The Simpsons. And then um, so I'm sitting here and I'm chilling and um, I don't know. I forget what episode I'm watching. It doesn't matter though. I'm watching The Simpsons and. Um, and then um, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, like, I mean, it was just quiet rain coming down. A bolt of lightning hits, like, right behind me, which is, like, outside. Because there's it just, you know, there's a wall right here, and then it just goes outside. And it hits right out there. Just pow! I mean, it was just, there was no, like, you know, usually you hear the grumble and stuff like that. It was just kaboom. ka freaking boom And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> you know, it was, it was loud as hell. And then um, my monitor shuts off. And then uh, I'm like, oh shit, that's bad. And then, um, but I hear my computer's still running. 
And then uh, I was I was like, oh my god, you know, please tell me nothing happened. I'm on, you know, two surge protectors though, not just one, two. I have a surge going into another surge protector, and I'm like, you know, I think it's gonna be okay. I think it's very, you know, just oh my god. And then um, uh, I turn off the computer because it was still running, but again the monitor's off, and I'm like, oh my god, you know, this this is no good. And then um, uh, I turn it off, and then it's quiet again, and I'm like, where did that even come from? Because I heard no other lightning bolts hitting, nothing. It was just quiet. And I'm like, how did that happen? And I'm like, what's going on here? Why did just one bolt of lightning come out of nowhere, and then it hits right there? I mean, what the hell, man? That's not cool. So then um, I turn the computer back on real quick. I just, I got to make sure it, it fires up. It comes back on. And I'm like, oh, thank God. Computer's okay. Monitor's okay. Go surge protectors. But then, but then something, something happened, something so terrible, and I, just, you know, I looked down at the little icon in the corner, the little one that says you connected to the internet, and it had a red X across it, and I was like, that's not good. That's not good at all. And then, and then, shield your eyes if you're scared, people. I looked down at my router and there were no lights. No lights at all. It was dead. Dead. Oh my god. I was so scared. And that's right, for us, it, there was no freaking, I know, no internet. And I had no internet. It was dead. And the, the modem. The internet modem, it was dead too. Dead as shit. And I was like, oh, no. It got the modems and the router. It got them both, man, in one hit. And I was like, you know, it's awesome because I like now I'm I'm here at this. I'm, I'm like I'm like I'm happy because I'm like oh I got my computer, but then I'm sad because I'm like I got no freaking internet and, and my I, and so I'm like happy and sad. And I'm like, this is the best worst birthday ever. And I'm like, what is happening? And and it's true, guys. It was dead as shit. I couldn't revive it. You know, I, you know, I'm like, okay, what if I try a different plug? You know, you get crafty. You got to think about this, because you know, a little, little uh, side knowledge about Paranoid Andy. He collects um, electronic stuff. You know, he doesn't like to throw away any of his electronic stuff. So you might say, is he a hoarder? Not a hoarder, exactly. Because hoarder generally, you know, that sounds like I stow everything away. Like I throw nothing away. That's not true. I throw away lots of stuff. Just not my electronic stuff. You know, that's that's like good stuff. And so I was like, you know, let's try a different plug, see if we can get this bad boy going. No. No. He's 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 gone, people. Did I try mouth to I did try mouth to mouth. I <laughs> But no, Linksys, Linksys BFSX41 is dead. Is dead. And very sad. And, and the modem is like called an Aries or something like that. Dead. I, I had to call my ISP. And I, I was just like, hey. I think my modem's dead, man. And he's like, well, you know, can, can you try this for me? And you try that and stuff. And I did all that stuff. And give him a proper burial. Wait, 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 wait. We gotta go back to that song. Because that's the, we need we need a tone. Yeah, okay. You know what, Decker's mate? I will give him a proper burial. I'm gonna do that. I gotta write it down so I don't forget. But you know what? I think if I can, I'll even make a little video for you guys. We're we're gonna we're gonna give the burial the proper burial. I'm not sure how you properly send a router off into the next life, but I will come up with something. Don't worry. So we gotta hang on. I need to. My my paper is kind of full on other stuff here that I have written down. There we go. How, what do I call Cast your router. Cast your router. Into the next world. So sad. That's, that's on the list of to do. Yeah. A Viking funeral? Could do that. Air could do that too. Out to sea. I, I like it. This is good stuff. 
Well, let me finish the story real quick, and then uh, we can discuss further what to do with 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 old reliable or used to be reliable anyway. Good old Lynxes. Gonna miss you, buddy. Gonna miss you. We'll put you over here for now, and then we'll we'll take care of you later. Don't you worry, buddy. You okay there? That's good. So anyway, um. Hang on, I think I missed a couple people coming back. Let me make sure I welcome people. Sheer Chaos, welcome back. Philanthropic, welcome back. Jeremy the Boss, welcome back as well. And Senritsu. I think Senritsu's been here before, so welcome back, Senritsu. Uh, oh, you haven't? Jeremy? I thought Jeremy's been here. Um, um, okay, quick catch-up, quick catch-up, because Jeremy wants to know what happened. Jeremy needs to know. Um, but I, I can't tell this... You, you can't tell a story like that at the same time again so Jeremy uh, if you really want to see what happened you're gonna have to watch the the old footage um, after I'm done streaming and you can see that the original story to get the, the full feel the emotion okay my router got hit by lightning and and my modem and they died um, and I was very sad so anyway to continue the story of what happened um, so I called my ISP and I said, hey guys, my modem is dead as shit, I think. Can you do something? And they're like, well, you know, unplug it, plug it back in, and all this crap. And I'm like, I did all that. You know, I, I do know how to, like, kind of do this stuff. And, um, Andy, tell the story without do using words? I'll try that next. If you remind me, I will attempt to kind of tell the story without words next. But let me finish with words, because then people will... At least have a hint. Yeah, see, that's why I like having Frost around. Frost is just, he's a thinker. He's a thinking man. And he sometimes is just comes out of the woodworks with like, Andy, I think you should try this. Or I have been considering that. And I'm just like, that is... He's, he's, he's got it down. He's, he's a thinker. So anyway, um, I, uh, I did all the damn tests and all that crap. And it doesn't work. I am officially 100% internet -less. And let me tell you, people... Oh, God. I'm having trouble just even thinking about it. It was, it was awful. It was just... It was terrible. It was a nightmare. Don't let that happen to you. Like, don't... Oh, God. Whew. I was without internet for almost 24 hours. Almost. Fortunately, internet guy came today about 10 in the morning... And believe me, I was out of bed by 10 in the morning. I was like, I'm getting out of bed for this. And um, he, uh, he replaced it. But that is why, that is why, to all the people that were probably, that, that might have been saying, hey, Andy said he might be on for his birthday. He might come on and stream. I was planning on it. I was ready, willing, able. And Andy had no internet. Couldn't get on. So, um... That is why I was not here yesterday, but that is why I'm here today, so I'm back, and that is why I came on late today, though, because um, there is actually one thing that did get fried on my main computer, because I did not have any surge protection for the Ethernet cable, it fried my LAN card thingy on my motherboard, so I was screwed, and it fried it on my laptop, yes, fried, so I could not have internet, even after we got the internet hooked back up, and it was, it was like here, I still couldn't get online because I had to do some testing. I was like, okay, now I got to see if my computer is actually fried uh, on the internet, and it is. It is officially broken on my motherboard and on the laptop too. This laptop is now, if you try to just plug straight into the Ethernet, you got nothing. It's it's dead. So um, fortunately, though, I was able to take a quick trip to Best Buy, and I got, I got. Apparently, I've never even heard of this company, but I got myself a Rocket Fish, and it's a USB to Ethernet cable converter thing, and uh, it seems to be getting the job done well. I, I was like, I was concerned because I was like, you know, USB 2.0 with an Ethernet cable, but it says right on it, it will work on a 10100 connection. And I was like, well, that's what I'm on. That should be good, and I tested the uh, upload and download speeds. Um, and it worked fine, so I was like, yes, I can stream tonight, because I was really concerned. I was like, I don't even know if I can stream, because that might not get it done. I just didn't know, but here I am, we're good to go, so, ugh, it just, it sucked, 
However, I should I should also uh, inform you guys, if I all of a sudden disappear on the stream, my computer also has another problem that was going on before it got hit by lightning. So, that still could be an issue too. So if I all of a sudden just drop off the stream, my computer's on the fritz, and I'm not even entirely sure what the problem is. Frost, I was telling him the other day about it, I thought it was the memory, but it did it again, and then uh, I swapped out the memory with two other slots, because I have a total of four gigabytes, and they're all one gigabyte sticks. And so I took out two... And then it did it again, it just, my computer will just shut off. And then uh, I tried the other two, and then now I'm, I'm still waiting for it to possibly mess up. Maybe the lightning cured the problem? That would be nice if it did. Uh, Fikan, hello and welcome to you. So anyway, that is what happened. That is my story of why I wasn't on, and how my birthday was a good day. Because my family came over, we spent the day together, and, and I don't have a typical birthday cake. Uh, my mom always makes me a nice cheesecake, and it's like a homemade cheesecake, and I freaking love cheesecake. Ooh, so good. Yeah. So I had, you know, we had some cheesecake, and um, spent some time together with the family. Everybody, you know, had a good time. It was nice. But anyway, the whole internet thing just kind of like, you know, I feel like my birthday kind of got me through the pain of that. I might have died otherwise. I might have just not even made it through, like, life. Anyway, though. Let me catch up on chat now, because I, I know I've fallen way behind. Um, Verox and Sorensu, uh, I might not have actually welcomed you guys back. Uh, so welcome back if I did not. Um, let me let me just make sure I didn't miss anything important here, because I, I know I, I've been blabbing here for a little while now. Actually, I should move my character so I don't get kicked. Um, I did? Okay, good. All right, good. Andy hyping the story of no toilet paper. Ah, see, Frost, you thought I was going to tell a bullshit story, but that was scary. You knew that. I, I know that once I, once I showed you guys the actual... I know you guys probably just, like, jumped out of your seat. Like, oh, 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 my God. Yeah, see, Frost, you trying to troll me, but yeah, the horror. That's right. It was some scary stuff. If I miss something you guys said, just feel free to say it again, uh... Zeus was wishing you a happy birthday, but then, uh, oh, Zeus, I was like, who's Zeus, and I thought maybe it was a friend or something, and I see what you did there, I see what you did, yeah, trolling me with the Zeus, I get it, I get it, that is the PC equivalent of the Red Ring of Death, yes, yes it is, <laughs> see, you guys freaked out, you're like, oh my god, oh my god, it's so terrible, I know, right, it was awful, I, I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised that I am not traumatized from that event. Yeah. Alright, so now we uh, we can possibly discuss... Uh, I like the Viking burial. We could do that, sending it in the air, pushing it out to sea. These are all good, um, you know, good suggestions here. Make it fly, yes. Um, yeah, so these are all good suggestions on what to do with the router. Guys, I'm still trying to catch up on chat, and I, still, I see you're still saying stuff. I'm trying here. Uh, if I miss something, again, please just say it again. I'm, I'm skipping ahead on chat a little bit. You know how slow I read. Um. Uh, bye, Andy. Gonna try my hand at streaming. See ya. Well, Dawson, have fun, man. Enjoy yourself. I hope it works out for you. I'll see you later. Mm. You know, Andy, happy late birthday. Well, thank you. Thank you for uh, wishing me happy birthday. Uh, oh, and Chuck, thank you. Yeah, thanks everybody for wishing me a happy birthday. I appreciate it. Um, how old are you? I am 30. Big 3-0. Andy is old. Okay, I am caught up. That is good. Now we can discuss, uh, possible burials of the, uh, the router. You see, um, same as you? Ah, oh, cool. Yeah, everybody tells me that. They're like, you don't look 30, and you don't sound 30. Um, so, I don't know. Um, maybe I'm not actually 30. Maybe I just think I'm 30, but I've lost my mind, and I'm actually something younger. Any good? Ooh, fire resistance. Um, fire, fire. 70, oh, well, it's maxed anyway. Um, 19 is strength. Wow, it's a lot, but... Um, that's actually not that high. I think it can go up to like 30-ish or something. Um, why do I... Oh, cold resist... I can ditch that ring. That one can definitely go. Um, just 
for the sake of whatever, I'm going to hang on to this one. Just because it does have fire and in case I need to mix and match a little bit. So, we'll hang on to that. And I think I have enough rings to... Yeah, I do. Okay. This is it. I think I can convert those down. Although, I'm really... I don't really need to do this anymore. You know what? I think I'm just going to start um, selling my rings now. Because I'm getting tired of this smashing them down. So, let's do this last one. And we'll call it. Let's see, I don't even want that. Who cares? Let's just sell all this junk and make some room. I'm tired of not having space. I need it. You aren't old and not young either. Yeah, I feel like, I do feel like I am in between. I really do. So it's like, I'm not quite creepy, like, because I am streaming right now, so I'm not like, creepy streamer, but give it a couple more years, maybe even a few more years, and then I'll be creepy. It'll be like, dude, aren't you like 35 now or 40 or something? Shouldn't you like, go get a real job? And I'll be like, no! So yeah, it's okay. I think it's still socially acceptable for me to be streaming at this age. I think anyway. 13 going on 30. <laughs> um, I might have the, uh... Oh, crap. The maturity of a 13-year-old, possibly. Possibly. Maybe, maybe a little older. Kidamin, welcome back. Am I ready to go back down? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Flayer Dungeon. We're working on uh, going to get that piece. Still think the traditional Norse Viking funeral is the way to go. I don't officially know how to do a Viking funeral, but I am willing to uh, figure it out. So let's, I'll put that on here. Um, so Viking style. I'll put Viking style. I think that's good. So cast your router into the next world, Viking style. I like it. I think that's good. Mummification. Bury it at a temple surrounded by golden cats. I, I like the sound of that, but unfortunately, I don't have a temple. I don't have gold. And I don't have any cats. Um, so I don't think that's going to work. But I, I do like the sound of that. It definitely sounds cool. Why would you need a new job if you like this one? Um... Well, assuming that if this actually did turn into a job, yeah, that would be pretty cool. But currently, this is not actually a job for me. This is just... Currently, my position is just some guy coming on uh, on Twitch TV and streaming and having fun. But if I could actually make it a job, that would be pretty freaking sweet. But, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Fantanastic. Hello and welcome to you. Ryan and Duffy, welcome back. Honorable dead electronics can go to Valhalla if sent properly. In order to send your honorable dead to v Valhalla, you must 1. Place the dead electronic in a boat. 2. Set the boat on fire. 3. Hey, somebody hit me, I think. What's that about? 3. Let it drift out on a body of water. Oh! oh I actually could do that. I, th I think I can pull that off. The only problem is, I don't know... If I can film it for you all, to be honest. Um, actually, maybe I can. I might be able to film it. I don't have a nice camera, but I have like a half-ass... Like it's, I have one of those cameras where it's, it's meant to just take stills, but it can do video if you want it to, but it only lasts for like a short amount of time. So maybe... Maybe I can, actually. Um, tell you guys what. I will I will try to set that up, and, and if I can give... Um, my router, a, uh, a Viking funeral, I will do that. Unfortunately, I cannot give the modem a Viking funeral because, um, well, my ISP took it back. Apparently, you know, they're, they're like, that's our property. You can't have that. And I was like, well, why not? And they're like, because, you know, it's ours. And I was like, but it's broken. And they're like, too bad. And he's like, so give it back. And so, yeah, I had to give it up. Hi back at you, Ryan. My friends just got here later, Andy. Okay, see a question. You have yourself a good evening and have fun with your friends. People on Twitch just don't know how much value you are. Perhaps, perhaps. 
Maybe. One day, one day. We'll see. A thought. Yeah, that's, that's not bad. Well, you see when people check in, I just saw D2 and I was like, what the hell? People still playing this? Uh, Fantastic? Wait, Fantanastic. Uh, yes, people definitely still play this. This game is awesome. Silly ISP. I know, right? They just don't get it. They just don't understand. Unless, maybe my ISP has their own form of a burial ritual that they will conduct for their modem. So it's kind of like, hey, that was actually our property and we have to give it a proper burial. So maybe they will take care of it, but because, you know, the router, that's mine. I bought that. Maybe they will, um... Maybe that's that's how it works. So I, they know that that was my responsibility. I bet it is. I'm just gonna go with that. I feel that that's socially acceptable. I think that that's um proper etiquette there. Yeah, that makes me feel a little better. Maybe maybe they do have it under control. Can we blow up something near it. All right, good. Very good. Very good. It was actually secretly a camera videotaping your life, and it died because the room in the memory chip ran out. They just had to install a new one. Oh, so we got like a little, uh... A little, uh, what is it? What the heck is that? Sh Truman Show! The Truman Show. Yeah. Maybe it's like the Truman Show. Oh, 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 oh. Well, I gotta say, if I was on the Truman Show... Then um, I'm kind of surprised I'm, I'm I'm still on. You know, well, maybe maybe all that stuff I did when I was a kid was uh, was in yeah that was probably interesting. I'm like, man, he's he's a he's a bad little kid sometimes, but that's okay because it's entertainment. So I I have to say, if I was on some kind of like reality show, that it would definitely be on Fox. Definitely on Fox. I can that's the only network I can see allowing that kind of crap. Fox generally focuses on, like, crap like that. So it makes sense. We need to get your name out there. Your stream could be big. Um, oh, well, you're a great streamer. Always funny to watch whatever play. Um, thanks, guys. I I really appreciate that. Um, um I don't know. I, I guess uh, that's just that does mean a lot to me because it means it, when you guys say that kind of stuff. Um, I do want you to know I really appreciate it. Uh, obviously, I try not to let it go to my head because um, one of my biggest things um, that I feel inside about when people say like, "Hey, Andy, you should be bigger" or like you could be bigger as a streamer. Um, there are two things that immediately come to my mind when I hear that and when I think about it, and I just I want to share that with you now. Um, number one is I will never change, like, I will never go douche on you guys and, like, not talk to chat. However, I might miss, like, um, I guess that's the follow-up, though. Um, I just, I'm, it's not gonna change me. If I actually did, um, you know, manage to do this for a living, I'm not gonna change on you guys, that's for sure. Hey, Mayhem! How's it going? Um, so that's, that's the first thing. The second thing is, um, and it's my bigger concern, actually, um, because I, I just, I know I'm not going to change because what you guys see here is what I am. So there is no reason, it's not like I'm faking it here or something like that, it's just, this is who I am. Um, anyway, the second thing that does concern me, and it's a big concern, is I love talking to everybody. I love welcoming you all individually, I love saying, hey guys, how's it going today? How are you doing? And then you tell me how you're doing. And if you say you're doing good, I say, that's good. I'm glad to hear that. And if you say you're not doing good, well, I like to say, hey, why not? Why aren't you doing good? I mean, assuming you want to tell me. Um, and then usually people tell me. And if they don't want to tell me, they're just like, oh, I just don't feel good or something. You know, I respect that. That's fine. You don't have to tell me why. But, um, you know, I like to at least ask. And the thing that bothers me is, let's say, hypothetically, I do actually become a large streamer and, um, you know lots and lots of people are watching me um, I feel that I probably will not be able to individually welcome people anymore I'm gonna have to welcome people as a whole which is just how it is like I mean if you get people constantly just coming in like coming and going coming and going coming and going I can't do it like I can hardly keep up with chat as is Ow. so in order just to welcome people that are coming and going constantly um, 
that's that's going to be something that I'll probably have to stop doing at some point. Um, or at least I won't be able to do it for everybody. Like, maybe I, I, I can occasionally be like, hey, welcome. But then other people I know will be like, hey, what about me, though? And I'll be like, oh, my God, you know, I, I, I just can't keep up. Um, so then um, that would be kind of a problem. Um, the other thing is... Um, you know, individually talking to people, I, I know that I, I will, like, I still want to interact with everybody because I love it, and that's why I stream. But I feel like the interactions um, won't be to the extent that they are. I feel like they might lose a little bit of quality. Not a lot, I hope, but I just, I do get the feeling like I'll, I'll have to be a little more speedy in my replies, you know, like, um, when I'm telling you guys about something, possibly. I, I don't know. I, I don't entirely know. I just, I know that the more people that, that join, the harder it is for me to keep up with chat. And I do have a few ideas to help assist that, but then again, I mean, if, if chat is just spamming like crazy, which hopefully it won't be, um, it's just, it's, it has happened already a couple times. Like, I was playing Don't Starve, and quite a few people came in and were just talking and talking and stuff, and which is cool, and I, I welcome that. But in terms of keeping up, I was like, oh my god, this is like, I'm, I'm having trouble here. Um, so that is a concern of mine, too. That definitely is. Um. Yeah. So, 82. Yeah, yeah. Frost is right. Yeah, we, we had quite a few now and again. Every once in a while, it just it fills up, and it's like, oh my god, you know, it's it's just going. Imagine having 1K viewers and welcome them all individually. Um. Yeah, that would be a, um. That would be a problem. That really would be, and I would I just I wouldn't be able to. So I was thinking, um. I had a couple ideas for that. Um. But nothing where I could individually do it. Like, the only way I feel like I could do it is, like, if I had a bot, like an automatic bot that just welcomed people. But I, I just don't think that that's as good. Because it's a different thing when a bot says, hey, welcome back. And it's it's a whole nother thing when I'm actually like, hey, like right now, Junin, I can never say this guy's name properly, Junin Raphael, welcome back. You know, I'm actually calling him out on stream, you know, and he's like, oh, hey, this guy actually cares enough to say hey to me. And... You know, it's, uh, that's, that is a concern of mine. So, I just, I don't know yet. I'm not sure. On well, most big streams, uh, wait, most of them don't, most of them normally don't have accounts. Um, Ryan, if that's true, yeah, if there's, like, a lot of people watching right now, um, that don't have accounts, that's, um, you know, that's... I don't know, it just depends on the speed of the chat. That's the biggest thing. Because um, I've had it where, like Frost said, um, there was quite a few people in here, and uh, a lot of them weren't even talking exactly to me at times. Like, they were just talking amongst each other, and then it was just kind of like, oh boy. You know, even I have to kind of skim through that. So in order to at least help me with that, um, I will be making a custom IRC chat client so that... Um, I can read only messages that say at Andy in front of them. So at one point, oh, we got to, I think those are Saigons. I think I just got Saigons. Yeah, I did. Um, at one point, I will be asking people if they are talking directly to me to always use at Andy first so that it gets my attention and it goes on my separate chat because I'm going to have one IRC chat that you know, shows uh, all of the chat, another for the joins and leaves, and then another that is just for people that are definitely trying to get my attention. And then um, I could do it like that. That's kind of a pain to always put at Andy first, but it's the only thing I can think of if it really got that big and like that kind of crazy on me. So it's like, I'm just, I'm thinking about the future. And again, I don't even know if that's going to happen. I mean, it could always be like this. It could be a very humble little channel where, um, you know, we got these uh, people coming in and, um, you know, I, and, and it's just more of a smaller channel. It could be like that, or, you know, I, I just don't know. But I definitely try to prepare and, like, think about possibilities because, you know, again, I don't know. Hey, there's West. Welcome back, man. For those of you that might not know, when I say there is West, uh, that is my cousin, and his name is Locke Dan on here. He's a good guy. pay somebody to welcome people <laughs> uh, that's not a bad idea that'd be cool if I could actually have somebody just sitting here welcoming but then it wouldn't be me 
It wouldn't be quite as personal still. I mean, it'd be more personal than, than some chat bot doing it. Um, yeah, that, that is something there. That's That'd be funny. Didn't know you were streaming? I'm in the streaming channel, I thought. Uh, aren't I? Yeah, yeah, I'm in the channel. Um, maybe you didn't hear me come back on uh, Ventrilo. I was probably just, like, ninja style. Ooh, ooh, ooh. they got might. But yeah, I'm, I'm on. That's me. Let's keep Andy a secret. Could work, could work. Who knows? Who knows? I will be honest, though. If I actually did get to the point where I could make money at this, I'm not gonna lie, that would be pretty cool because then it's like... You know, I'm having fun playing games and talking to all of you, and I'm actually paying bills. I'm not just sitting here, you know, not paying bills. So that that would be cool. Daisy standalone stream. I can feel my stress levels riding all, rising already. Oh, boy. I have no idea how it's going to be with Daisy. I really don't. Um, yeah, that's... Ugh, that sounds potentially... Um, frustrating. So I'm, I have no idea how that's going to go. Oh, well, Winnie, that's very, uh, very nice of you. Thank you. You are, but you snuck in vent? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. I must have snuck right by. Yeah, I do that sometimes. I do. But if too many people join, the bot might spam the chat with welcome X. That's true, too. See, that's... See, you guys are thinking about it, and that's what I think about, too. Yeah, I was like, well, if I do make a welcome bot, it's going to be it's gonna be its own form of spam. And I was like, well, that's that's not good either. Nobody wants that. But then people still, you know, want to know they've been welcomed. I mean, that's just, like, that's what I do. That's, And I like that, though. Like, it's, it's not like I don't like welcoming you. I, I enjoy it. And so it's like... I'm a little sad by that, because if, if I did get bigger, then I wouldn't be able to do that. And I just, I have to figure out, you know, something um, with that. Um, so that's why I'm telling you guys, like, if you have suggestions on how to deal with it on, like, a larger scale, I'm all about it. Like, please, feel free to suggest, suggest ideas and whatnot, because maybe there's something I did not think of or not consider. But currently, um... Once it gets to a certain point of, like, a lot of people, I just don't really see any way to deal with it um, on such a large scale because um, uh, I know that it is possible. Chat Lax, hello, welcome to you. I know it is possible to uh, make it so that your chat, only people that are subscribers can chat in your chat, um, but that is bullshit to me. There is no way in hell I'm ever doing that. Um, just so you guys know, have no fear. I'm never... Um, I'm never going to do that. That is just not cool. So you don't have to worry about that. Uh, wait a minute. Somebody's going to bed? Uh, oh, I'm going to miss the Mario play, but I am exhausted. Um, oh, all right. Well, then, uh, Winnie, you have a good night, and I'll see you later. Um, anyway, though, yeah. That, I know that is an option where I could make it so that only subscribers can talk in chat, but I don't like that. That is just not my thing, um, because I want anybody to be able to come in and, you know, join up and... Um, that's just not an option. That's not even on the table. I think you could hit big when DayZ comes out. Maybe Decker. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, I am aware that if I would really want to try to boost myself in Twitch, I should probably play, like, newer games. But I'm okay with this. I, I like playing Diablo. I like talking to people that um, are like, Oh man, it's Diablo 2! I love this game! And... Um, get the nostalgia. I'm cool with that too. So, I'm kind of like in a position of whatever happens, happens, you know? It's just, I'm not like going out of my way to try to get partnered with Twitch, but if it does happen, that's badass. But if it doesn't, well, that's okay. I still enjoy just coming on and hanging out with everybody, and, and that's cool too, man. I'm okay with that. Lightning Mouse, hello and welcome to you. Could you put a 10 second delay? If you're talking about with DayZ, um, um, that I don't think is going to help me pretty much at all. If you're talking about for the chat getting spammed and stuff, maybe. I have considered some, like, slowdowns of chat. There is this thing called slow mode, I guess, or something like that, where you can make it so people can only type a certain amount of uh, a sentence, uh, and then only... 
every once a minute, but that's too long. I feel like once a minute is way too long. I feel like maybe if it was like 30 seconds or 15 seconds, that might at least help, you know, it, it not get like overloaded. But I, I don't want people to feel like, oh god, now I have to wait another 60 seconds to talk to this guy. No, that's that's not it either. That's that's not a good enough fix for me. Um, but yes, maybe slowing it down a little, maybe. Uh, well, if you got big, you could do what Trihex does. He has 2k viewers every stream, and what he does, he will pause for 15 minutes or take questions at that point. That's actually... Um, I thought about the same thing. I was thinking, that's really cool to hear that somebody does that and seems to be successful with that, because I had that idea. I was thinking I would have even an overlay on the stream um, that just says, like, chat mode. Like, I'm in chat mode, and it has a counter, because Frost made me a little thing for when I go AFK, and it has a countdown. So it says 25 minutes on it, and it shows um, that I'll be back in 25 minutes, and it counts down all the way to zero, and then it says Andy should be back by now. And I was like, that's awesome. And I was thinking if I made an overlay for chat, or for the stream, that said, like, you know, um, chat time or question time, I don't know, just something like that, you know, chatting with Andy, and it has a little timer, um... That might be better, too, because then that way at least people can talk to me and don't feel like, oh, man, he never talks anymore or anything like that, or he doesn't actually, you know... I feel like that could be a better way to do it. So, um... Kill, I'm really glad that you said that, and I'm really glad to hear that um, people are doing that, and it seems to be successful, so that's totally cool. Uh be streaming DayZ for the extra viewers though. Uh, Frost is absolutely right. Um, no, I. the only reason why I'd be playing DayZ is because I love DayZ. DayZ is fun. If I get more viewers from it, well then that's cool and all, but um, if I get none, it's. I just want to play DayZ. The game's freaking fun. Uh, I don't want that, Ruby. We don't want that. Oh, we got some StarCraft music going here. Let's turn that up a little. Actually, let's turn it up a little, because I, I like... I like this song. Good old StarCraft. Uh, Sola Tree, hello and welcome to you. Massive Attack, welcome as well. Edolon91, hello and welcome to you. Chef Smith, hey, welcome back, man. I know Chef. And Bill Dozen, I think Bill Dozen um, has been here before. So I'm going to give you a welcome back. Um... Bill, Bill's, yeah, Bill's been here before. Yeah, yeah. I'm almost positive. Mm, the fact is, we have all been waiting for the alpha. Yeah, yeah, I've been waiting for a uh, standalone since I first played DayZ like a year ago. Definitely. Andy, do you bother to carry keys in your inventory? Uh, not anymore. I usually do at lower levels because I'm not too concerned about inventory space. Uh, but now, uh, I don't because, um... I'm just trying to pick up other things, and I don't usually click boxes anyway anymore, because I'm not really magic finding, because there's not really much point now. Um, I'm just going to JSP all my gear. Uh, and if you don't know what that is, feel free to ask what JS JSP is. But if you do, then yes, that is going to be what I'm doing instead. So I, I don't even have to worry about any form of magic finding anyway. Uh, in the early levels, though, I did, because you know I need gear to help me progress. But now I'm pretty much geared well enough to get me by until um, I JSP. Okay, um, Imperium, welcome back, I believe. I think you've been here before. Yeah, that sounds really familiar. Um, JSP is a system of uh, internet gold, you could call it, or they call it forum gold, but uh, it's on a forum and you get JSP by either selling stuff to other people that um, have JSP on the forums, or you can buy JSP with real money, but I never did that and there's no need to. There's just so much of it floating around, you can get it in many different ways. Um, but um, you use this JSP currency on the forums to buy yourself gear in Diablo 2 or other games as well. Uh, but it started with Diablo 2, and the site is actually called d2jsp.com. And so I, w I have about 1,200 JSP right now, and I will be using that to buy up my gear. I was going to do it today, actually, before I started streaming, but, um, you know, because I didn't have internet, and I was pretty much screwed, there was nothing I could do, and I had to, you know, just kind of like, you know, leave it behind. Uh, my back. Gotta get the crack for me. 
eh, it's in an awkward position or something. Anyway, um, that's what it is, and so I will be buying all my gear with that pretty much, because it's just way easier. That way I don't have to farm for like weeks and weeks and weeks. The Arma 2 mod is really harsh on Andy's computer. Uh, yes, Frost is right. Um, I actually have a really respectable computer. It's not like it's it's bad. It's just um, it can't handle the DayZ mod because DayZ mod is just you know it, it requires a beefcake computer to even run at all, and I can barely run it even without streaming. So um, fortunately though, I'm well, I'm hoping that the standalone will be optimized enough to where I can run it and stream it at the same time. I'm really hopeful of that, and I, I think it will be, because it's no longer just a mod. You know, it's actually, they built it for, you know, DayZ. So, I think it'll be alright. Bomb Spieler, welcome back! I watched your Don't Starve. Okay, that's what I was going to say. Bill, I, I thought you were here just a while ago. Because some people, they will come and show up for like a day or two. And then they won't show up again for like a whole week or two. And then I kind of forget whether or not they were here anymore. Um, and then I'm like, well, you know, I think they were here. And, it's, you know, I, I can't quite remember. Uh, Decker's Mate, I am using a 4-core AMD. Now, um, I am an Intel guy. I definitely prefer Intel. Definitely. But um, this was a, um, um, uh, a gift to me from uh, Gooba. He's a good friend of mine. Known him for a long time. And he was generous enough to... Um, help me out so uh, actually I, I've upgraded big time uh, since before I started streaming before I started streaming I was actually um, on a, uh, a dual core and that was there was no way I could stream on that and I was on an old graphics card but uh, now I'm uh, I'm in much better shape now um, my model um, The model of the motherboard, I can tell you, and then the CPU. Is, isn't is the CPU on the bottom of the stream? Didn't I write it down? An AMD Phenom 2 or something like that? I'm almost positive. Yeah, if you look on the bottom of Twitch, you can see um, the CPU type. And then if you need to know the motherboard, let me know and I'll just... I'll grab the manual, because I have it there. And I'll tell you what it is. I saw you streaming the Arma 2 editor back where talking to Daisy, so if it runs anything like that, it should run nicely. Yes, um, the Arma 2 editor, because there's no zombies and there's no AIs running around, I can actually stream that, but who wants to see me messing around in the editor? That's boring. It's just, it's actually the Daisy mod that killed my computer, um, so that was bad. But um, hopefully, like I said, they did say that they're optimizing the uh, AIs massively, and it doesn't take up as much. Um, processing power so hopefully hopefully um i will be able to stream that uh but decker's mate yeah i don't know if you s heard me saying but it is on the bottom of this stream uh information there it's it's like an amd phenom to something something miller hey welcome back man yeah it has been a couple days yeah welcome back to you and welcome back ryan uh oh your stream uh Crash there? Okay, well, welcome back, Ryan. Just saying, after June 25th, I'll be gone for a while because I will go back home and I don't own a laptop. Well, Kill, um, fair enough, man. You know, when real life calls, you got to do what you got to do, man. And, uh, you know, I enjoy your company when you're here, but um, if you're not going to be on for a while, you will be missed. But um, when you come back, you will be welcome back as well. Computer specs, 3 gigahertz, 4 core, uh... Oh, really? Oh, well, hold on then. I thought I... I really thought I... I put it... Hold on. Here, let's, uh... Here we go. Uh... I actually named my computer Paranoid as well. Uh, there. AMD Phenom 2 X4 940 processor, 3 gigahertz. Um... So, yeah. Just, I guess I'll leave that there for a second. You guys can see that, right? Like, that should be showing up. Um, yeah. That, that should have been good there. Uh, Miller, no, I'm not in Nightmare. I'm in Hell, man. I'm in Hell! It's terrible I'm in Hell. But yeah, I'm in Hell. 
I couldn't figure out how to watch you live, so I came back every day thinking you weren't Skyping. Um, I, I guess you mean streaming. Um, okay, I was going to say, I'm assuming you mean streaming. Um, couldn't figure out how to watch you live. Um, well, Miller, um, if you're following me on Twitch and it doesn't send you an email, then... Um, you can try following me on Facebook, but I don't always update it. In fact, I actually forgot to update my Facebook right now. I, I should do that. You know what? I gotta do that real quick. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, see, that's... It's not completely reliable because Andy forgets sometimes. So let's, let's do that. And then I still have not made a Twitter. I've been busy with other stuff, and I just haven't done it. I still need to make myself a Twitter. Playing... Diablo 2. Alright. Yeah, see, Fault? Fault is not in here right now, is he? No, he's not. And I, I think Fault uses Facebook. So I just posted it now. He might show up in a bit, and I feel kind of bad. I forgot to, uh... Yeah, I totally forgot. Oh, wait, I gotta fix this. I'm, I'm on top of the thing here. There. Okay, there we go. Um, but yeah, Miller, um, if you're trying to watch me, um, if you're following me, it should be, it should send you an email. And if it's not, then that's Twitch's fault um, for some reason. I don't know why, but sometimes Twitch does that. I've been thinking about playing D2, but it's been so long and I'm not sure if I'm interested in playing a hack and slash right now. Well, fair enough. If you do decide to play it, let me know, though. I always like to hear uh, what people are up to and their progress in the game. When was the last time? Oh, okay. Aren't we all in hell? <laughs> sometimes, sometimes, yes. I think that was still... Uh, yeah, we are... It's currently still 1.13b. Magic Seaweed, welcome back! Um, I don't think Diablo 2 is dead. Well, on US East, anyway. I don't think. Um, I, like, I heard US East is actually quite popular. Now, I did hear that um, Europe and US West are pretty much dead, though. So, um, you might want to consider US East if you do start playing. Gotta tell you what happened at work today. We have a hot soup bar where I work, and some old lady was stirring up the soup and picked up the spoon and drank right from the pot? What? What's wrong with that lady? That's disgusting. That's, that's gross in two different ways. That's gross because the obvious one is now it's been contaminated by this old lady. It's gross in the other way of like, dude... That's probably not the cleanest spoon in the world, and she's just, like, taking a swig from it? Ugh. That's... Ugh. That's nasty, man. What the hell was she thinking? Maybe she's, like, senile or something. I don't know. That's just... Ugh. Your CPU is about the same one I have sitting around here in a box. Decent benchmarks for an old CPU. Yeah, Frost, I gotta say, this CPU is... It's certainly not bad. I mean... I, I do need to upgrade at some point if I want to play, like, newer games um, at decent resolutions. But um, it's not like I cannot play the games at all, you know? So I'm, I'm happy with that. If I have to play them at, like, you know, 1280 by 720 and, they you know, I don't have anti-aliasing on and stuff like that, that's okay. I can live with that. Um, as long as I can stream games, I'm actually pretty happy. I just I want to be able to stream so I can talk to everybody and, and just hang out. Um... So that's, that's good enough for me. You're welcome, Seaweed. I was disappointed by D3. <laughs> Weren't we all? Had to throw out the whole thing. Uh, ugh. Ugh. Yeah, I, I definitely... If, if I saw somebody drinking out of the soup, I would speak up fast. Like, even if I, you know, didn't work there or whatever, I'd be like, Dude, you guys need to, like, deal with that. Because that freaking, like, person over there just, you know, ate right out of it. And that's nasty as all. I might upgrade my PC this summer. Well, hey, man, if you do, grats to you. That's definitely an awesome thing, always. 
My old CPU was a Core 2 Duo 8400, 3 gigahertz. Uh, oh, okay. All right. Yeah, that's... I don't remember my specific specs of my old CPU, um, but it was certainly a hell of an upgrade um, when I got this 4-core, and that was only a few months ago. That was, um... Like, when I first started streaming Frost, I was still on the, du the dual core, messing around with streaming. That's why I never played any really nice games, because I was like, man, I could never play any nice games like that, like, because it was just, you know, it was way too old, but that's why I was, like, playing, you know, I mean, I like Blaster Master anyway, and, and Metroid, but it, that's the only reason why I stuck with Nintendo games only, <laughs> and I wasn't very serious about streaming either, because it was like, man... I can't really stream any games at all that are new, like, just nothing. I couldn't I couldn't touch, like, a game like Bioshock Infinite. But now, I mean, as you saw, I was able to play that um, at 1280 by 720 and it was awesome. I was like, yes! And I could stream it, so that was the best. If I get my construction job, I am definitely upgrading this summer. Have about the same specs. Oh, cool, cool. Well, I ho dude, I hope you get the job, man. I hope that you get it. Let's see. My yeah, here we go. Let's get comfy. Millsy4444, welcome back. But yeah, Bill, I hope you get the job, man, and I hope you get to upgrade your computer, because, man, that is that would be awesome. I've been working my butt off lately, saved a bunch of money, kind of want to upgrade my old Core 2. I feel you, Decker, I feel you, man. Ooh, hell! I found a hell in hell difficulty. Come on, come on, no. I'm sorry, I'm not even... No. <laughs> I try. no. No, I, I stopped. I stopped myself. It was close. It was close, but I stopped myself. I stopped myself. So you guys, you guys were, oh, like, especially Frost. I know Frost was like, no, Andy, don't do it. Don't do it. See, it's all right. Flex King, welcome back. I have an AMD A6 5400. It's so bad. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Just made that soup into chicken and dumpling soup. Wanted to take her cane and beat her over the head with it. <laughs> I know, right? Seriously, I'd, I'd have a few words with her. I, I'd probably be like, you know, what the hell, lady? What's your problem? You don't do that. Where are you from? Like, come on now. Like, germs and nastiness and all that stuff. Even if there was no such thing as germs in the world. Like, just no such thing at all. Just no germs existed before or ever. I still would be like, dude, that's that's nasty. Don't drink out of the soup like that. You don't do that, lady. Hey, 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 hey. You are not supposed to be hitting me. Yeah, there you go. I'm trying to read chat and this bird's coming up, bite me in the ass. I went from an i5 2500K. Oh, oh, that too. Oh, I see what you did. I need a job, so I stop staying up till 8 in the morning. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. As a Diablo novice, I can see that D3 isn't a perfect game, but I'm curious as to what it is in the Diablo Pro's feel is missing versus Diablo 2. Um, uh, Bomb, I have ranted and ranted and ranted about that stuff, so I'm going to give you kind of a quick little rundown. Um, there is a lot. Um, Storyline... Uh, a little bit of graphics, um, character selection, character abilities, miscellaneous little things such as not being able to jump to different acts without having to make a new game, um, and just lots of other little things like that. Um, so it's just a combination of everything that pissed a lot of people off that was just like, you know, this is not what we were waiting for. And the fact that we waited, um, wait, did I? Okay. Um, that we waited all these years and then that is what we got it just it felt like blizzard did not put the care and effort into the sequel of a game that deserved well deserved a good sequel uh and came out with what they did um and so just all those things coming together oh and blizzard's bad tech support um like just bad support i should say not tech support just support in general uh for the community they treat the community like shit so that's another thing so yeah, that's that's my shortest I can give you uh, without going into like a full-on Andy rant. Yeah, it's getting to that time where the Core 2 is not keeping up with games anymore. Yeah, the Core 2 is definitely um, 
you're right, and that's that's what happened to me. My core two, it just couldn't do it. I, I, it just was dying on most games. Um, fortunately, like I said though, this this four core, I can't max settings by any means, but at least I can play the games and I can stream. So that is just so awesome. Uh, I have to agree with Kill. D Diablo 3 should have been released. It's a fine game. It just shouldn't have been called Diablo 3. It should have been called Choppy Choppy Stab Guy. Or something like that. And it would have been fine. It would have been just fine. So it's a single core with AMD style hyper threading. Oh boy. That is ouch. I'm gonna have to agree with Frost on that. Gonna have to agree. If I upgrade my motherboard, CPU, and graphics card, would I need to buy a new operating system? Could I use my old one? Um, Brian, yeah, if you have the original discs and you're happy with whatever operating system you're on, there's no reason why you can't continue to use it. Yeah. Um, you definitely... Now, just... I guess I should clarify. Legally, here is how it works, at least... In my country, at least, I should say, too. In my country, you can move your operating system to any computer you want, any time you want. You can move it to five different computers um, in the same day if you want to. The only thing is, whatever computer you had it on beforehand, you have to take it off. If you have it on two computers at the same time, then you are violating blah, 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 and all that stuff, and people will not be happy with you. Um, but otherwise, yeah, you're free to just do whatever you want. Score is about the same as Andy's current CPU. Oh, okay. Oh, my, my golem died. Reactions, Lowell, welcome back. Princess Glitter, welcome back. Discover Ev, welcome back to you as well. Yeah, Discover, I think, has been here before. I think. And Gator Fan West, hello and welcome to you. Do, do, do. Hi back at you, Reaction. Ooh, I got a, I got a point here. We're moving up in the world. We're going. Not anymore. You can only install it up to so many times before your CD keys won't work. What? Really? Really? I did not know that. Well, then I gave bad information. If that's true, wow, I had no idea. See, that's wow. I did not know they changed that. My apologies. It, well, then it used to be that way. Um. Wow, I had no idea that they changed their policy on that. That sucks. I can't believe that. Well then, I guess, the, like, I know on Windows XP, I can say with certainty on that one you can, and then I would assume on Windows Vista you can too. But, um... On Windows 7? I've never even heard of that. That's absurd. That's freaking lame. Haven't been here before that I remember. Oh, okay, well, Discover, yeah, your name sounded kind of familiar, but I wasn't sure. That's why I was, like, iffy about it. Well, then, hello and welcome to you, Discover. Actually, I'm sorry, your name is not Discover. Your name is Discorev. I just, I read it quickly. Sorry about that. Well, then, hello and welcome to you, Discorev1. Hey, Decipher, welcome back. How's it going, Decipher? I think what D3 did right were the cinematics. Those pretty... Uh, yeah, the cinematics were definitely cool, but I don't even care about cinematics, to be honest. Like, I... I just don't. I don't care about cinematics at all. I want a good game. I mean, if there's a nice cinematic on the side and the game is good as well, then that's, that's cool. But otherwise, I, I don't care. I just want the game to be fun and awesome. We got him down. Okay, he's down. You could call them up for more. Oh, that's interesting. Sometimes you get an. A oh, wow. Huh. I had no idea. Wow. That's crazy. Oh, Disco Rev? Oh, oh. Maybe you're right. Maybe, uh, well. Uh, Disco Rev or 
or Discorev. Um, you're probably right though. That probably is Discorev. Feel free to correct me. You are probably right, Bill. Oh, we got a lot of StarCraft music all of a sudden coming in here. I don't have it on. I have it on random, right? Yeah, it's on shuffle. Okay, guess we just got lucky. Um, hmm, I'm wondering what level I'm going to be by the time I get to, uh, Diablo, because he's probably actually going to be a tough fight in my current gear and my current skill levels. Um, I'm a little concerned, to be honest, about, um, how that fight's going to go. Bale, or, uh, Mephisto should not be an issue. But Diablo might be, because I don't have any of my current gear that I want to go for. Introplosion! Welcome back, man. What level are you now? I am 73? 73. 73, coming along. Yeah. Welcome back, Chuck. How's it going, intro? I'm a bit of a noob with necros. What is the aura under your skeletons? Um, I actually have two auras going right now. Um, so, you, but you can't see the other one so easily unless you look at my Merc, uh, and then you can see it flashing. The aura going currently under the skeletons with that little flick around, 360 degrees there, that is the Might Aura. That gives them a lot more damage. That really beefs them up. The aura that's going around my guy's feet there, right there, the little cloudy thing, that is, uh, Meditation Aura, so it, it fills my mana back up very, very quickly, so that's pretty nice too. And that is being given to my Merc by a Polearm where the Might Aura is just by default. Um, that is the Merc's Aura that he has when I decided to hire him. Might as well just send that gold. He was almost dead anyway. Let's see. Not bad, been working on a Spark Totem, which for the new Anarchy League Path of Exile. Oh, okay. How's that going for you? I need someone to spam me when standalone appears. I know, right? I fortunately, yeah. Frost, you're right to ask Gooba, because um, I know that he's going to be the guy that knows it first, or pretty much first, in some way or another. And then he'll be like, hey, it's out. And I'll be like, yes. I was just going to say, I would not be surprised if he checks it daily. And But there you go. Okay. Yeah, Gooba, Gooba is pretty much always... Uh, well, I guess I should say, for those to clarify for the rest of you, Gooba is Princess Glitter. But yeah, he's pretty much in the know about that stuff. Oh, wait, I can't go up there. Yeah, he just knows about that stuff, usually. Uh, he's usually the first to know, and then uh, he's like, Hey, Andy, did you know about this game or that game? And then uh, he's showed me a lot of games, too. Pretty good, just got some decent gear, and I'm level 44, so my character is becoming fun now. Oh, cool. Very cool, man. I have not started... I actually haven't even downloaded the new Path of Exile patch to check it out. I just haven't been in the mood yet. Not yet. Also, how did you go about getting a plus skill item for your Necro? Um, well, Decipher. If you mean, like, in terms of getting items now, um, quite a few of my items were given to me. Um, it was very nice. Uh... BG Rage, he helped me out, and then um, Zor helped me out as well. Um, they gave me quite a bit of items, so I, they gave me a Spirit, the Peasant Crown, the Hominoculus, Water Walk, um, and the Trangs, and a couple other things too. Um, the only thing I actually found that gives plus the skills where I was like, oh my god, that's all my own, was the uh, Viper Magi, or Magi, I don't know. Um, so that, that was like nice, I actually found something on my own. Have you ever tried Torchlight or Torchlight 2? Um, yes and yes. Uh, oh look, another Bone Snap. That's, um... That's really good, actually. I don't need that. Wait. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's a Bone Snap. Right? Yeah, okay. Um, a little tip for you guys. Um, I'm gonna point this out. If you ever do make a me Necromancer, uh, doesn't matter what kind, uh, assuming that if you go down and you get Iron Golem, Bone Snap is really, really good because it has 40% chance of crushing blow, which is a chunk of life taken out of whatever it's fighting. So, 
I can either save that for Diablo, um, if I'm feeling like I should. No, actually, I'm not going to. Because um, I'd rather have more control there with my Clay Golem. So yeah, I'm going to do that instead. Um, but still, if you're feeling like taking chunks out of enemies, this is really good for that. So, you know what? I think I'm just going to... I'm debating if I want to save it for after Mephisto and use it in Hell. Or if I want to use it now and just kind of wrap up the rest of the area. I... well... I don't have much... Inf yeah, I'll just use it now. Because I, I don't have the room to really hang on to this thing for a while. So we're going to make ourselves a golem out of it. And he's going to hit a lot harder now because of that um, little piercing effect. That he's got there, or whatever you want to call it, the crushing blow, but um, it takes um, a lot of life away. It's very good. Uh, oh, hang on, I missed something here. Uh, oh, you're getting a new Alienware. Nice, nice. Uh, oh, about the Torchlight, though. I was going to answer you about Torchlight. I have played Torchlight 1 very shortly because it didn't have multiplayer, so I was just like, eh, I don't really feel like. Um, Ah, that's not what we want. Um, that's not what I was uh, really looking for in a game because, like, I, I enjoy like the idea of it, but I, I wanted multiplayer. So, Torchlight One, I played for maybe until like level ten or twenty or something. I don't know, um, but I stopped. I was just like, yeah, it's it's cool, but I just I really want that multi. And then um, Torchlight Two, I played for about probably a total of a, maybe ten hours, I'd say. And I just... I couldn't do it. Um, it just didn't have enough to it. It wasn't fun for me. Um, it was just really lacking a lot in a lot of areas. Like, I didn't, I didn't really like the character classes. Um, the uh, graphics were just kind of, like, not really my style. Um, it felt like I was playing World of Warcraft, in a way, but isometric. And... The abilities were not all that interesting either, so I just, I don't know, Torchlight 2 really was a miss for me in terms of uh, entertainment. Fresh economy and that it's a ladder. Oh, fair enough intro, fair enough, okay. Yeah, I, I've been asked if I was going to try to start a new character on uh, Poe, but I have no desire to do that at all right now. None. If I even play Poe, I'm playing my old guy for now. Ow! Chat again. Uh, I need room. Actually, I don't even know why I'm hanging on to the boots here. I don't even need them, I don't think. I think these things are just nice, but they're not what I... Oh, 40% cold, but these give cold too, don't they? Or fire? I'll close 5 to max, but I don't, I don't need cold at the moment. Um... Nah, I don't need those. I don't need those. I mean, that is a big chunk of cold, but I just, I don't need them. Serenity Lies, welcome back. Veneras, welcome back. I gotta find the, the sewers. Ow, 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 ow. What are you doing to me? Uh, Chuck, I can't really give you any ideas for um, buying an Alienware because I've never owned one. I've never really planned on it either. I, I heard they make decent machines, but they're overpriced. Um, but, um, you know, if that's what you prefer, well then obviously get what you want. Um, but now I just, uh, I build my own machines. Like, I've been building my machines for quite a few years, so, um, yeah, I, I don't really have any suggestions for you, Chuck. I liked it, but I couldn't get into it. It was kind of disappointed. Uh, actually made by guys who actually made... Yeah, yeah, uh, Bill, I knew that too. I did know that it was from people that made Diablo 2, which is why I had my hopes up. I was like, man, if it's made by people that made Diablo 1 and 2, then, you know, it's it's got to be uh, at least pretty decent. And then when I played it, I was just like, whoa, what what is this? What happened? And then uh, I was pretty disappointed. So, yeah. Epo619, hello, welcome to you. 
Or wait, Ipo. Actually, I think Ipo might have been here before. Welcome back, Ipo, if you've been here before. Sorry, I forgot. Um, but yes, I was thinking about that and how, like, the Diablo 1 and 2 people, some of them were uh, involved in the Torchlight game. And it made me think, you know, maybe that it just didn't happen to be the people that uh, had all the good ideas that made Diablo 1 and 2. Maybe those people were not the ones on that particular team. I know that sounds kind of like mean, but I don't know how else to explain it. Ellen Ware. <laughs> uh, hey, he's dying. Don't die. Oh, oh, wow, he just like really died. He was like going down kind of slow and I was just going to pour it back. Well, I guess that's the end of him. Um, what is over here that is so tough that is just beat the crap out of them. I guess it was just those tree guys smashing them up. Look at this. What? Why is that not working? Look. I'm able to spam my revive, but it's not actually catching on them. That's weird. Because it was just a bad angle. Whatever. That was lame. Lost my golem. Well, we got a little more Ocarina of Time going, and... It's Gerudo Valley. We got the Gerudo Valley going. Although it's really quiet. I gotta turn it way up. Uh, yeah, I have to agree with Bill. I've heard that Alienware is way, way overpriced, too. Definitely. Might be the reason why it was not so great. Uh, I think maybe if I didn't know made by them, might have liked it more. Um, I definitely would not have still liked that game. I definitely would have still been like, no, just didn't didn't do it for me. Last person, uh, don't do that. Don't troll. Yeah, you you get a prize. You're a troll. That's your prize. Rolling, trolling. Do you mind explaining and or showing your necro build? Decipher? No. Not at all, man. Not at all. Um, here, I'll show this first. One skill point in all of these so that I could get Decrepify. Decrepify is, in my opinion, the best um, uh, spell to use um, later on. Bone Spirit, this will be upgraded. Um, oh, that's loud. Um, that will be upgraded later to be much more powerful, but currently all my points are heavily going into uh, summoning. And that is, first off, I did Ray Skeleton, then Mage, then Mastery, and now we're doing Revive. And if you're looking for a why, it's just I feel that that is the best way to go about it. Um, I've had success with it before. Um, yeah, it, it just seems to work out for leveling. I mean, it's it's pretty handy. Um, even, <coughs> excuse me, when I first leveled up this guy and I had no gear, like when I um, did this the first time, because this is now my second time of doing this kind of build, um, I, um, <coughs> ah, ow, who is hitting me? Can't even see it. Little stabby bastards or something. Anyway, um. Yeah, it works really well for leveling, though. It's very efficient. So I, I like it a lot. Oh, come on! Stygian dolls! See, I said it right! Or close enough, anyway. Well, those aren't Stygians, apparently. Well, whatever. You guys get it. The classic zombie! Hello and welcome to you! Gerudo Valley, yeah, exactly. Good stuff, good stuff. I liked the Oath to Order in Majora's Mask. Is, is that a song? Because I've never actually played Majora's Mask, so I, I don't entirely know what you might be referring to. And if you guys are like, hey, I would love to hear that, then I can add it to the list. 
If you want a computer, da, 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 da. yeah, I have to agree with Bill. If you if you know how to make your own computer, that is definitely always the best in my opinion, because then you get exactly what you want, and you get it way way cheaper. Ooh ooh, Frost coming in, following up, putting him down. Oh, now the safer coming into uh, with uh, the left hook there, man. It's gonna get ugly. It's gonna get ugly. I know it. Look what you did, freaking Gooba, man. This is if you make this like a trend where it, it like happens every time I stream and my chat just fills up with people saying that. <sighs> Shame on you. Shame on you. Mazel tov. Welcome back. Have you come close to dying lately uh, that gave you a rush? Um, only one time since I started this game did I actually get like, oh my god. Um, and that was it. Otherwise, not really. Um, pretty pretty relaxed with this guy so far. Come on, man. Kill these. See, I, I hit like very, very little with this. I, I, I didn't even tell if I'm hurting him. Ah, whatever. I'm just gonna keep going. Yeah, see, it's taking too long this way when they're across like that. I just gotta find the little duacky and then I'm good to go. Majora's Mask is such a trip the whole game. Um, I I was willing to try it, and my cousin, um, very nicely, um, he even lent me the game so that I could play it. Unfortunately, though, I found out after he loaned it to me that you need the memory card thingy, the expansion, to play it. And so, um, I, 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 I can't play it. I have a copy of it now, because I, I ended up getting a copy while I was out in Los Angeles, because some little kid threw a rage fit and took his Nintendo 64 outside and smashed it and threw all his games out in some bushes. And I was just like, hey, Majora's Mask in the bushes, I'll take it. And so, yeah, that was cool. But, um, I, st I just, I don't have the memory expansion slot doacky, so I, I can't actually, uh, can actually play it yet. But one day, perhaps. One day. Where did he come from? Is he up there the whole time? Oh, and I'm on the wrong thing. Wow, my resistances are probably screwed right now, because I'm on the wrong... Yeah, wow. I don't know how long it's been like that. And he teleported, though, so that's good. Cloud system. Welcome back. Oh, and goodbye, actually. Okay. Actually, I think I only welcomed him the first time there. That's fine. We got some Mario paint. Even if you don't know, it's like a 20 minute YouTube video show you have to. Oh, okay. Shalom! Shalom! Uh, Shadow might cry if she misses it. Um, no, there's nothing to miss. I'm just getting trolled now. That's all that is. Controlled by my own friends, man. My own friends. I didn't see that coming. Not at all. What do you do? What do you say to that, you know? No soup for you? I, I don't know. I, I can't see. That's quiet. There we go. Why is the randomness of my playlist constantly playing, like, a lot of the same songs? It's crazy. I mean, it's cool and all, but I'm just curious why. You just gotta troll them back? Um... I suppose I could, in theory. But the problem is, I'm not very good at trolling people. I just, I don't troll people. It's not really, like, what I do. It's, it's not my thing. I'm, I don't know. I just don't have it in me, I guess, to actually troll in that way. Not usually. I can troll a little bit, if the if the uh, opportunity presents itself, I suppose, but otherwise I'm usually just kind of like, eh. Oshikuru, welcome back, I believe. That sounds familiar. Oh, you were trolling. Maybe not, maybe not with that last sentence, but you know. You know. You were. Hi back at you, Oshikuru. 
Be right back. Andy Pizza's here. Oh, pizza. My Achilles heel. Oh, those are minions. No wonder why they're so tough. I was thinking, what is going on? This is going to take a little bit. I should really start upgrading my... Uh, my Duwacky. And see, they're over there fighting too. And those are minions too? No, they're just regular. Alright, good. At least I can pop them. Let me see if I can work my way around. Maybe get to them. Because this is going to take forever with them on that side and nothing else hitting them. Mages are just not that powerful. Like, they're tough, but they, they aren't that tough to get the job done from a distance like that. So it's like, that's just going to take all night. Wish Florida had better options. Um, yeah, where I live, I don't have the best options for pizza. But um, it gets me by at least. You know, it's not horrible. I'm not sure the definition of trolling. I'm pretty sure it's just using sarcasm to make people upset. Um, I, that's probably the best way to describe Yeah, just somebody who goes around purposely trying to get under other people's skin. I'd say that's probably the best way to describe trolling. Andy, what about to chat is TS3 with viewers? Um, Veneris, I'm not really entirely sure what you just said there. Do you mean do I go on TeamSpeak with viewers? If, is that your question? Where is, oh, there he is. Okay. Oh, but that just moved again. I think, anyway. Maybe it just shifted a little. That's weird. Maybe that's why um, my, my chat overlay messes up sometimes, and I'm like, why? That would explain it. Uh, Veneras, I'm still not entirely sure. Do you mean, like, do I talk on TeamSpeak with people in chat? Sorry, man. I'm just, I'm not entirely sure what you asked. Ah, it shifted it over. Okay. It was supposed to move over on top of the name there. But that's alright. Hey, heavy weapons guy. Welcome back. We got like a full on war here. Look at us go. I am classy. <laughs> Bill, I like that. I like that. You got you got class? Good enough, man. I like it. Anyone go back to college later in life? I'm considering going back at twenty four. I've been out of school for so long though. Um Hmm. Interesting question. Uh, I'm going to have to say no, I didn't really consider it uh, later on. No. Diablo has a son. Not really sure what you mean by that. Crash Collide, welcome back. Uh, Veneras, okay, talk with viewers in TS3. Um, I don't talk with um, anybody in chat, really, on any form of speak at all. And not just chat, though. I don't even talk like, um, okay... Princess Glitter and Lockdan are in here as well, and they are like real life friends, you know, like Lockdan is my cousin. And um, I don't even chat with them usually when I'm streaming because it's very difficult for me to chat on a um, uh, any kind of voice program and talk to chat at the same time because I like to talk to all of you, but um, it makes it difficult when there's um, people also talking in a voice chat as well. And so, um, I just prefer not to do that because it makes my brain hurt. I'm really bad at multitasking, and I have a lot of trouble just even, you know, keeping up with chat as it is and playing the game at the same time. And if you throw, um, voice chat into the mix, oh my god, I'm, I'm just, I'm never going to be able to keep up. So, um, it just makes it easier for me to, uh, talk to everybody and, and see what's going on and, you know, actually read and keep up with the chat there. Actually, uh, seaweed. I was gonna ask the same thing. I was kind of curious what he was, uh, what uh, was gonna be uh, studied there. I 
That guy's tough. Popped all his buddies around him too. Any anything he can summon, I always try to revive those so that they can't. There we go. Nice. Crash Collide, welcome back, if you didn't hear me, because I think you might have been loading that. I always find it funny when you kill a skeleton and then summon a skeleton from the skeleton corpse. Kind of defeats the purpose. You're right, Chef. You are absolutely right. That is a little strange. You are absolutely right. But apparently it works. Somehow. I don't know how. But it does. So I guess we're just going to have to leave it at that. He died two times, so how could the Diablo be alive again? I don't know. I don't know. I guess they, like, resurrect him with some crap or something like that, if I recall. They, like, do stuff with, like, magical spells and say a few fancy words, and next thing you know, he's back. So, yeah, I, I guess he's just that kind of guy. And then apparently he can sometimes come back as a female as well, or a female-ish version of Diablo. You know, got the boobies going and everything, and which is like, you know, what? I thought Diablo was like dude only, but apparently not. Apparently Blizzard felt that uh, he can uh, shift through the genders as well, so fair enough, you know, can't argue with that. He never dies, he just loses power. That's probably a good way to explain it. Yeah. Why can't I res anything? Come on, man. I guess everything is just still going. Some tough guys. There we go. Any other... Nope, I'm reaching here. I got nothing. I have to be really careful in this place, especially because this is hell mode. Um, my armor is not the greatest. My resistance is. Those are good. Those are very good, but uh, the armor, again, that is um, that is problematic there. So that is something I have to just be wary of. But fortunately, I have um, bone armor, so that helps. That's right, you can't curse those. Weapons guy, you say some of the strangest stuff, man. I'm just, just telling you. But did Jerkface ever show up, or is he still on vacation? Uh, no. Jerkface did not show up, and I, um... I think I got to, like, my third winter on there. He, I've never seen him again, so I have no idea where he is, what he's doing. Um, I'm assuming that he's just in, like, Tahiti or something like that, and maybe he realized I was trying to prepare for him, and I was actually going to attempt to kill him, and he found out about that, so maybe somebody narked me out. I don't know, but, um... I have not seen him. The Boner Mancer. Uh, I will be going into the uh, the Boner Mancer area later on. Yes, I won't be officially a Boner Mancer, but I, you could say I'm Boner-ish. You know, something like that. And now, now it is time for Andy to pee. I gotta pee, so I'll be right back.
This is a good song. The volume is, is like so quiet on this song. That's annoying. I hate that. So now I gotta turn it way up. I have to play this game again someday. I just need to get a copy of it. But one day, one day. Hmm. You know what? I wonder if I can kind of just shift that over, and then it'll stay put from now on. Let's see how that goes. So, is everybody doing okay uh, after I told that story earlier? Because I was kind of afraid that I might, like, scare some of you off, you know? And I, I didn't want to do that. I just, um, you know, had to tell you guys what happened. But it was intense. I gotta say that. We got some charms, too? Oh, this is Shemo, welcome back. Good day. Good day, Kano. Good day. All right, uh, that's nifty if I was a Zon or something, I guess. But I'm not, so that's got to go. Uh, I'm ready to go back. Okay. Hey, Nuno Duck, welcome back, man. How's it going? I wasn't here for the story? Well, that is unfortunate. I waited quite a while for everybody to show up um, because it was a very scary story. I mean, it was it was pretty intense. Um, and I, I just don't think I can tell it the same. I think you're going to have to watch um, the, the video after I stop streaming, um, possibly. Because I just, I don't know if I can tell the whole story again with, with as much enthusiasm. I could tell it again, but it's just not going to have the same impact, I don't think. And, um, you know, oh, see, that's freaking loud. I hate that crap. But, if you go back and watch it on the, uh, on the stream there, I think that's, that's probably the better way to go about it. Because then you'll get the full impact, and I don't want to rob you guys of that. I really don't. But it's one of those stories, you can't tell it again with, with the same oomph to it. You really can't. And I feel like you guys should actually check that out, because then you will also know, uh, assuming that I can get it to work, what my next YouTube video... With <laughs> Crap! I did say that I would do that. Okay, I did... Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. I did agree to that. I did, so I cannot deny... I cannot deny that. Hold on. Um, hang on, if we're gonna do it, I need the song. Where is it? Is it this one? It's this one. Yeah, it's this one. Alright. Okay. I'm going to attempt to do this without words. It's probably not gonna make any sense. But I'm gonna try. Let me, let me think about it for a moment, actually. You guys just talk amongst yourselves and give me, like, a minute here to just make sure I can at least convey it to you. So, oh, and, and Frost, I can use sound effects. I just can't use words to describe it. Is that part of the deal? Is that is that what we're doing here? Is, is that uh, what we're going for? Boss Ninja, hello and welcome to you. I Shield, welcome back. And Teenage002, hello and welcome to you. Sounds are all... Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, can you put full screen on you for this? Um, let me see. I could probably adjust it a little bit here. But if I go full screen, it'll probably look a little crazy. I'll, let me just try stretching it out a little. Maybe that'll work out. Let's, let's try uh, just doing a little stretchify. Camera. Do a little. Yeah, okay. Oh wait. 
that's over top though. Oh, that's not gonna work if I. Oh, you know what? I would have to modify it quite a bit. Um, hmm. Yeah, you know what? That's not gonna work because then I'd have to shift things on top of each other. So we're just gonna have to go with it like this. But I'll try my best. Here we go. All right, for those of you just joining, uh, and you're welcome, Eye Shield. You're welcome. Um, I am about to tell you a story of what happened to me yesterday and how my day went. Uh, in case you didn't know, yesterday was my birthday, and it was a good day and a bad day. And I will be telling you the story of why it was kind of bad, though, and what happened. Um, and, but I, I'm, I'm not allowed to use words to explain it this time. I already explained it earlier, but now Frost has requested I do it without words, but I can use sounds. So I'm going to attempt to do this. But again, I have to compose myself here. i got to make sure I get everything right. So let me just think here. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. All right, so... so. Okay, I think I got it. I think, I think I got it. And then, and then yeah, and then... Yeah. And then... And then the wrap is... And how do I finish it? Because it's gotta be like, you know... Oh, okay, and then, yeah, I can even flash... Yeah, here, okay, now, you know, I... I can use props, right? Frost, can I use props? To explain it, Apollyon, welcome back. You're you're about to witness me explaining a story, but without words, only sounds. But Frost, can I use? I need props, dude. Prop, props. Okay, all right, all right. here we go. Here we go. All right, this is Andy explaining his day of what happened yesterday and why it made it a bad day, with no words. And we got up here. We'll reset the music. Okay. <laughs> Bang! And then... Oh! 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 oh. those <laughs> click click to loop to loop yes yes Cha -cha. and that's it yeah that was really awkward but yeah that's it right there that uh, that was that was my uh, my day in a nutshell well both of my days combined yeah I I, I kind of forgot though I, I should have included a little bit of there too, but yeah. Caveman invents a wheel. <laughs> see? I needed words. You see, that's what happens when you don't use words, Frost. You know? And thank you for the, the bladed birthdays and everything. I appreciate it. I would have been on yesterday for my birthday, but um, because of what happened. It's just no good. Have you JSP'd your gear yet? Uh, no. Apolly, I was not able to because, um, well, if you guys did not get the, uh, the gist of the story, Lightning hit my house and killed my modem and router, and uh, I had no internet for almost 24 hours. And then um, I just got on a little earlier today, and then uh, I think I'll just watch. Yeah, you really should watch the video. It's much better. I, I just, if I do say so myself, I'll. You know what? I'll highlight it. I will highlight it tonight to make it easier for you guys. I gotta find it. It'll probably take me a bit, but. I will do that. I will highlight my story just for all of you. Let me write that down. Okay. Um. Anyway, though, yeah, that's why I wasn't on yesterday. Um, but I wasn't able to JSP my stuff at all. Um, I was planning on doing it today, but I just didn't have the time. But I still wanted to come on and stream. So, uh, here I am without my gear as of yet, but maybe I will do it tomorrow before I come on. Hopefully. So we'll see. 
creeping you out a little bit, chef? <laughs> I can see how that'd be a little creepy. Yeah, some guy just like, you know, making all these weird sounds. What's going on here? But yes, um, the my modem and router got knocked out permanently from the lightning hit. And then, um, unfortunately, my computer as well, um, the um, network chip on the motherboard also went bad. And so uh, I actually had to go to Best Buy and get a um, USB to, uh, well, I guess it would be Cat5 to USB cable, little converter thingy there, so that I could actually come on at all. Otherwise, um, both my laptop and my uh, desktop are internetless. So that was pretty bad. Drinking and car wreck and your internet crash. <laughs> <laughs> something like that sure but not drinking yeah just just uh the drink was because i was actually watching tv i was watching the simpsons and then there was a storm well there was no storm actually it was just one single bolt of lightning like apparently um according to um uh, um uh, winnie it was the the wrath of zeus apparently so yeah zeus decided to send a single lightning bolt down into my freaking house and just kill everything so that was pretty sad but uh, fortunately I am back uh, everything seems okay otherwise and we are good to go so yeah at least there's a happy ending to this story as Fio hello welcome to you local people hello welcome as well a ghost story well if you see the way that I tell it the first time it's scary er um, you just, you have to listen, and, and, and really, I'll, I describe everything in, in better horror. That's what I say. You guys should just watch it. You should have taken my word for it, but, um, that was kind of fun to reenact it wordless. It made no sense at all, but, uh, yeah. Alright, I don't suppose the thing is, ooh, that might be it. That might finally be it. Please be it. No. Damn it! Uh, thanks, Seaweed. Yeah, it really sucked. I, um... I was scared. I thought I lost my entire computer or something. Fortunately, I keep it on two surge protectors, um, and it, you know, it, the actual computer itself, besides the LAN, um, the little nick in it, uh, everything else was okay. So, or it seems to be again. Um, so yeah, I'm, I was scared though because it's like I do not have any money at all. If if my computer got killed by the lightning, I would not be streaming tonight and probably not for at least a few months or at least a month, I guess. Um, know if I could accrue enough money quickly but you know I lucked out good to go and here I am so I'm very happy it's all good Zin Moraine hello welcome to you uh, yes I have to agree with um frost that is completely true the man speaks absolute truth there it's um that is a ghost story to us it's just like <gasps> oh Oh my god! Oh! You know, I didn't see that guy. Oh my... You know, it's, it's just terrible. Dude, are these guys ever gonna die? No, the mages are probably hitting them for crap. And they're immune to lightning, so that doesn't help. Oh, and I think somebody might be reviving them. Maybe. I don't know. Who cares? I, I probably don't even need to go that way. Let's just keep going. Wasting my experience trying. I hate this area down here. It's very annoying with the army. And the lack of, um... Enigma. If I had Enigma, this would be like cake. I need that. Freaking need to get that. Zicardo, welcome back. And Ruler B2, hello, welcome to you. Uh, hi back at you, Zin Moraine. Well, then I guess he was here to spam. Uh, oh, oh, yes, I guess he was. Okay. Well, then goodbye. I used to run my phone and or cats through Surge Protector also. Uh, oh, oh! Kill? Uh, wait, no, that was a poly. Uh, I thought a poly was trolling for just a second there. For just a second, I was like, why Why did a poly say that? A poly has been much more of a straightforward and non-trolly kind of person. But then all of a sudden he's like kind of trolling me there, which is fine. You know, it's not like he was like being a douche or anything. He was just like, I thought he was like trying to play a little joke on me. Because he said he, his phone, and I was like, his phone, okay. And then I didn't think of that. And then um, his cats, and I was like, 
His cats? Like, why? what is he even talking about his cats for? And I was like, oh, his cat's five, you know, cat five. And I was like, I get it. You know, I... See, that's what happens when you read chat a little too fast. And then you don't give it time to sit in, and you're like, what? But I get it now. I get it. He's talking about cat five cable. That's right. I have a Mac. We have this software called Time Machine, and it allows you to back up your entire system to an ex on an external hard drive for free. I see. Um, Kill. I don't know if Windows has anything like that. I usually don't care because um, if something happens enough to where my system needs to be like refreshed anyway, um, I don't know. I'll just reformatting is not like a big deal to me. I just I actually kind of like it because it's just 100% fresh, and then. There's things that I probably had installed before that I don't want installed anymore. So it's just kind of like a nice little general cleanup anyway for me. But I can understand the use of that. Like, I'm, I'm not saying it's not useful. It's just for me, not really a big thing for me. Run my stuff through a surge, protect phone line and DSL, uh, cats free. Yeah, yeah, and I need to do that. See, that's what got me, actually, uh, Apollo Europe's, um, that is, that is exactly what happened. I had surge on all my electrical stuff, but then the, uh, the Cat 5, nothing. So I, I do need to take care of that. Unfortunately, I got nailed. But, again, on the bright side, I still got my computer. I'm still able to play my, my video games. So my life did not completely end. I almost went a little crazy not having internet. But the only thing that kept me sane was the fact that I could play like Hotline Miami offline. So it was okay. Ow. I just took an axe to the face. Tomorrow in my country, it's a holiday. I am happy I can sleep till late. Oh, well then, uh, that is good. Sleeping in late is always nice. Right, let's get a revive on that guy. I like having those revived. I feel like I've been in here for like a freaking hour, man. This place is just not ending. Let's just go. Oh, oh. Usually I'm a lot more lucky with this, but man, tonight is just no good for finding the the do ow ah, finding the thing I need. Dawson, welcome back. Is this nightmare or hell? Um, Zin Moraine, this is hell. This is definitely hell. And yes, we got some Mario going. You know it. You know it. For those of you uh, that are new here. Every song that you hear me playing, if I if I am playing music on the stream, every song that you hear is from a video game, uh, in some way or another. And when I say in some way or another, most of it is just straight out of a video game. Like here we've got, um, you know, little Mario underwater music. Um, but some of the video game music is a uh, a remix, and like this is a remix of um, of uh, Mario's water music, but. Um, Otherwise, it's all video game music, and if you have any requests, um, I'm willing to add them to the list. If they're not already on it, uh, just ask me first. But otherwise, yeah, um, I already have about 550 different songs on the list. So we have we have quite a list going uh, so far. A lot of good stuff. And as long as I continue blabbing away, I probably qualify for fair use. So that's good. I'm leveling a Necro because of you. Damn you! Oh, oh. Well, uh, I'm sorry that you're not happy about it, but uh, that's awesome. That's awesome, man. OC remix for the win. I, uh, Frost. I'm gonna give you a big fat thumbs up because I have to agree wholeheartedly. That's right. Maybe even, maybe even, maybe two thumbs up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's how much I agree with that statement right there. That is how much. I normally listen to Daft Punk when gaming. I like Daft Punk. Um, I just called it Daft Punk. <laughs> but yeah, I actually... Um, I remember the first time I heard Daft Punk. 
it was back when I actually still used to watch MTV, because that was back when MTV used to show music videos. And they had this television show late at night at like 2 in the morning on Saturdays called Amp. And Amp always played like this trance kind of tech music. And one night I saw um, this video called Around the World and it had all these guys like moving all around and stuff. And I was like, what the heck is this? This is awesome. And it was Daft Punk. And ever since then I was like, wow, Daft Punk is pretty cool. So, um, And that was from their CD called Homework. And I really... Um, that was the first time, yeah, I heard them, and then later on on Homework, they have another song on there. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but it's it's actually a really cool music... I guess it's not really cool, but I enjoyed it. It's a music video of this guy walking around, I think, in New York City, and he's wearing a dog head, and he's just listening to this song that's playing, and it's just playing in the background, but it's also on the Homework CD, but it's just some dog in New York just walking around talking to people, and it's just continually playing the song. I don't know, I just liked it. Shin Meg... Shin Mega Ten. Hello and welcome to you. Oh, and goodbye, apparently. Alright. I pause my druid? I pause my druid. I don't understand what you mean by that, Nuno. Unless you're making a pun, and you mean pause is in like furry paws, and you're like, well, that still doesn't quite make sense, but you know, it could be, it could be something like that. I also made a level 20 necro last night. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, Around the World is a good song. I like that one. Does anybody know what song I'm talking about with, um, with the dog walking around the city? I, I can't remember the name of it. And now it's it's making me wonder. Oh, I gotta do some revives here. The funk, the funk. That is it. Yep, that is it. Thank you. That is it. Hey, weapons guy, welcome back. Just gotta shift it over like that a little bit, and we're good to go. Yeah. If I show a link to you, um, weapons guy. You say weird stuff sometimes, and stuff that's just kind of like makes me think that I need to tell you this um, before you do it. As long as it's not a link that um, is any way, you know, rude or, you know, potentially um, racist or, you know, just not very polite, um, and it's not like some useless spam or something, then that's fine, man. Go ahead. That's I'm okay with that. But thank you for asking. Um, I don't, if it's sexual-ish, I don't care, as long as it's not like, you know, blatant nudity or something like that. I mean, if it's like a sexual-ish kind of thing, I don't know. I think you guys know what I mean. As long as it's got in good taste, I'm pretty, I'm pretty mellow about it. As long as we don't turn it into like X-rated chat or something offensive, then I, I think we're in pretty good shape. Why does that adjust? I, that should be moving um, and staying over, like when I do that, unless when you type it, resets it. Maybe that's why. I'm gonna have to add in a custom thing for shorter names, or longer names, to, to squish them. Put that on here for now. IRC, squish, long names. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. Here are Cleo, welcome back. How's it going? I stopped leveling my druid to start leveling a necro. Oh, 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 I get you. Okay, that's funny. Well, are you enjoying it? Hopefully. What's your pe Oh, pizza topping of choice. Um, wow, good question. Look at this. I've explored almost everywhere down here. Where the hell is it? Oh, man, it's probably either there... Or... Actually, I think it's over there. I'm, I'm kind of running out of room otherwise. Everywhere else, it looks like it just kind of stops. Um... Oh, it's just like a music video thing? Yeah, that's fine, Heavy Weapons Guy. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Thanks for asking. 
Uh, about the pizza topping, though, that is a really tough question. Um, it's not up there, is it? Oh, we got a tougher guy, though. Um, oh, oh, and he's coming for me! Yeah, if I could have a pizza with only one topping, I suppose I would pick um, pepperoni. I'm gonna have to say, uh, yeah, pepperoni. Come on. I need my back to pop. Nope, nope, doesn't wanna, doesn't wanna go. All right. Yeah, pepperoni, definitely. If I, if that's the only topping I can have on it, uh, then it would be pepperoni. Yeah. Uh, oh, I gotta keep going over this way. Okay. There's a little bridge there. Uh, what level am I now? Here at Cleo, I am level 73. Coming along. Yeah, definitely moving. How are you doing, Hero Cleo? Final Fantasy 3 tech music. Uh, yeah, this is, um, what, what stage is this? This is, uh, the factory. Good old factory, yeah. Anybody know of any fun, free PC games? Fun and free. Um, Path of Exile. Definitely Path of Exile. Um, Terra Online was good to play through. I definitely, uh, I thought Terra Online was good to play through it, but it didn't, like, last after you got to level 60. Um, uh, yeah, 60. But, uh, that might be something to check out, too. Um, nothing else is really coming to me right away. I'm sure there's plenty of other free games, but, uh, yeah. Oh my god. Alright, maybe it's up there. I feel like I must have walked right past it or something? Because it should show on the map. I don't know. Um, where the hell is it? Um... Must be up in one of these corners that I missed, or, or something. No. Have to see. I can't cross here. Ah! Oh, we got a tough guy there. Might as well kill him. Bink Slongs, welcome back! Oh yeah, Realm of the Mad God um, is a very tough game. In like when you first start playing it, it can be like pretty nasty if you don't know what to do. But I have to say, I actually really enjoyed Realm of the Mad God. It's like this cheap, silly little game, um, but it, it still can be quite enjoyable. I thought so anyway. But if you die, you will be pissed off and you will rage. I can pretty much guarantee that. Unless you die like right off the bat. Um, otherwise, yeah, that game will cause you to be like. Arr! Looks like I missed a few guys over here. Maybe it's over back in here. Oh yeah, and then you got um, and then you got uh, what is it? Uh, Planet Side Two. Well, Andy, my boiler game of the day is coming up, so I'll catch you later. All right, well, Heracleo, I'll see you, man. You take it easy. Hey, we got BG Rage in here. Did he join chat too? No, I guess he's just, uh, give me a TP? Yeah, sure. Hey. Yes. Oh, yes is in, did he join? I'm in chat, but outlaw- Oh, 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 no wonder, no wonder, okay. Alright. I was gonna say, um... Yeah, I, uh, I was actually kind of surprised I haven't seen you. Oh my god, I, this is like... There must be one tiny little area that I missed. Oh, look over there, I didn't see that, I bet. Ah, I bet it's all the way down over there. Damn it! I missed it, I missed it. Alright, well, now I gotta run back down there. Shoot, I must have just walked right past it. I think that's it. I didn't notice that. Let's go find out. 
It's gotten pretty bad recently. Um, oh, uh, Bink, not too much. Um, just I'm level 73, going along. Um, but yeah, making progress. I'm in hell. <laughs> I'm in hell. All right, please tell me this is it. This has got to. Oh, look at that! I was so close and I missed it right there. All right, well now we finally got it. Let me see if I can go around and kill these bats because those are uh, those got a name guy in them. I'm gonna use my fake TP here though if I need to. I, th I think I do. Yeah, we're gonna fake TP this or fake uh, Enigma. Ow! I hurt. Somebody hit me with magic damage too because I still have my full shield. Alright, let me catch up on chat here. I, I noticed I missed a few messages, so we'll let my guys fight while I'm doing that. My brother told me to tell you to smear more poop on the bushes when you play Don't Starve Again. Um, I think your brother just wants to hear me say it. Just for the sake of saying it, but yeah, fair enough. Can't argue with that. Congrats to Andy on passing 400 vol. Oh, well, thanks, man. Thank you. And hi back at you, Crash Collide. That's cool. Yeah. That's very cool. Uh, okay, now I gotta go back around. Wizcrat, welcome back. It's Swamp. Hello and welcome to you. Oh my god, finally! I have the entire map explored. Like, Ugh, what a pain. It was terrible. You gotta be careful in here, because sometimes there's a couple packs down here, but it seems alright. Oh, okay. That's fine. Alright. Oh, he needed it too. Alright. Well, that's good. Alright, well then, uh, let's go kill the council. I mean, we're pretty... Oh, no, wait. I need to, um... I need to go to the ruined temple um, first, and then we're we're good to go. Uh, oh, it sells for thirty-five without even identifying it. Um, I really don't need to, so yeah, I'll just cool. Thirteen, nineteen. Might as well top off my TPs there. Chloretol, hello and welcome to you. Alright, uh, back to Kurast. Wow, I missed every waypoint except for Upper? Wow. I don't really care. It's not like I'm going back to any of those zones. I'm just kind of surprised that I missed them. Wow. Uh, oh, the temple could be down there, I think. So I'm going to go down first. Uh, here, I'll drop the TP at the uh, waypoint for you. There you go. Actually, let me catch up, make sure I didn't fall too behind the chat. Uh, no, I was referring to Realm of the Mad God getting bad, not you. Oh no, Bill, I, that's what I took it as. Yeah, I, I um, no, no, I, I knew that you were you were saying um, about Mad God getting bad. Yeah, I, I saw that Mad God was bought out by some gump company called like Kablam or 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 no, no, it was a different company. Kablam, I think, was always there. Um, but then, oh, cool, thank you. Um. But some other company, I guess, bought Realm of the Mad God, and they are so bad with the way they sound and they do things that, I'm not kidding, me and Princess Glitter compared them to Blizzard. It was that bad, the stuff we were reading that they were doing and stuff. It was just like, oh my god, what what are they doing here? So, I have to agree with Bill. Um, it is it is getting bad. It is definitely, definitely getting bad. Um... Rage, I'm just going to split up from you, and then maybe we can find the temple a little faster, actually. So you just let me know if you find it, and I'll, I'll just kind of go down this way. Uh, what's fake enigma? I lagged when you did it. Oh, a poly fake enigma is just... Um, oh, you found it. Okay, I'll be right there. Um, fake enigma is when you don't actually have an enigma, but you need your army to come with you like you had an enigma, so you literally, you just open a town portal, wait a second, and then you go back in it, and now your army is stacked on top of you. It's a really um, half-ass way of doing it, but when you have no other options, you don't have Enigma yet, it, you just have to. Um, it's, it's all you can do. So, yeah. Alright. 
cool. Right. Mind fucked. Hello and welcome to you. 100% grape juice. Welcome back. I'm just going to revive a bunch of these chicks. They're really tough. They make um, pretty good uh, allies. There we go. And, uh, get my mages back up to uh, max. Yeah. There. We clean that up pretty good. Just gotta find our book. Uh, looks like it might be down here. I always want to tell BG to be careful, but he is actually really tough, it seems. Like, I, it seems like pretty much nothing hurts him, which makes sense. I mean, he is a pally, and he seems to be pretty geared. But I still just... It's like in embedded in me to just be like, dude, be careful because there is some nasty stuff around here if you aren't geared, anyway. Like, stuff that could just blow you up. Alright, we got the tomb. Let's, uh, head back. And then, uh, we'll be ready pretty much to, uh, go kill the council. Yeah, we're, like, right there now. Gotta talk to Alcor the Alki. Fix this real quick. First Uber run for Torch. Oh, nice. Very nice. How'd it go? I mean, obviously you're still alive, but, um... I mean, did it go pretty smoothly? Uh, nice 400 followers. Good job. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, that's kind of like a little belated birthday present to me, actually. That's that's nice. It's nice. It's a, it's a little, uh, checkpoint for me. No... Uh, it was easy? Oh, alright, good. Very good. I figured it would be. You You sound like you've already been there, done that before with a smiter. You sound like this is just kind of like nothing new to you at all. So I figured you were going to tell me that, but I, I still just wanted to ask. I hate not getting rushed through, rushed through Act 3. See, I, I really, um, I don't mind rushing a character if... Oh, man, see, that's why you need Enigma right there. I just lost, literally half my army, because I don't have it. Um, so when I get it, it'll be nice, but damn, yeah, I just... Ugh. Freaking Zeus. I, this is all Zeus's fault, by the way. I blame Zeus for that. Thanks a lot, dude. Thank you so much. Anyway, um... What was I saying? See, he just threw me now. I, I totally forget what I was talking about, because of Zeus. Uh, oh, oh. I don't mind rushing a character. If I'm, like, in a hurry or something like that, um, that's okay by me. But um, since this is my first character on the ladder, I've just been taking my time. You know, I haven't really been hurrying. And, and I enjoy playing through the game. Um, especially because, I don't know, it just goes by so quick at the same time. And I just, I'm enjoying it. I, I really like this game. So uh, that's okay by uh, me, you know, just taking my time going through it. Joker Zax, hello, welcome to you. FTRM, hello and welcome as well. All right, I gotta rebuild my army here. The game was originally developed by Wild Shadow, and Kabam bought them out. Oh, well then Kabam seems to be awful, just awful. I, I mean, they are like bad. And yes, I have to agree, they seem to be money hungry. That's the best way to put it. Yeah, shame on them. They took a game that seemed like it had a lot of, um, just a lot of care in it, you know? A lot of, you know, like, they really, um, liked what they were building, and then Kabam came along, and it seems like they are just not cool, man. Not at all. Alright, uh, I gotta pay attention, so I'm gonna, I might fall behind a little bit on chat, depending on, uh, how long this takes and everything. I just gotta, oh my god, I lost my army again! I just got done making it. Arrgh! Well, whatever. I'm just gonna fake Enigma right here. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is a fake Enigma. And back in. Oh, and he dropped. Oh, that sucks. Now, instead of uh, reviving, or I mean, summoning, I guess, my mages, um, I'm reviving instead because um, they're tougher right now. They're definitely tougher. Oh, we got some uh, Legacy of the Wizard. We gotta turn this up so you can actually hear it.
Drop him a TP. Oh, that was Kaleem right there? Wow, I was not expecting that. Or his the flail, you know? I was... Uh, hopefully, I think he can still come with me. I think that'll work out. If not, we'll just kill him again. I don't care. Not a big deal. What is that? I was just gonna say, I think that's a green, because it was gold on the ground there. Alright, I have to be careful here, because... It's, sometimes it's a little hard to tell what is friendly spells and what is not. Oh, see, we got Ishmael there. All right. Might as well pick up that small charm. That ring mail is definitely garbage. I don't remember what it is, but I know it's garbage. I think it's like no bregas or I don't know. I just know it's trash. We got an amulet there too. Lots of money. Famine! Shame on you. You should know better than that. Oh, he popped. And he would have been... Oh, and he popped too. Come on, these guys are nice. They, they make good fighters, and they're all just turning into, like, crap and then disappearing. What is that? Oh, oh there we go. That's what I want. Now we got something working for me. Go back to the porn thread. <laughs> sure, sure. Uh, and mages, and then just run away in their tails. Yeah, um, weapons guy. I have to agree with you completely, man. Um, that is why I you keep hearing me talk about Enigma and fake Enigma, because as a necromancer that's a summoner, um, as soon as you get Enigma, it changes everything. Just. Everything changes completely, and um, life is much better that way. And you don't have to sit there and keep, um, you know, farting around. Nocturne? I guess he's coming back. Um, so yeah, just makes it a lot easier. Fortunately, though, um, I do have enough JSP, and maybe the price has gone down. Does anybody happen to know... Um, the current price of uh, making an Enigma on JSP, because I last I checked, I think Jaw was 35 JSP, and I'm not sure what Burr was, but I'm thinking that was like three days ago. So I I wouldn't be surprised if it's more like 30ish. Oh yeah, we got the the big body odor. Thanks, man. He just comes along, spreads his body odor all over me, and then leaves. He's like, hey, Andy. Like, oh my god. Um, you can make it for like 60 to 90 range. Um, cool. That's that's way more in my price range then. That's, I'm glad to hear that. That I'm definitely happy. Because um, last I checked... Um, like I said, they were definitely cheaper, but I don't have... Well, actually, I do have a base. It's not a great base, but I, I do have a, a three socket. But um, if I can spend, like, what, 10 JSP, 5 JSP on a better base, then I'm going to do that for sure. All right. Is Klim Hazard in here? Is Klim... No, he's not. All right, so it's, it's not a dead giveaway. Can anybody name the game that this song is from? Uh, good guess, but no. Good guess. Good try, man. Oh, Penguin! Penguin got it! Penguin got it. Nicely done, Penguin. That's, uh, ten internet points for you. Don't spend it all in one place. Yep. Good stuff. Come to town for another insight? Another? Oh, he's got an old one or something? Who's this? On a cryptic. 
Oh, he's, he's, uh, he must have retired this one. Oh, boy. 108 to 451. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's going to be hitting so hard. All right, here we go. We got to do the before and after. This is the, I love this part. This is, like, so much fun. All right, so we're sitting at 557, 887. Uh, let's see. So, oh my god, 756 to 23, 28. Yeah, that, I'd say that's a hell of an upgrade. Look at that. Jeez. That's freaking kaboom. I want to save that for um, if I want to make a golem out of it at some point. That would be pretty sweet. Let's set that aside and throw it on a mule later. Bye, maybe back later. Unsure yet. Have fun. Well, Missing Soul, very nice to meet you, and um, thanks for... Uh, Saying to have fun, and uh, you, I'll see you later. Go TP. Wait, his TP? Or, oh, he means for enchant? Oh, 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 he's gonna chant me now? Oh, he's chanting my army. Oh, I forgot that he can do that on my army. It's kind of a mess, but yeah, they're, they're gonna be pumping it out now. I totally forgot that you could actually enchant somebody's uh, minions as well. Because I was thinking at first, why would he even enchant me? That's like, that's useless. I'm not going to go around hitting stuff. But then I was like, oh yeah. So in case you guys didn't know, yeah, a little uh, sorceress can enchant your army. And then uh, they will hit very, very hard. So now they're, they're going to... Uh, they're going to plow through stuff pretty quick. Assuming my army doesn't drop. That's the only thing I gotta be careful of. That torch is gonna make a big difference um, with those plus three to skills because you gotta keep in mind, it's not like I'm just doing one point towards my skeletons. I'm actually getting kind of like two separates. So it's like I'm increasing the skeletons as a whole but then also um, their mastery, which is pretty important. So that'll be good. I don't even know where I'm supposed to go, so I'm just gonna do the usual wandering around until I find what it is I need. And I gotta remember, I gotta make a highlight ah, on Twitch of... Um, of my little story for you guys that haven't seen it. Because I, I actually think that is worth highlighting. I've been highlighting my entire... Oh, yeah! Um, maybe I'll put it on YouTube, actually. Because then that'll be the before and after of my... Um, Viking funeral. Yeah. Batu King, welcome back! Zilrasis, hello and welcome to you. Playing without the invis map, who are you? Um, invis map. I don't know if you mean like keeping the map up all the time or if you mean uh, map hack. Um, Disco Rev, I'm not entirely sure what you mean by that. Uh, yeah, Batu King, I was welcoming you back. I was saying uh, hi and welcome back to you, man. How's it going? Keeping the map... Oh, oh, yeah, I uh, I do keep the map up actually a lot. It's just sometimes it does get a little annoying because it's like always there, but um, I figured I'll just wander around until I find the thing. See if I can get it eventually. And I'm, I'm getting XP anyway. The Maker's Boss, hello, welcome to you. Haven't played this game in a long time. Uh, Zillerus... Z wait, Zilrasis, you're you're not alone, man. A lot of people have been coming into the stream and just been like, you know, oh man, so many fond memories of this game. And well, that's that's why I'm playing it too. It's just it's a very good game. But um, yeah, and quite a few people has, have actually bought it or reinstalled it as well. So um, yeah, 
And welcome to you, though. Now, Chef probably knows this song. I would think he would. Um. Wow. I think we got a troll! Hey, we got a troll! Is Frost gonna beat me to it, though? Let me see. Let me see who can get him first. Let's see. Alright, I'm gonna take my time here. I'm gonna go to my little page. Oh, I get to use my... I've never gotten to ban anybody. Can I get it? And bam! I got him! Ah! <laughs> uh, ah! Uh, yes! My first ban ever! Grats to me! Nice! Nice! <laughs> Normally I'm more patient and I'm just like, whatever, because I've had other people come in and like, straight up just call me like, or be like, fuck you, or you suck, and you're terrible, and I'm just like, oh. But, um... I just, and I never got to ban him. Everybody else got to ban him before me, so I felt like I wanted to ban that one. I wanted, I wanted to get my first ban so that I could actually get the achievement unlocked. Hey, Andy banned somebody from his own stream, you know? And now, now I feel better. That was cool. That was definitely worth it. <laughs> it's the small things in life, people, that sometimes make it better, you know? And, and that's one of them. I, now I feel, uh... I feel, uh, you know, complete there. That's nice. Now I got, I definitely got a fake enigma here, because quite often you'll get a lot teleporting like they were, but then, um, you know, they'll still just um, screw up and there'll be a few left behind. So and I don't feel like risking it, especially because I'm enchanted right now. Hello to you, crazy dude. One zero nine nine five. This game was my childhood. Um, Zilrasis, I'd have to say it wasn't quite my childhood. It was more my teenage hood. But yes, um, this is definitely a uh, very good game. Definitely, definitely good game. Can I see your gear, please? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Got the little spirit sword going. Uh, Viper Magi. Peasant Crown, good stuff. Resistance Necklace until... Um, my resistance are a little better. I do have an Eye of Etlich, or whatever it is, that gives the plus to skills. So that will be coming after my resistances are in better shape. But currently I need to use that one. I've planned my build, Andy. Can I post it and let you see it? It kind of explains the fishing answer. Um, Gino, you're welcome to post it, but I probably won't look at it right now because when I look at a build, I really like to look at it and just absorb and think about it. I like to be like, well, why did he do this? Or what was he thinking? When he, you know, and just be like, oh, okay, I see what he did there. But you're welcome to post it. Thank you for asking. Um, but I will set it aside and I can look later. Maybe at the end of the stream, I can kind of like um, shoot the shit with you and then um, we can talk about it. Mostly the reason why I do that, like I don't look at things like right away, like YouTube videos and whatnot, is because... Um, um, you know, it's it's bad enough just trying to keep up with chat for how slow of a reader I am. And then I figure, um, I try to avoid anything that might take me a little bit to, um, watch or comprehend, whatever. Um, because I'm just, you know, I, I, I even though I, I love talking to you guys, and I know you guys like when I talk to you, I still have to play a game, you know, I still gotta actually be playing it and moving along, and, you know, so I gotta optimize. I banned someone's from my stream today. Well, grats to you on that, Dawson. Grats. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of surprised. That was my first ban, though. I I've, I've, guess I've just been kind of lucky or something. I don't know. But, um... Yeah, that was my first one ever. I know Frost and Gord have gotten their fair share of action. Threat level increased by 10. Be cautious around Annie now. That's right! Ah, that's right. Do I have... I don't, I don't really, damn. I don't really have like a hammer or a sword or anything, so I can't wave it around like I mean business. Um, I guess I'll just have to, you know, give you guys the wrath of the Zerg. See. <sighs> yeah. That's all I got. I'll be back, see you later, or tomorrow, today, whatever. All right, well, uh, Lurder, you take it easy, man. I'll see you later. Do you have a best or whatever that Fanta or Fana Aura is? 
or that conk or a weapon for a merc, or is that single player? Um. Well, for Fanta, there is a weapon in multiplayer you can get, and then for the conk, um, there probably is in multiplayer as well, but I don't know what it is. Um, the Fanta one though is Beast. Whoa, 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 whoa! That's a lot of stuff. That's that's um, we got a war going on here. I'm gonna back out a little bit. That revive. Just gotta be a little careful here. That's just a lot of stuff. I can't even see what's going on in there. Like, that's a nasty fight there. I can't tell if I'm winning or losing yet. I believe I'm winning, but it's just like I'm gradually losing my skeletons as well. And I can't summon anything, so nothing's died as of yet. Like, nothing more. Oh, there we go, I got one. Like, I, I pretty much just run my cursor along, looking for stuff that I can revive or um, bring back. But it looks like, um, looks like we're pretty good here. I think I'm winning. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Now we really are uh, getting them. Come to town? Yeah, I'll be there in a second, man. Give me just a moment. Okay. Had to finish my little my little battle. Oh, he said T1. I could yeah, I could have went the wrong place, man. That could have been bad. What's that? No. Go. I already hit what? You got a better one or something? No. Dude. Take. <sighs> Alright. Dude, thank you, man. Thank you. Wow. This guy. This guy! Now, wait. Why is he giving me another one? It, can, it can't get really much better, can it? What would... You know, I... You know, I already have... Oh, he timed out. Um, I'm gonna wait to identify. I don't know if he realized I already had that. Actually, I think he gave me the other one. Um, dude, Shaco. That's nasty. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, baby. Yeah, that's right. I like it like that. I definitely... Yeah, I got the... I got the condom hat. That's right. Yes. We got the green condom hat, too. Oh, so sexy. Plus two. Plus two. Plus two. Plus two. Plus two, yes! We got a plus two, people. Now you, see, uh, now you might be like, why is he saying plus two? What the hell is Andy talking about? Um, that is, you. if you um, identify these, sometimes you only get a plus one to skeleton mastery, but I got lucky. I got a two. But I need a lot of strength. I forgot these things take a butt ton. And you know what? Um, I think I'm going to respec just so I can use them now, because they are that good. They are badass. Um, yeah, yeah, I want to equip these, definitely. Um, that's awesome. That is awesome. Oh, man. Um, he's not in chat, though. He, he, I, see, I don't know if he's listening. Did you actually mean to give me another, um, Hamonarchus thingy, whatever? Alright, we gotta respec. We definitely, we gotta use those. Um, crap, I'm running out of room again. Let me catch up with, uh, chat 2 here real quick. Zombie Sniper, welcome back. I believe you've been here before. Your name sounds quite familiar. Let's move this over a little bit so I can actually read. Make sure. Oh, actually, uh, I might have missed a little more. Why? Wait. This song is... Oh. Um, looks like nobody said it. Uh, Chef, I'm not sure what song you were talking about before. What did we go through? Oh, this... It's probably this one. This is Super Turrican, right here. And then, um... This is Illusion of Gaia. And now we're on Super Mario RPG. 
Oh, you did. Okay, you didn't. All right, yeah. Let me give that back to you, man. Cause I, I just, I feel like that would be wasteful. I feel like you know, in case you might want that. Um, I just, I don't think there's anything rolling on it that needs to be better, right? I mean, I don't think. I don't remember how that that thing rolls out. So you tell me, man. I just, I don't want to waste stuff. I mean, you're already giving me the stuff, though. Oh, he's got a necro. Dude, you got everything, man. He's been busy. Uh, come in with a you suck or bad word. He was just typing nonsense. Yeah, kill. I have no idea what that guy was doing either, but I got, you know, it's, I got to flex my little sword. 187? Oh, it's, uh, oh, 195 here. Wilson, welcome back. Apolly, welcome back. Etc. Hello and welcome to you. And imaginary penguin. <laughs> <laughs> Imaginary penguin. I feel like he's been here before, but a long time ago. But that could have been another penguin. It's been so long. But uh, welcome back to you if you were a penguin. Uh, give me your torch. Oh no. What is he doing now? He's up to shenanigans. This is a little better. <sighs> oh, he's right. It is a little better. Just a little bit. It squeaks by. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you, good sir. Uh, I'm, I'm still trying to... I'm sorry, guys. I'm still trying to catch up uh, with chat here. Uh, too bad I didn't catch this on the first day. I would have made a care with you. Um, yeah, that's that's all right, though. Um, um, you know, if you get a character along the way later on or something, that's that's fine. Haven't been on in a while. How you been? <laughs> it's been so long. Welcome back, Wilson. Uh, you should wait for Enigma. It gives you many strength. Uh, Veneris, you're right. You are right. Um, but I, I, I have the respect token, and I have three respects from the uh, different acts as well. And there's no way I'm going to be using all of those. So it's it's not a big deal. Um, I don't feel like waiting until I get my Enigma. I'd rather just do it now. Because... Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, I guess I will be trying to make it tomorrow, assuming that I don't spend all my JSP, but, um, yeah. Um, and no, I've never been here before? Oh, okay. Alright, well then, um, Zombie, welcome to you. I, yeah, somebody else had a, a name Likers, and I thought it was them, but then, either way, still, you're welcome. You know, that's that's fine. And hi back at you, etc. Uh, you have tons of talismans. Um, talismans, talismans. What are you talking about, talismans? Oh, the... Uh, the amulets? I can't type in chat, I will rejoin Twitch. Um, yeah, it doesn't even say that you're in uh, Twitch chat, BG. So I'm not sure. It's been a while I was here during... St I was going to say, I knew that Penguin was here, I thought so. Wilson, yes, I. of course I remember you, of course. How could I forget you, Wilson? Wilson! Wilson, now come back! Of course. Nobody forgets that. Caster of Death, hello, welcome to you. Reactions, low, welcome back. Penguin DK, yeah, see, that's, we do have two penguins. I knew it, I, I knew we had, uh, we have the Death Knight penguin, but then we have the imaginary penguin. So it's like, you know, we got a lot of penguin action going in here. Sometimes Andy's brain gets a little confused. Gets a little confused. It happens. It does. It does. Alright, um, I want to equip those Marowaks. I'm feeling quite spoiled right now. So let's let's use that token. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm just going to go back to Act 1. We're going to use that one instead. But I definitely want to do that. So my army is about to go... But uh, that's okay. Boom! So we need quite a bit, and yeah, I'm gonna respec it anyway. I don't care. That's I'm totally okay with that. So that's fine. Let's just get it up until um, it's satisfied. Doesn't Shaco? Oh, and I can actually equip that probably, which will give attributes as well. So I'm gonna equip my um, my amulet. So let's see here. Ah, there, BG Rage. You got it. Welcome back, man. One all skills. Oh, no, it's just the skills. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, I'm going to put that in my bag, though, because I'm going to be able to equip that very soon anyway. All right. 
Let's get the rest of this gear equipped. Oh, baby. I can't believe I got plus two Marowaks. That's awesome. That is just awesome. All right, so now we're just coming down to the Marrows, right? 118. Yeah. See, that's, that is a lot of strength, I know, but don't worry. I will be uh, respecking again, because pretty much the next time I respec, I can guarantee you guys it's probably going to be the final respec that I use anyway. So it's, it's really not an issue. There we go. Yes. That's awesome. Right, now we definitely got to put in the Vitality. So we got to do some massive clicking here. So this is going to take a moment. Might as well reach out. Hi back at you, Caster. Shift click it, you knew. Did you shift click? Ah! I didn't know that! <laughs> I didn't know that. Yes, thank you guys. I, um... Did not know that. I feel like such a noob now. Just let me just sit in my, my noobness now and, and stir in it, if you will. Didn't know that. <laughs> T-Bay, hello and welcome to you. I might have missed you, by the way. No, I, yeah, I did. So, welcome to you, T-Bay. Your fans love you? They're not my fans, they're my friends. They are my friends. Alright, let's... Oh, man, I have no room. Actually, this can go, I think, um... That can go too, probably, I think, as well. Well, once I get the torch, then it can go. Torch is gonna fix that. So, we're close. We're very close. Uh, yeah. What torch is that? Necro. You might be a noob, but you're our noob. <laughs> It's okay, as a level 74 hardcore player, even you have things you don't know. That's right. That's right. It's definitely true. See, and this is why when um, Gino was asking me for advice about that build, and I was like, dude, I can't help you there because, you know, I just, I don't want to give bad advice or anything like that. And I didn't. And so, you know. So just, okay, now does shift click work on this? Let's try it. Uh, no. No, it does not. Okay, so we will have to click this apparently. Quality of life skyrocket. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Are you feeling down? I can ease your pain. Um. No, I think I'm okay. But thank you, thank you for the offer. That's very, very nice of you. All right. Well, uh, now we got a one, one everything here. Okay. Uh, let's make sure I get everything else covered too. And then, you know what? I'm going to use a couple extra points, because I need that anyway, and that'll beef up my bone spirit. Yeah, that, that already, because it benefits from this stuff as well, so that's good. It's not much, but a little bit. And then, um, let's, let's go ahead and get, like, we'll do 11 monsters for now, and then let's get the bone spirit up even more. I don't really want to push that up there, so what do we have? 220? Yeah, okay. Just to help uh, get it um, where it needs to be later on, so I'm, I'm going to do a little back and forth there. Um, oh, this is online. And hello and welcome to you, Freyargauko. I'm sorry if I said your name wrong. I PM'd you the build, Andy. Either discuss here later or in the PM. Okay, cool. Thanks, Gino. Lord of Destruction, windowed mode, plus Andy's stream. Uh, there you go. All right. Good times. Good times. Uh, Andy is out of room. He's going to have to drop something. You know what? I'm just gonna drop these crap runes. I don't care. I'm, well, I should have wrote down the miscellaneous runes that I need for my rune words, but it's not like it's gonna be a big deal. But damn, um, shit. <laughs> you know what? The gems. Those can go. I don't need any of these gems. That's what I'm gonna do. I don't even know why I bothered saving them. Well, for leveling, I was gonna use these for life, but now it's like, it's not even needed. So let's just ditch these. And then we can mule the rest in case somebody else needs it or something like that. I feel like giving back to the community, you know, it's a good thing. So, yeah, I, don't, I just don't even need this stuff anyway. 
Hello Anima. Hello and welcome to you. Possibly welcome back. Possibly. That I'm gonna save though. The diamonds I do save because um just in case for some reason I trade this out or something like that, which I shouldn't be, but just in case, you never know. Um I do prefer to keep that one. Otherwise uh, looks like we're good to go. I just need to hit level 75 so I can actually use my torch. Yeah. And I think I have a couple things in here. Yeah, two runes. I'll drop those. Let's do a quick swap out there. Alright, now we're getting there. And we'll just leave that in there for now. That, that doesn't matter. Alright, everything is added back. Resistances are good once again. We are ready. Cool. Uh, yes. Yeah, the ladder online. Hardcore. Definitely hardcore. That's the only way to play. Nice. Made a little gold. Um, I'm gonna chuck that, actually. That's fine. Why do you don't create other character to take all your stuffs? Um, Gakko? Freyer Gakko? I'm sorry... Feel free to correct me if I'm saying your name wrong, but, um, I have a mule. I just, um, I don't have a mule in hell difficulty, because I'm currently in hell. And, um, I don't feel like going and waiting the five minutes right now. I just, at the end of the stream, I'll, uh, you know, when I'm done, I'll go make a game, let it sit there for five minutes, and then I'll go trade the stuff over when I'm going to get something to eat or whatever. Alright, I need to be careful. Let me catch up on chat here, and then we're going to go back. out and uh, start making our army again. Do, 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 do. Uh, three perfect plus one grand charm equals new grand charm. Try... Oh, he... Damn it, I forgot about that. Uh, well, um... I don't care. I mean, I'll just... Again, I'm not really trying to re-roll stuff even. Like, I'm not that crazy about it because um... I, uh, I'm going to be JSPing everything. Everyone say Andy is awesome? Uh, I don't want to say that. I'm sorry. I, I, I just, um, I don't know if I can agree with that. I don't know if Andy really is awesome. I mean, I think he's a good guy and all. I like, what? Hey! Ah! I got a unique! I, what? And I got poisoned by, oh, look at that! It, it just suckered me in. I just got tricked by a trap. I, I, I got tricked and treated. That, I, it was like Halloween. I freaking look at that noob. You're a noob. You, you're a big phony. What level are you? Yeah, you've been rushing. You suck. You're a turd. You think you're so cool. Oh, I got a unique though. It's it's not that great, but you know, hey, yeah. See, we got uh, we got a little unique and it's totally trash. So yeah, yeah, it's good. That's all right. Potal? You need a potal? There you go. That. Goop. Um, why is Goobs your name? Why aren't you Gooba? What happened to Gooba? Did somebody take it? Oh, golem down. Somebody took it? Oh, I'm sorry, man. That's not cool. Oh, you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if you still have it because my old account still exists. I just have no idea what the freaking password is. Ow! Damn it. Don't do that. Hey, get away! What is this? What's your problem? Dude, this guy wants me bad. Whoa, they keep, like, porting on me, though. Hang on. Well, I, that's weird. And I forgot to drop a portal for uh, Gooba. That was weird. They just, like, poured it on top of me, does he? Oh, he has teleportation. No wonder. I was thinking, what is happening here? That explains a lot now. Right, I'm gonna get the army going up. Gotta go, Andy. Class is early tomorrow. Take care. Well, Magic, 
You take care as well, man. Always uh, enjoy your company, and you have a good night, and uh, good luck with your classes. I will see you later. Do you team speak so you can talk to us on mic? Uh, Wilson, I do not talk with people on team speak because um, I am a very, very bad multitasker, and I don't even talk to my friends that I know, like in real life and whatnot, because um, it's very, very difficult for my brain. Like, I, I know it sounds like, are, are you serious? But yes, it's like I cannot multitask very well. And it takes enough for me to just read chat and to play the game at the same time. And if I talk to people on uh, a voice chat kind of game, um, then I will neglect um, text chat. Um, not because I want to, but just because I can't keep up with that many things at the same time. And so it's, it's a much easier just to chat with everybody in this way. But um, at some point, I'm sure I will play a game that requires it, and then I just will tell people, hey, um, you know, I, if I don't answer you, you know, I, I will try to answer you later. You know, I'll just I'll say, hey, you know, um, I'll, uh, you know, well, like kind of like what was the, we were talked about earlier about how I can um, take like 15 minutes and then actually talk to chat and interact and then I go back to voice chat kind of stuff and then playing the game. Um, I definitely like the sound of that. I think that's a good way to like kind of handle um, talking to everybody but also talking on chat. But for now, uh, I just enjoy reading chat, keeping up with everybody, and, uh, yeah. Dude, Goobs just got whacked You need to be careful there, buddy. Unique drops in D2 are better than D3 because Unique's actually dropping D2 rank over. <laughs> and the, the Uniques that drop, I, I know they buffed them now, but before they were crap. It was like you're better off getting yellow items in Diablo 3, which was, like, not cool. I like the unique. So is that, uh, we got, oh yeah, we do, okay. Let's, uh, slow this guy down and make him our bitch. Can I get any more bodies here? Did I get any? No, okay. At least I got my ten, uh, melee guys. That's good, that's good. Legendaries unique actually drop quite often in D3 now after some patch that made them drop rate higher. Um, okay, okay. Well, I know that, um, yeah, they were pretty rare, but the thing that really sucked was that um, they were rare and they weren't even all that great if you got a really good yellow instead. So they were like pretty much useless and it was just like, oh man, are you kidding me? But I, I did hear that they improved them a lot, but still. Uh, 248, yeah, let's... Um I'm going to kind of juggle these. I'm just going to go a little back and forth. Because those are both pretty important to me now. Oh, he's like a big time buff guy there. WTF? What are you WTFing? I can enchant in town without hacks. Oh, he's right! He's right! When did that change? You didn't used to be able to do that. He's absolutely right. That's some... Um, Interesting. Huh. I wonder when they changed that. I, I didn't even really think about it until he just pointed it out, but he, the man is right. Yeah, he really did. I agree, Mr. Necro guy. Alright, uh, I don't want to lose my guys, so let's do a fake enigma. Get them back. There we go. They get caught on the stairs a lot. Intent was to make uniques okay, uniques, but not better than in-game rares. Oh, I see, I see. I'm currently leveling a level 12 Necro. Man, everybody is getting in on the action. That's awesome. Well, have fun with it, Decipher. That's totally badass, man. And welcome back to Diablo 2. Uh, oh wait, it's sexy time? Um, sexy time is a time that you have to feel inside, you know? You, you gotta be feeling it, and I, I have to admit, I'm not feeling sexy time right now. I mean, I'm, I'm feeling sexy-ish, but not, not a full-on sexy time. Not, not right now. 
And I, and I, you know, I, some people say, well, when will be, you know, the next sexy time? And I don't know. I honestly don't know. It just kind of happens when it happens, you know? It's, it's one of those things you can't force it. You really can't. Because if you try, it will fail miserably. And then you'll just be sad. And you'll be, you'll be like, why? Why, why did that have to happen like that, Andy? Why? So I, I prefer to keep it legitimate. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Novake? No, Novoke642, hello, welcome to you. Oh, 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 lots of lightning. Where's Gooba? What's he doing? Is he in town? Yeah, he's just hanging. Oh, ouch! That thing popped and popped and hit me. I'll drop the TP in case he's coming back. Dot these guys up. Get some more revives going. Cause it's it's about sustain. You know, you got to keep it keep the army going with those revives. And we got to um. Uh, oh, look at that, a blue mesh armor. That's going to sell for a nice amount of money. Oh! Good song, good song. Does anybody know this? Can anybody name this song? Who's going to be the first? Somebody has to know this song. There is no way nobody in this chat does not know this song. That's impossible. Who's it going to be? Kill got it. Kill definitely got it. Nice, nice. We got the... Oh, Penguin got it, too. We got the... All right. Uh, what's this? From Merc, Act 2, Nightmare Offensive. I'm not sure... what you're saying, BG Rage. Um... Maybe I missed something? Oh, oh, oh! oh the Aura! Oh, you're answering Decipher. Okay. I didn't realize. Okay, I, I didn't see that you were answering um, the safer. Yes, that is right. BG Rage is correct, the safer. Um, I actually, um, I have two auras going. The one that you see there is Might, and he is correct. That is from Act Two. However, if you look around just my Merc, you will see that he's got like a little bit of a, a glowiness to him, and then sometimes me as well. And that is because uh, he is also giving me giving me the uh, meditation aura, which is coming from this weapon here, the Insight. Um, which BG Rage was nice enough to give to me. Um, so that makes my mana regen a lot faster, so that's totally cool. Too fast for you to type? Yeah, well, actually, um, you're not, you potentially are not just being beat by people typing fast, but also, um, they could just be seeing the stream, like, faster than you, because the delay is, you know, different for everybody, depending on where they live and all that, but, uh, either way, you guys got it. We're all winners here, you know, so that's good. And don't feel bad if you type slow, Bill. I type slow as crap, too. I type very slow. I read slow, type slow. Yeah. I'm also playing a game and didn't react too fast. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Quite a few people have told me that they don't always actually watch what I'm up to. They just keep me in the background and listen to me. And I'm like, that's cool. It's like Radio Andy, you know? And then when you hear something crazy happen, then you're like, oh, what happened? And then, and then like, people look and I'm like, you know... So I suppose on April Fools, I'm going to have a lot of fun with people, and like, I won't be able to help myself. I will be saying a lot of stuff that's probably inappropriate, and, you know, be like, Oh my god, did you see that? You know, and then you'll be like, what, 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 what? Like, it, you know, it was nothing. It was nothing. Well, if it's like radio, Andy, I should be like, uh, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going tonight? This is DJ Funky Love coming to you live, playing Diablo 2. And I just want to tell you all out there in the Twitch land that 
I love you all so much. That's right. In that weird, uncomfortable sort of way. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. That's nasty. And I know you guys like it. Oh, yeah. That's right. It's, it just got hot in here. That's right. That's right. It did. So I'm watching and listening. Oh, fair enough, Bill. Fair enough. Got a little Zelda 2 going in the background. That's nice, you know. We haven't actually had any Zelda 2 tonight, so it's a nice little uh, change up. I mean, it, it does kind of follow suit. We had some Ocarina of Time in there. We had um, some uh, a link to the past a moment ago, and now we got the Zelda 2 going, you know. Now we just need uh, Zelda 1. But we did have that earlier, so in case you guys missed it, there was Zelda 1, actually, as well. So we have covered all the bases now, actually. So we're, we're, we're doing good. Oh, good old Zelda 2. The only game in which Link actually gets laid. That's right. You heard me correctly. Link actually gets some action in Zelda 2. You guys probably don't believe me if you haven't played it, but it's true. And if you have played it, then I'm sure you guys know exactly what I'm talking about, right? He gets all the ladies, even the old ladies too, man, he gets it all. He's, he's, he's kind of a pimp, actually, in Zelda 2. I'll be honest, Link is a pimp in Zelda 2. Charm drop southeast, if it, oh, is that, wait, this way. Over here? Wait, back here? I miss it? don't see any charm. Well, if I miss the charm, no big deal. No big deal. I'll keep an eye for it, though. I must, uh... Tr oh! I see how it is. I see how it is. I get it now. You're very familiar to somebody that I know. They go by the name of Gord. And you know, I'll tell you what. I am very wary of the things that Gord says. And now you have officially gotten yourself put on the, the watch list. It's the Andy's trolling watch list and so now if you say something else and I'm like hey he could be trolling me I'm much more cautious to approach it so we're gonna have to see how this relationship further develops it could be that um, you know you get the crying wolf status could be could be Panani wizard welcome back Where'd I leave off? I don't get uncomfortable. I just thought of it as a proposal and I accept it. That's that's a mustache. Stroker comment there. That's like, hey. Very nice. Very nice, yes, indeed. Hey, hey! I need a troll's nest. I don't have a troll's nest, I'm sorry. I do not. But I will keep an eye. So I can socket it for three sock. Well, I'll keep an eye. If I see one, I will let you know, good sir. Have you ever went to a mid midnight launch of a game, Andy? No. Um, if I had, like, a bunch of people that were, like, as nerdy as I am around and were like, yeah, let's go do that, then I probably would just because I know that everybody else standing in line would probably be just as nerdy as I am. And we would get along just fine. I'd be like, hey. This is awesome, you know, I'm sitting around talking about video games with people, but, uh, no, never have. So, actually, that does sound like fun to me. As nerdy as it is, that sounds like fun. I admit it. Some people may be like, oh my god, I would never get that, you know, I would never do that. That's too nerdy for me, but no, nope, not me. Not me at all. That's right up my alley. Well, I didn't see any charm there. I did not. So, it looks like it's gone. I'm confused on how to use D2JSP. Just signed up on the forums. Confuse me. Um, wizard. Yeah. Excuse me. Um, you have to either get it by selling stuff to people on there. Um, you know what? It's it's late tonight, and oh, I forgot to do my Mario run. I was ah, I totally forgot about Mario. All right, well that's for another night. Maybe Winnie can see it tomorrow. Maybe we'll do Mario and then she can see it because she was like really bummed out about that. Um. I'll tell you guys what, um, 
Can you change the song? It's kind of freaking me out. Oh, this is Donkey Kong Country too, but sure. Oh, this is going to freak you out too, though. This is Earthbound, but uh, this is kind of cool. Anyway. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Crap. Oh. Uh, since that's confusing you, maybe tomorrow I will stream... Uh, a little bit of D2JSP to show you how it works and everything, because there is a little bit of an art to it, but I am tired now, and I have to set up the stream so I can properly capture um, my uh, my web browser and possibly the game at the same time, or just the web browser, because I don't want to crash the stream, because I only have 2 gigabytes of RAM right now, and I'm concerned that if I open up too much stuff right now, it'll crash it, or just throw some kind of a problem, and I really don't want to do that. I know it's just Diablo, and I know I'm just streaming, but I still, I don't want to chance it. So, um, tomorrow, though, I can I can do a little little something there. Or maybe I can make a YouTube video about it, actually. The mustache is fantastic, by the way. I love my facial hair because it makes me look years older. Oh, okay. Fair enough. That's actually, Bill, That that's, um, I get told that a lot too. My mustache, uh, well, just all my facial hair does make me look a little older. But, uh, more so I just like it because I can do this! And I can do this. And I can do this. You know, there's, there's a lot of motion there when you get, uh, when you get that facial hair going. So it's, it's pretty cool. I won't be on until like 6 p.m. your time. Oh, well, that's perfect. I don't even usually come on until about 7 p.m. my time. So that's that's fine. That's fine. You know what, though, wizard? I think, actually, it'd be a lot easier instead of streaming and being like, hey, show up at this time. I think I'll just make a YouTube video um, showing how to do it. Ow. Stupid bat just bit me. Um, but if I make a YouTube video just kind of explaining how it works, I think that would actually be best. And then, um, you know, you don't have to come on exactly that time. And just say, hey, here's the video, and then uh, you can just check it out. I don't know for sure if I'll have it ready tomorrow, but I'll try. I will try. Pear Carax, hello, welcome to you. Chef Smith, welcome back. Must have did a refresh or something. Alright, why is this taking forever? I need to get some revives or something going here. There we go. Come on, people. Why can't I get over there? It's like something... It's so dark. Oh, wow. There's like a whole thing. Oh, I'm like stuck in this cage. Let me out. I didn't realize that. Andy was not paying attention. Oh, finally. It's taking forever. Man. I'm not sure if Gubo is still in here. Andy, do you have a job? Um, Andy kind of has a job, is the best way to put that. I repair computers for people, um, but it's not full-time. So, yes and no, I guess you could say. And that just depends. If, if there's a lot of people that call me and are like, hey, you know, we need our computers repaired, then it's like, cool, you know, I, I uh, got a pretty good amount of work, and then other times it's kind of slow. It just depends. Depends on how many people broke their computers and whatnot. I am 19 and have been told I look 28. Um, look 14. That's quite a difference, but I have had a couple friends that I know that look um, look the same way, like that you're describing, where um, when they had facial hair, like a, a buddy of mine, he was only like 16 when he had uh, a full beard and everything, but yet I swear, if he looked like he was probably 30. I mean, he was really, like, it. that facial hair just made him look like he was just some old fella, almost. Like, I mean, he was just, like, up there. It was impressive. So, he used to get away with a lot of stuff. It was kind of funny. Like, he would buy beer, no questions asked. That's how old he looked. Like, just no question at all. It was just like, oh, there you go. Welcome back, Wilson. Would you repair mine free? I have no idea what you're talking about, good sir. No idea. Karnak, welcome back. Styles, welcome back. And El... Oh my god. Really? 
Oh, your computer! Oh! Um, yeah, I don't see why not. First time- oh, first timer! Sorry about that. Well then, hello and welcome to you. I thought that you were here before. Your name sounds very familiar. Um, somebody else has a name similar to that, but then, um, yeah, welcome to you. And, pff, hello and welcome to El Beardo. <laughs> styles. Styles. Okay, Styles. Got it. Thank you for correcting me. El Beardo. El Beardo. Yes. Magnifique. Muy bueno. El Beardo. Yes. Andy, can you come to my house and please fix my computer? No. I don't like you. Not you. Anybody else? Sure, but you? No. Especially because you can do it yourself, because you know what you're doing anyway, so shut up. You're just trolling me. Leave me alone. I'd just be like, fix it yourself, man. <laughs> Fine. Explain another reason why you're awesome. Um, I don't know if this makes me awesome, but it might. I like pizza. I like pizza. That's right. That's right. Actually, I don't like pizza. I love pizza. Love it. Yes. Can you help me a little with my PC? When I play D3 with people in game, I like so hard, and when I'm all alone, it's all good. What can I do? Uh, actually, I can kind of explain to you a little bit about that. Um... The reason why you are lagging in uh, a game with other people and then not could be a couple reasons. Um, and then also, you said you lag. So there, there needs to be a little bit of a clarification. Do you mean your PC is lagging or your connection is lagging? You most likely mean frame rate latency, like, you know, you're, you're losing frames, right? First of all, we have to establish that. What's the topic at hand? St uh, styles? It can be anything from... Well, the other night it was me being able to pee in my bed anytime I wanted because I have disposable sheets and that would be cool. That would definitely be cool. Uh, we were theory crafting on the development of a bed that you could pee in, but um, we didn't really get anywhere with that because the whole idea was kind of nasty. Uh, other times we talk about why we hate Diablo 3. Um, that sometimes shows up, well actually not sometimes, that shows up all, quite often, especially with the game I'm playing currently. Uh, you know, so it really changes quite a bit. Double Bubble Fun, welcome back. Max PRZ 666 hello and welcome to you. Uh, only because it has the name Diablo 3. If it was called something else, uh, I would have been fine with it. I'd be like, yeah, that game's fine, you know, it wasn't that great. It lasted for like two weeks, but yeah. But because it was called Diablo 3, and I played Diablo 1 and 2, and I liked them, and I felt Diablo 2 was a very good sequel to 3, 3 should have been a very good sequel to 2, and it was not. That's the short term. Alright, so... FPS goes down. Um, that is because you are pros Every time a player joins, it's kind of like Path, Path of Exile. Actually, it's exactly like Path of Exile. Every time another player joins in your game... That is just that much more of a calculation going on for a multitude of different things. Maybe, maybe the AI is making calculations. Um, like, the AI is definitely making calculations of its own to say, alright, instead of having to figure out where the player is because there's only one player, the AI is making calculations to say, alright, now we have two players to worry about, which one do I seek first? So, there's two in the equation. Three, again, more and more. The more players, the more the AI has to think. Chances are that that processing is not going on on the Blizzard servers. They're, I just don't see them doing that because that's a lot of strain. Instead, it's probably on your computer. So, first of all, you have an AI that is actually working harder on your computer, more cycles. Second, you have more effects, spell effects, when people use their abilities and it causes little spell effects. You're doing more processing with that. All that stuff adds up and is just taxing your computer harder. So you have CPU and GPU usage at the same time. Um, best way to deal with that is just tone down your graphic settings and or other settings um, that use CPU. Certain filters, things like that, use CPU more than GPU. Um, and you might want to consider just turning those down if you are going to be in a game that has a lot more people.
hopefully that explains why and how it works to you. But that is the gist of what um, is happening there. And we got a little uh, Borderlands 2 music here. I'm going to turn it up a little bit so you can actually hear it, though. It's so quiet. Hey, Andy, just subbed your YouTube channel? Oh, well, thanks for the, uh, the subscribe on my YouTube. I appreciate that, Chef. And you know I take it as a compliment when people follow me on Twitch, but... Well, you subbed to me on YouTube. That's another compliment. So thanks, man. I appreciate that. Party? We got a we got a party request. We got a oh oh we got uh, we got buffage going, I believe. BG, I appreciate it, man. You you don't have to do that all the time, but I I appreciate it. Thank you. He's dropping stuff. What is that? Oh my God, that's that thing. I was just gonna get a Maras, but dude, that's awesome. Okay. Sweet. As soon, oh, and I dinged, and I didn't even put on... Oh, my torch is already there, so now I'm good. That's awesome. Yes. 71 fire, that's that's just fine. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What do, what do we got here? 12 skellies? 13 skellies. Dude. Thanks, man. Oh, that is awesome. All right, let's put up uh, some more skellies. As soon as we get a kill here. Oh, that's just... That upped everything, and I forgot that I just got the torch going. So, uh, my... My, uh, ability here. My bone spear should be hitting pretty hard. Yeah, that's much better. Can we get the... There we go. Better blow these guys up. Oh, and another one. I think we have two in there. I can't even tell. Just let it ride. Strictly NZ. Hello and welcome to you. Max PRZ 666. It looked like you refreshed, I guess, so maybe it didn't work the first time for you, but hello and welcome to you, Max. Uh, oh, Dawson. Are you still there? Yeah, Dawson's still here. Well, Dawson, uh,. Good to see you, as usual, so uh, you take it easy, and I'll see you later. Have a good night. The other day, me and Frost Shocker were hanging out in real life, and we were going to watch YouTube video, and he told his mom not to come in because she talked... <laughs> mom, don't come in! <laughs> mom, don't come in! Mom! Oh, no! Oh, mom came in, and she saw me masturbating! <laughs> He doesn't say that, but it'd be funny if he did. <laughs> oh, Mom, she came in. <laughs> Mom, I told you not to come in. This is my private time. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, it's so terrible. Oh, that's awesome. Does life steal work with crushing blow? Uh, Styles, I have no idea. I cannot answer that question. Sorry, man. I just, I don't know. Let's get the army topped off. We need one more mage, and we'll be good to go. Yeah. If I was with a friend right now, I would watch porn. That's a little creepy, man. I'm not gonna lie, Wilson. That's, that's a tad creepy. Tad creepy, man. But that's okay, because sometimes I'm a little creepy, too. Just a little bit, but you know. So that's okay. We all, uh, we all fit in, you know? Alright, uh... I want to kill the guy and see what rune I get. So I get one free stream snipe in DayZ standalone, is this correct? Oh! 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 I'm gonna authorize that. I'm gonna authorize that for sure. Yeah, I'm okay with that. That's, um... I think it was probably deserved. That is like my private time. I don't. Just... Oh God. <laughs> oh boy. It's getting a little nasty. But that's okay. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it does. I don't know where the Smith guy is or whatever he. He's called, I forget. I forget, but it doesn't matter. Might fight him, might not. We'll see if we can find him. If we can. I 
Oh, well, we got a uh, Street Fighter 2, I believe, remix. I think this is it. Dude, these guys. Alright, we got a. We got a Bone Spirit. Ah, oh, it barely hurts him. Yeah, it's gonna be a while before that does, like, real damage, but that's okay. We'll get there. Slowly but surely. One step at a time. Oh, we got a little crap. Oh my god, look at all that mess in there. Jeez. As soon as I get one kill. Is there anything normal I can kill? Some oh, wow. Oh, let's get that guy. There. Yeah! Nice. Merc is dying. Let's top him off. I'm not even sure what I'm rezzing. I'm just kind of rezzing a bunch of crap. I don't care. As long as it fights for me. Any money? A little bit. A little bit. Alright. Uh, might as well grab the reju Rejuvi potions too. Mazel tov, Welcome back. Oh, well, Chef, you take it easy, man. I will see you around. Definitely. Um, have a good night. Shalom! 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 Um, yeah, Princess Glitter is... Um... A really, really, really ugly girl, so don't listen to anything she says anyway. Yeah, don't worry about that. Gooba at a 1200. Oh, with a Makarov? With a macaroni. That's nasty. Nasty. I don't think a bullet from a macaroni would even fly that far. I don't think. Hey, fair enough, Bill. Whatever floats your boat, man. Whatever floats your boat. I have to go fight Endorial. Any tips for a level 14 Necro? Um, yeah, uh, well, I guess um, depending on your build, but as for me, I just let my army go in and do all the work, and I sit back and act like, you know, I'm actually doing something cool. And then, uh, yeah, make sure you keep your Golem on her, too. The Golem, um, the Clay Golem is definitely great, if you have it. Because he slows her down big time. And yes, Amplify Damage is very good for her too. Hey Lark, do I play D2 also? Um, no. You're too ugly. I, I'm sorry, I, I'm not allowed to party with ugly people. And you are definitely not the kind of material that I, I want to have in my party. I'm sorry. No, that's that's not nice. That's not nice. Here you go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How rude of me. If I was a Yoshi, would you ride me up and down across the map? That's freaky, man. That's freaky. Um, if you were actually a Yoshi, there would be consideration, though. You know, I mean, it's a Yoshi. Maybe. But at the same time, that sounds kind of creepy, you know? It's like, ugh, you know. Uh, little, little uh, known fact. Gooba is actually right. Um, Yoshi actually does get punched in the head by Mario when you're riding him in Super Mario World. He's, no, he's not kidding. Like, he's totally not kidding. I'm dead serious. Like, to make it... He's right. When uh, Mario wants Yoshi to stick his tongue out, he punches him in the head. If you don't believe us, go to YouTube and just watch any Super Mario World gameplay with, with Yoshi and watch. He just, he doesn't just like kind of like pat him on the head like, hey Yoshi, open it. He goes boom when he punches him. It's so damn funny. It's the most subtle thing ever, but he really does it. It's not weird if you're Mario. That's true. That's true. Yes. Andy, you should buy an Enigma. 
Uh, I will be, Veneris. I, I will. I just... I'm not going to do it while streaming because I can't... Well, first of all, I can't open my web browser uh, unless I do it on that one. Um, but... Um, it just... That takes a little bit of time. So that means everybody will have to wait on me and everything. And... Um, so I figure I'll just do it tomorrow before I stream. And then... Um, yeah, and then I should be able to get myself decked out. But yes, uh, Veneris, that is on the agenda. That is definitely on my uh, on my list. I mean, this is my whole setup right here. It's just, um, you know... No, 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 I didn't get my Enigma yet! No, no, you, you, you're getting ahead of things. I don't have an Enigma yet. Um, I will be getting one. Or at least trying to. Um, 2K? Really? You got 2K? That's That's quite a bit. Oh, 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 you're, you're preemptively gratzing me. Thank you, thank you. Two K is a lot of gold. That is on uh, World of Warcraft level seventy. Yeah, that's how you get an animal to stick its tongue out. Not that I would know or anything. <laughs> I like how you finished that sentence. Not that I would know or anything. not not that I would know. I mean, that's that's just so I've heard. You know, people people speak. And they tell stories. And, and that was one of the stories that you heard. Yeah. Goobs could donate one enigma. He should, just because he should. I'll, fine, I'll find a troll's nest and you go get me enigma. You got JSP too? Go get it. You like that stuff, right? Yeah. How about it, man? I'll, I'll make you a trade. I'll trade you the troll's nest for an enigma. You have JSP, you big liar. You are such a phony baloney. Goobs. Always trolling, man. Always trolling. You know, it's been a long time since it played uh, any Battletoads Double Dragon. A long time, and I'm glad we got to play it now. This is good stuff. Come on, res that guy. Come here, 16. Oh, wow. Alright, let's do a little uh, level check on my skellies. Yeah, 32. Oh, that is nice. That is very nice. I definitely call that an upgrade. Still going. I'm not sure if I'm going to the end here or if I'm going to kill the guy first. Like, I'm not sure if he's all the way back. If he, oh, no, he's at the other end. Damn it! Uh, I was kind of looking forward to killing him. Yeah, he's probably way... Oh, you know what, though? I forgot I got the waypoint right on the outside. Let's, let's do that. Let's go there. I'm going to have to fake Enigma here. Because um, otherwise it's going to drop a bunch. There we go. You know what, I might as well actually uh, sell off some stuff too. Oh, those are crap. Nice truck of change. Not quite ready to get rid of that, just... well... That's such a good necklace, I feel like I should just save it for if, if like somebody else is leveling or something. Have you used the Will Texture Pack on Minecraft? No, I have not. That's amazing. Um, I've ne never actually even heard of that. I'll have to take a look at that. Sounds interesting. We're just, uh, yeah. But no, uh, thank you, Wilson. I've never, no, never heard of that one. All right, is it down here? I think he might be down here. Nope, okay. Then it's it must be up and then over to the left there. Andy doesn't know what he's doing right now. It's nice that those bodies are left there and just kind of pick up where my army fell off.
Uh, yeah, he did make a good texture pack. He definitely did. I just don't usually use it because, um... I just like the default so much, but I, I will not deny that his texture pack is very good. What? It's not here? What? Where the heck is it then? Is it really down there? I guess it is. I think I've been everywhere else. Uh... Uh, or it could be left there, damn. Uh, or it could be right there. Ah! Alright, let's try, uh... We'll try left, I guess. <laughs> oh, he's like, who is this guy? Yes. Yes. We know this guy. We know who Crash is. Actually, um, hang on. Let me, uh... Actually, I'll have to do that later. Never mind. The Shant. Hello, and welcome to you. Smeagol. Oh my god. You know, I do not know why Vent sounds like crap through the stream. I have no idea why. That's really lame. Because I, I finally heard what it sounds like, and I was like, yeah, that does sound bad. Alright, we gotta... We gotta fake it here, people. There we go. Ow! Joel C. Grunt, hello and welcome to you. Haven't played it forever. Uh, oh, alright. Yeah, I actually, um, if we could get the old server going again, that would be cool. Because there was an old Minecraft server that I used to play on, but uh, that has since gone down. It's not gone, it's just down. But, um, yeah, maybe, uh, one day it'll be back, and, uh, I can show you guys my, my old place. Well, 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 well! We got a troll nest. It's not socketed, but it could be. If you use the proper difficulty of socketing quest, you could socket that to have three sockets. Yes, you could. Question is, does Gooba even want it? Probably not. So I'm just gonna drop it, because he'll be like, No, it's not socketed. It's not good enough. I don't want it. So we'll see. If he really, if he wants it. Are you going to socket it yourself? Are you going to do that? Alright, that, all right, well that's, that's like half an enigma then. So, um, let me know when you get jaw or burr. Ah! Man! Can't believe this crap. Where is it? I need my jar, my burr. You, you gotta trade me. You said you were gonna, you were gonna do that. I believe I heard you agree to those terms. I, I believe you said something like, "Hey, I want you to be awesome and teleport around with the blinky blinky blue and and be happy in life and 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 stuff and and you know." That's that's what I heard anyway. It was something like that. Hey, you got no style? Welcome back. And he'll hi back at you, Chelsea Grunt. With your trying to remake the island thing? Wait, what? Oh, oh, Wilson. Uh, somebody trashed the whole island. Uh, I knew it was gonna happen at some point on the public one. Uh, so somebody did actually go in and um, pretty much tore the place apart and um, kind of ruined it for everybody and so you know I'm not playing on there anymore but um, it was fun I mean I, I knew it was gonna happen so that's why I was just kind of like not taking it seriously or anything and not like when it did happen I wasn't upset at all I was just like oh all right well you know they they decided to tear it apart and you know all right that's the internet for you bo13088 hello welcome to you 
Alright, we gotta throw down a clay golem for this guy. Just because he's he's not really that dangerous, but he's dangerous enough where I'd, nah, I'd just rather slow him down. If he ever comes down, I have no idea what he's doing up there. He's like confused. Or stuck. Oh, he's just, just too much crap in the way. I see. Okay. I was wondering what he was up to. Let's just try to drop the golem on him. There, now he's got something to go for. Uh, wow, that barely hurt him. Eh, Alright. Just let him keep going. Uh, so no more of remaking that? Yeah, Wilson. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, um... Can you TPPK for me? Yeah, sure, man. Yeah, there you go. There, have, have the TPPK. I don't even know, you know, how that'll work out since we're not, you know... But yeah, there you go. It'll work somehow. Make it work. Uh, yeah, I will play Minecraft again. I just don't know when. Um, there's a lot of games coming out that, um... I also want to check out. Um, so, probably not anytime very soon, but, um, definitely in the future. Like, Minecraft is one of those games where, even though I might not be playing it right now, and might not be playing it for a little while, I will play it again at some point. Oh, I need the thingy anyway. I will always pick that game up and play it again at some point. It's just too good of a game not to. It's just a matter of when, and I don't know when that is. Get him. He's trying to run. Don't let him get away. No, I'm not playing Metal Mech. Game sucks. I hate that game. Freaking hate that game so much. It's such a piece of crap. Oh, why did I do that? I didn't mean to actually do it. Whatever. Man, that game is so bad. Here, you want your stupid nest? You take your little nest. Let's go smash that thing. <gasps> it's all sparkly. Alright, guys. Who wants to guess what rune is Andy going to get? I'm going to say... Hell. I'm going right in the middle. I'm just going to say, like, roughly a hell rune. Pull. Okay, he guesses pull. Any other guesses? Andy, I'm going to bed. My head hurts from thinking about too many things. Oh. Oh, Gino. I'm sorry, man. Um... Because I can't figure out what I want to do yet. Um, oh. I just need to relax, play whenever uh, the bridge comes. Okay. Well, uh, Gino, uh, I hope you feel better, man. I'm sorry your head hurts, but uh, you take it easy, man, and I'll see you later. G-Mansta, hello and welcome to you. No, Wilson, it's fine, man. It's really, it's... Wilson, I appreciate you saying sorry about the Minecraft server being trashed, but really, as soon as I started uh, inviting other people to play from the stream, I knew it was going to happen at some point because, you know, most of the people, well, all the people that came in that normally come in and stuff, I know that they, they didn't do it. It was just probably some random person that was just like, you know what, I feel like, you know, spazzing out, and that's okay. It was just, I knew it was going to happen, so I, I'm really, I was not upset in the least, so, but thank you. Will you complete it with him? No. Will I com oh, compete with him? No, no, no. That's terrible. Yuck. Shame on him for even, like, speedrunning that game if he did. Alright, so we got Lem, Ist, Gull, or Ist. I'm saying... Oh, and we got a Ko. Yeah, um, okay. So, yeah, I'm saying it's probably Hell. I don't know. Stupid piece of crap. It's always crap. I always get crap runes every time. So, I'm, I'm definitely calling crap rune. It's, it's like... And we got a um, okay. Well, uh, here we go. Um, wow, Kill got it! Kill got it, wow, and he, oh, he said it twice, too! He's psychic! He's psychic, he said it twice, he knew it! He didn't just be like, um, I guess it's, um, you know, eh, you know, he was like, it's um, guys, it's um, wow. Good call! We got an um, I think I actually needed an um. 
Yes, I did. I needed one um. That's one more rune I don't actually need anymore. Good. Sweet. Well, that's way better than a freaking hell, so I'm happy about that. That's like level 22 or something. Or, you know, you guys know what I mean. Um, uh, no, he ummed it. He ummed it all the way. He did. I could feel it. I could feel it. Totally. Alright, uh, we're gonna actually sell those, I think. Uh, well, there is the whole P gem. No, because I don't feel like saving them. I don't feel like dealing with that. That that time in my life has passed. I'm over it. I've grown up since then. And, you know, I've, I've learned a lot of interesting things. And I've learned that I don't feel like dealing with that. So it's all junk. Get out of here. Get out of my face! I don't want it. Leave me alone. We've grown apart. I know. But it happens sometimes in life, you know? <gasps> That's my highest rune now. We got ourselves an um. Nice. Uh, no, no, I do have a mule. I just haven't used the mule right now because you have to go back to normal and wait. There's nothing to do in normal. So actually, you know what? Um, let's uh, we'll first turn that down a little bit. That's kind of loud. You know what? I'm not going to kill Diablo tonight. I'm getting tired. Um, I had a long day today. Um, for those of you that don't know what happened, um, I was just very busy trying to get my internet working again because, uh, yeah, that was bad. And so um, let's go make a normal game. And then, um, uh, yeah, so normal. We'll just sit there, and I'll talk. I'll catch up with Chad a little bit, talk to you guys for a couple minutes, and then uh, I'm gonna probably get a little something to eat first, and then probably try to go to bed fairly soon. Um, so let's see. Uh, did I spell that right? Okay. 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 So let's uh, turn off the music for now. That's that's enough. So. Let me catch up here. Uh, yeah, the mule. He's he's there. I just gotta I gotta go on him. So now that's what we're doing here. Uh, explanations points on the second um definitely point the yes yes he did he did mean the um so I have to agree yes he he definitely did. That's right, Bill. Oh, glitter. Don't, nobody listen to Glitter. He's just a big fat troll, man. He's he's just full of nastiness sometimes. Man. Texting people's moms and stuff. <sighs> he and Gord are kind of like the designated trolls. Nicro too sometimes. Yeah, Nicro's got a little bit of troll in him. So he, Gord, and Nicro are like the stream trolls, you could say. Anyway... Feeling no, no, not tonight. No, not just not, not, not really feeling it. We could do nature channel, I suppose. I mean, we could do a little, uh, you know, a little, a little like, uh, you know, hey, 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 you know, kind of thing. Um, something. Mm, no, we'll just do discussion. Um, anyway, um, Guys, I had a lot of fun, and, um, actually, we got a lot of streaming in tonight. Um, oh, oh, what's the password? Well, you can try to guess if Apple boobs. <laughs> can try that. Um, no, it's three letters, though. Three letters. Yeah, maybe you can guess it, maybe not. It's kind of tough, though. You might get it. Uh, Zabie 101 hello, welcome to you. Uh, you caught us just at the end, though, Zabi. Um, going to bed soon. Um. I'm just talking to everybody for a minute here. Anyway, um, what was I saying? I don't remember. Oh, well, anyway, uh, I, I should be back on tomorrow. Now that the internet is working again, that is good. Um, but yeah, I'll be around. Anyway, uh, to all the people, the new people in here, I see we got quite a few new faces. So, uh, again, welcome to all of you, and thanks for joining, and, um... Uh, you all have a good night, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to bed here, um, but 
but I, I will be on probably tomorrow, roughly the same time. It's about 7 p.m. my time, which is 1.33 a.m. now, uh, or GMT minus 5. Um, yeah, so I'll be around, and you all have a good night, and I will see you later. So, good night, everybody.